Hello, everyone, and welcome. Hope everybody is having a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you do. I hope it's been a good day. Hopefully, I can make it just a little bit Lego, better. Lego, Lego, racist Christmas. Because the Lego racist Christmas dream that was promised is here. Lego, 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 racist Christmas. And I hope you like my song, because you're probably going to hear it quite a bit. Howdy, everybody. It is an auspicious day. I am excited. We have much to do, and we got plenty of time to do it in. Those two things don't seem to go hand in hand, but they do. Uh, I've got some Christmas presents for you, chat. You've already noticed some of them. Lego. 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 Racist, racist Christmas. Christmas. I've gone against my better judgment, and I have enabled Omega Lol. The, one of the most popular emotes on all of Twitch. As my Christmas present to you. I got you something that I thought you would want, that even if I don't want it, now it's yours. Lego. 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 Racist, racist Christmas. Now I can't guarantee that the present won't break by tomorrow, but for now, um, Play with it as much as you like. I might sneak into the bedroom in, in the middle of the night. Find that Omega little toy that I got. And it might just appear a bit bruised tomorrow. Also, you've got, uh, some other noteworthy Better Twitch TV emotes, if you fancy. We got Poggers. Uh, I couldn't- I couldn't find regular Pog, so you got that one instead. Alright, I went to the store. They were all sold out of Pog. I asked around, I called different places. This is all they had left, so I hope you like it. We've got to wait what to combine with my own what? Two what's? Better than one? And of course, a very thematic. My personal favorite. <laughs> Two new little reindeer peepos. <laughs> if you feel like fashionably arriving to the stream late or perhaps leaving for some reason, why would you even do that? If you have no idea what I'm talking You're about... You're just an egotistical streamer. Okay, that's true. I... I guess I... What was I thinking? I could please all these people just by clicking a checkbox next to an emote that I didn't even make? <laughs> Listen, there's only so much I can do. There's laws in place to prevent me from... doing giveaways. This is all I got. Those emotes are free. Uh, if you get Better Twitch TV or Frank of Face Z, you have to have either of those two things in order to see what people are doing with their typing. Also, speaking of free things, I got some non-free things as well added to the channel. Actually, that's not true. These are free. Well, one of them is free. We got a new emote. Rip Etal Bug. Welcome Etal Wu into the fold. Which, in my opinion, is a good replacement for uh, Itao Wuhu. So we're gonna replace Itao Wuhu at some point soon, too. I know some of you really like that one, but now you've got Wu. Which is half of Wuhu, at least. Hog might be a Frankenface Z emote. You're probably right. <laughs> I think it is. Maybe. So I think you can just get that for free with channel points. That's why I said it's free. 
but you have to continually re-unlock it, I guess. But it's there. Uh, less free things. I did request a while ago for some bit unlocked emotes, and I've got two of them. So for the one K bit badge, I think you just permanently unlock the new Johnny emote from Syntax Squid, which is basically Psycho Two. So that's why it's a uh, Bits one, instead of just a regular sub one, because they're kind of the same. But, correct me if I'm wrong, I've never, we've never played with these before. Can you unlock Bits emotes with the channel points? Probably. Possibly. If so, that'd be cool. I'd be okay with that. And then, for the much, much greater... Oh, you can't. For a much greater sum, and uh, there's a reason behind this, you have to have 5k to get uh, Etal Pi, because I ain't gonna let that be a default, because I don't want to look at it unless you've paid me 50 bucks in the past. So I... <laughs> That's why. It's up there, because I just don't want to see it. Uh, unless you've earned it. I paid $50 for this emote. All I got was cream. Okay, well, you didn't even know that you were getting it until now. So it's really just a perk and not an incentive, right? It's like a retroactively taking place benefit instead of a request for money. Anyway, so there's new emotes. That's the TLDR. <laughs> Quote unquote benefit. Yes, mask ask. That's right. Now it's an incentive, that's true. It was free DLC, but you had to have bought the game first. Psycho is a bit more subtle than Johnny. They're, diff they're very different, yes. They're very different. That's why I didn't want to have them compete too much. Also, how do all of my emotes fit sunglasses and the Rudolph nose perfectly? Uh, because cropped faces are the future of Twitch. Cropped and stretched faces. <laughs> they look so stupid. Uh, you are an egotistical streamer. I'm just laughing at my own face in the chat. That's the definition of egotistical. Thank you, Chunball, for the... the Pint us up. Mad Max Fury Road is just a better Polar Express. Okay. Mad Max... Uh, first of all, I haven't seen Polar Express. Second of all, Chunbull. Mad Max Fury Road is the best movie of all time. So I'm glad that you've admitted that Polar Express is number two at best. CVFD, thank you for the thousand bits. Who says, thank you for the great content. Um, you might want to hold on that great content quote until after you see the absolute crust that we're going to be digging through today. This is going to be a stream that tests your patience and your limits. This is going to be something you thought you wanted until you actually get it. Because it's not happening on your terms, it's on happening on my terms. But uh, we got some, some different things to do today. All you need to know is this is going to be... Um, there's, there's flakes that are pouring off, that are scraping off, okay? Christmas was almost cancelled. I just want you to know that. There was an emergency yesterday where I almost had to cancel all of Christmas. And at the last second, through some help from friends and also people I've never met before, Christmas was saved. I'll explain after uh, you see what we're doing. Uh, but first I need to drag you along with me on this magical money ride. CBFD. Thank you for the $10 in bits, though. I appreciate that. Beer Hunter, Merry Christmas. Thor LP is excited for LEGO Racers. Thank you for 15 months, Thor LP. Desert Skate has resubscribed for an 11th month. Thank you, Desert Skate. Some of that says, I was here. Oh, you just wait. You haven't even seen what I have in store. Now, I know you're thinking, Italics, you're not on camera. Does that mean you're in costume? No. There is no costume. I will reveal myself. And prove it. Hello. Uh, there's not some crazy, funny, zany costume. I told you this was going to be a normal LEGO Racers stream, but I didn't tell you what normal LEGO Racers 
means per se. So I've got my eggnog here. This is a large, look how big this is compared to my head. I got some Christmas eggnog that we're gonna be sipping on for the uh, next few hours, possibly. This thing is massive. Uh, I have had this in the fridge for four months, five months, I think. And it's high time that we cracked it open. There it is, if you want to see what it is. It's just been sitting there with uh, a cork in it. Almost made a hole in the ceiling before the stream. Um, I went to get it out of the fridge, and I was like, hold on, there's a cork in this, and it's being held down by, like, metal prongs. What's up with that? And I was like, Drummond, do you think this is going to pop? And he's like, yeah, it's probably going to pop. And I was like, I've never... I've never popped a cork out of anything before in my life. It's like, I better, I better go outside and do this. So I went to the backyard, and I gave it to him, and I was like, you do it. And I twisted off the, like, metal holding, and he, like, popped it off. And that thing shot like a gun. Like, it made a gun noise. There was a, a gunpowder reaction in this thing. It exploded and uh, shot against the, like, backyard wall. Luckily, we didn't aim it at any neighbors. Because it could have, like, hit a window and just broken through their window. Luckily, I was like, hmm, this looks like it's gonna pop. Or else there would have been a hole in the ceiling. So anyway, that's gonna... This is limited edition. Limited edition. Deliria. Not delirium, it's delirium deliria. Limited special edition brewed by women exclusively. So I hope every single woman who brewed this particular deliria uh, got some of the money. I can refund this in Michigan for 10 cents deposit. This has a woman's touch. Yes, 20, 2019, look at that. It's got the it's got the year on it, so I'm ringing in the new year by drinking the old. You know? Family brewed since 1654. That's too many years. You can't have that many. Like honestly, at what point does your family just say, "You know what? Brewing a pint of blonde belgian ale. I don't think I want to do that anymore." After almost 400 years. I'm going to go do something else. Maybe they just gave it to a different family. Maybe it's not even the same family, you know? Maybe one family got tired of it and they sold it to a different family and they just say, well, a family technically owned this for 400 years, we'll just keep it on the bottle. But anyways, it's very good, in case you were curious. It is very good. They did a fantastic job. So I'm celebrating Christmas with you guys with limited edition elephant. This is, this is enough quantity to inebriate an entire elephant. That's why it's on there. Um, some noteworthy gifts at the beginning of the stream. Star Wars Simple, before the stream even began. What up, Chargoth? Thank you for 38 months. How's it going, Chargoth? Welcome, Mod Squad. Kyrotopi. Ganonga maybe out there somewhere. Yak7 with the Pentas up. Five gift subs. Ionic Naga. Circa Dr. Smooch, Brer Mint, and Chuckles92. Congrats on getting your free subs. A beautiful gift. Thank you, Yak. Potato Elijah says Lego Racers win soon. Soon, Potato. I got something to show you, but first, like, Greasebot did give a lot of money, too. That's 25 more dollars in gift subs. Thank you, Greasebot. Sinless Neonic. Ne Neonichi, maybe. Dai, 335, Stapler, and Caution Tape. X are also here. Appreciate you, Grief. 2500 in gift subs. No, $25 in gift subs. Grief spot, thank you. Nar Naranar! Winsrin, thank you for the bits. Some of that. Appreciate you. Let's go, baby. Australian Dan, let's go! Normal stream bits! Oh, okay. Sorry. Normal stream bits. Hello, thank you, everyone. We're gonna be playing RimWorld today. I have started a 16th save. Unfortunately, in my mod pack, and Randy Random on Savage has defeated me the previous 15 times, but I'm confident that this time is gonna be different. And Dark Soul 9669 says, Drink to the past. I'll drink to that. 
So, this is a normal LEGO Racer stream. We're just gonna be playing only LEGO Racers. Except there is one key difference. One very key difference that you do not know about. Uh, first of all... Can I... Hey, there you go. Oh, what's that? That's interesting. What is this thing here for? Hmm, I just expanded to a wide angle. But why would I do such a thing? Well, it's because... We're not just gonna be playing LEGO Racers. I am not gonna be playing, um... An emulated LEGO Racers. I'm gonna be playing LEGO Racers on the Nintendo 64. So, I have an N64. We're going all the way back to the early 2000s. And uh, we're gonna do this as honestly as we can. <laughs> so, here I've got my Nintendo 64 controller. And let me find the actual N64 if I can stretch this cable a little bit. Here she is. A beautiful Nintendo 64 that is now mine. And because I decided that we're gonna go back to the past today and take a little bit of a time travel trip, um, I've got some other friends to join us on this adventure. So LEGO Racers, of course, is the star of the show, uh, but does have a nice supporting cast. We've got Wave Race. Wave Race 64, baby. One of the classics that released when the Nintendo 64 came out. Stayed consistent throughout as one of the more popular Nintendo 64 games, despite being nearly a launch title, if not a launch title. Uh, we've got more classics. This is a racing themed stream. We got Star Wars Episode One Racer, which uh, the store was really trying to pedal off even more copies of this. Uh, they're like, hang on, you want one? Can I interest you in 15? I was like, why are there 15 of these? They're like, I don't know, I guess they were just, they made so many of them. Like, they, they apparently made so many copies of Star Wars Episode One Racer that they had almost 20 of them used in the store. Whereas LEGO Racers, of course, <laughs> there were only like one or two. So I got that. Um, then we go even further. Now, this one I don't think is going to work. So some of these may not work. This is why Christmas was almost canceled, because this is old hardware. Um, do not blow in the cartridges. Some of these may not work initially, and I'm gonna have to just configure them and hope that we can finesse it into place. But if this does work, it'd be cool, because I play this in the arcade all the time, and it's scratched off. Rush. <laughs> Someone had a bad time with this particular copy. This is the only copy that they had of San Francisco Rush. San Francisco Rush is an all-time great. Uh, I, this one is the one I think is not gonna work, but... I've got it anyways. I don't know why it's scratched, but it's bothering me. And then, and then, in no particular order, this is the final uh, racing N64 game that we've got. You can't go wrong with Cruising USA. So, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful game. Uh, I would happily play this in a full arcade again. Cruising, yeah. That's right, baby. So, I got five N64 racing games for this particular LEGO Racers stream. Obviously, LEGO Racers is the, the primo show. But, like, I didn't really want to stop there. I was like, wow, this Nintendo 64 is Lego. cool. LEGO, LEGO Racers, Racers Christmas. Christmas. And playing LEGO Racers is cool on the Nintendo 64, but, like, Lego. also... LEGO, LEGO Racers, Racers Christmas. Christmas. What if... And this is a big hypothetical, because I just don't know if it would work. What if we took it to the next level and used the Nintendo 64 driving wheel to play LEGO Racers with? So here we have the ultimate LEGO Racing experience. There was only one of these. This is a Concept4 Interact Nintendo 64 compatible driving wheel. Uh, it's got all the buttons that you would expect. We got A and B. You got Start on the horn. You got the Z trigger right here. You've got a D-pad. 
and you've got the uh, the C pad, whatever the yellow buttons are called. What are the yellow buttons called? The C buttons. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we got all that, but we go one step further. Obviously, the wheel is great, but the wheel also comes with this. I'm going to take you on a handheld adventure here. So let me grab this. A handheld adventure down below. Where, yes, the wheel does come with a Nintendo 64 driving pedal setup. So I've got an accelerator and a brake. And yes, they work very well. There's actually, hang on, let me try and hold this steady for you so you don't get a headache. There was a decent amount of resistance. Feet cam, baby, I wore socks today because I knew this was gonna happen. There was actual resistance on the brake. But you're not gonna have a feet cam, unfortunately, because I can't do both. But you will have a uh, wheel cam. So, welcome to the Lego, Lego Racist Christmas Lego, stream. Lego Racist Christmas. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. There's no way it works. Ah, that's where you'd be wrong. Because it does. <sighs> so let's get started. Lego Racers, you want to come on an adventure with me into the past? Come with me. Here you go. There's This is my whole desk. There's cables everywhere, because we got all this going on. Now, the reason this Christmas is almost canceled is because... You have to be very delicate here. Okay, the game is in. Now let's see if our beautiful setup works. Welcome to Lego Races Christmas Gaming Area, where we're going to try turning on the N64 and hope uh, that everything turns on the way it's supposed to, because I might have to just reset it a few times before it comes up, unfortunately. This Nintendo 64 is very old and uh, very fragile. And we've got like, I, want, I, want, I really want to see if Rush even works. In before blow. No, you're actually not supposed to blow on the cartridges at all. Uh, I was told that you have to use Windex. That apparently a lot of people use alcohol. And uh, that's really bad for the long term. Uh, because short term it'll clean it, but long term it'll ruin the connections. Lego, that's what they specifically Lego, told me. Lego Racist Christmas. <laughs> It's not a real N64 if you don't have to reset it three or four times. We may have to, yes. But the camera system should work. I don't remember how hard I pushed this in the first time. If I pushed it in really hard or just a little bit. There it is. Third try- Third time is a charm. Lego. 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 Racist Christmas. It works, baby. Here it is. No debate. Lego. Lego. Okay. Lego. Racist Christmas. I hope you guys like that song. This is some good intro music that they've got. I don't remember that part in the original game. That won't get old at all. No, no, no. So, you guys are actually going to have a better view than me. <laughs> And the reason is because I have to watch it stretch to widescreen. Lego. 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 Racist Christmas. You guys get to see it in true 4x3. I gotta watch the intro cutscene. There you go. 
we're in. Welcome to 1999 from the Lego Group. <sighs> Show us the stretched one. Now you you're good. This is this is perfect. Nintendo 64 Christmas. Yes, I was also 10 back then, Mapopolis. Me as well. So I wanted to uh, mention, as we're getting started here, that not only are we going to sample some of these other games, such as, you know, Cruisin', USA, and Wave Race, we're going to sample those, but I got more stuff in store for you besides just this. We're going to do a the community art stream today. We got a bunch of good submis submissions, including a lot of memes extra memes today. So we're going to take a, an aside here after a while and show off the community's creations. That's you, Liuda, and everybody else. Some good submissions. Hood submissions. That works too. And then we've got plans beyond that that are also Lego racing themed. But you'll have to stick around and see. Now, there are a few other Nintendo 64 games that you may see on a future stream that will not be on this one. Um, I just want to show you because they are sitting here on the desk. I don't know when we'll do these, or if, but I own them, so I'll just show you anyways. Um, how about this? Let's go to the zoom cam. That is, in fact... Where is it? Star Wars Rogue Squadron. One of the all-time greats. One of the best games ever made. Rogue Squadron is here. Lego. 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 Racist Christmas. Christmas. I have never played uh, Turok. So we've got Turok Nintendo 64. Courtesy of Acclaim. I don't know if we'll ever stream that, but I've got it. I would like to attempt it at some point. And of course, if you got Turok, you have to have Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. So we got Seeds of Evil 2. And then, uh, perhaps most importantly out of the ones I currently have, Pokemon Snap. So we're going to do a Pokemon Snap stream in some capacity in the future. Because you have to. This is one of my favorite games of all time. We're going to go photography style. Anyway, uh, one of the things I didn't really think about here is the fact that the driving wheel is now actually my controller. This guy doesn't do anything anymore because he's not plugged in. <laughs> so the wheel, I guess, is going to be how we do everything uh, in the game now. Luckily, there are buttons on this because I am going to have to use them a lot. Continue without saving. I did not buy a controller pack. I'm sorry. So nothing we do today is going to be saved. Um, but that's okay. It's not like we're going to start a series. <laughs> we're doing it for us. I need to buy a memory pack. And I forgot that I had to do that. And here's the song. I hope you like this music because you're going to be hearing it for a good long while. Okay, we're going to, um, I say we build after we race. Let's just see how this works. How do I go down? Do I just use the D-pad here? All right, let's do a race. Are we gonna do a single race and then start building some carts? Or should I make a driver first? I gotta see how it works first before we do before we go through all that. Let's let's make a let's do a race. That way you guys can't say like lol omega lol. Streamer's been playing for an hour and a half and hasn't even done a race yet. I'm gonna just take that one away from you right now. Rip the rug out. Single race. I can't. How do I change any of this? Okay. There we wait. Dark force dash. We've got uh, Magma Moon Marathon, Desert Adventure Dragway, Imperial Grand Prix, and that's it. Okay, those are all of them. There's only three. There's only three Grand Prix in the entire racing game. 
okay. I guess this was a different time. We'll start with, um... No, don't do the dark one. Let's do Magma Moon. Alright, do you guys want to be Joan of Cart? <laughs> the Turbo Charger. Okay. That's not even... You didn't even customize that car. That's just the default car. It's got the spoiler. There's no texture. There's no color. That's just before you forgot to put the stickers on. Scooter. That white bowl cut. Scooter. We've got uh, blue, red, and yellow. Beautiful. Okay, Robo Racer. Now we're starting to get somewhere. This is a little bit more creative. I can dig Robo Racer. And then it goes back to Jonah Carr. That's it. Are those all the racers in the entire game? You unlock more Grand Prix in career mode. Okay. <laughs> Still. Okay, you unlock more. All right, we're going to start as... um. I'm going to be Robo Racer. If the rumble pack is to be used, please insert it into the controller. Joke's on you. I, uh, do not have any such thing. So I guess load me in. Okay, hang on, I gotta find the wheel. I gotta find- I got like, I got pedals! Oh no. How are they so fast?! They just- oh. Okay, I gotta figure out the sensitivity of this wheel. And it's highly sensitive. I don't know. I don't even know how to power slide. Can you power slide in this? Ouch. Oh boy. <laughs> there's power ups. Okay, there's power ups. Um, how do you use them? Red and blue. What do those do? What do these do? Do they just they ding? They make like ding. Oh ding. Rats, dude. I have an ability. Hang on, I'm push A. Nope. B. Nothing. Uh, what about these pedals? Somebody just grabbed me with a rope. What about, uh, is it the horn? Z button. Z button is on the... <laughs> that was a booster. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh, rainbow color one. What is the bottom left icon supposed to be? So you got like a hook shot with the rope. I need to push down the suction pads that are on the bottom of this thing. What? There's a force field? Why is there a force field over the pathway? I'm in sixth place now. Great. That means I'm gonna get the best power-ups. Okay, like oil spilled. No one's even behind me. I need to turn the sensitivity down on this steering. Did I get another oil spill? What is this? You know how hard it is to beat the horn to shoot your projectiles? That didn't hit anyone. That didn't hit a single person. How do you power slide this stuff? I blocked it! Oh, come on. Hang on. Power Let's learn how to power slide. That was it! That was the whole race. That was three laps already. That was less than five minutes. These are fast and furious. You actually boosted someone. I got blocked, yeah. Alright, I did a race. Let's make our let's make our own dude. Let's make our own person. Also, I need to push down on all these suction! <laughs> This wheel doesn't pop up in the middle of the race. <laughs> Why are you in the try-hard car? <laughs> I don't even know what the try-hard car is. Did better than me on my first race. Hour and a half hasn't even built the car. These are not even true claims. I can't... I just did a race. That's... It's Lego Racers. I did a race. By the way, my desk is apparently immune to suction. That's fine. 
You enabled, em enabled Omega Lol. You know what you did. Power Toby, I'm gonna stop reading all your messages unless you highlight them with channel points. To force you to spend your points. I saw your confession. Lego. 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 Racist, racist Christmas. It is like a racist Christmas. That's true. Um, Australian Dan with another 500 bits says abnormal stream bits. We got normal and abnormal stream bits. Thank you, Australian Dan. McGee says Merry Christmas, e -tals. Merry Christmas, McGee. Hope you guys are having a good day today. Did you guys get anything cool? Anybody get anything cool for Christmas? I got a bunch of cool stuff. I got a, um, like a, uh, Highball tumbler and like a drink mixer. I got some knives for the kitchen. So I can like cut vegetables and stuff. I got a board game for the kitchen. Yeah, it's for the kitchen. <laughs> yes. Yes, knives for the kitchen. I got a switch. It'll be a nod. You got a switch and then gave me 500 bits. Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah, Italics. Sorry, I can only give you $5, but I spent all my money on Switch games for my new Nintendo Switch. Also, I said Merry Christmas to as many people in chat as I could. And anyone who didn't say it back is going to get banned by Kyra Toby. Uh-oh. Cooking with Etel. Cooking stream. Win. Got a tea infuser. Nice. Cocktail stuff too. Hey, it's tech. I need some. I need even more of that. A torch for making cheese on sand. Melting cheese on sandwiches. I don't celebrate Christmas. That's okay, Unzeroic. But you could still buy stuff for people because it's nice. Whenever you want. You don't have to have a holiday to give someone a gift, you know? Think about that, chat. Remember that. You can just do it because it's nice. Cowboy? I do like the cowboy one. We're picking our uh, helmet hair right now. And I have to do it with the wheel. <laughs> No, I get to do it with the wheel. What is this even supposed to be? Medieval? That's like a knight's helm? Race car or astronaut or something? What is, hang on, what is this like... What is this little tomato stem? Why am I growing like a stem out of my head? Nice little cap. A wizard's hat. I like the wizard's hat, too. There's a lot of good ones. But I think my racer, of course... Not Robin Hood. I think my racer has to have... I mean, that cowboy, he, he is... That's a good howdy. He's not gonna scroll on by. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good already. <laughs> we got like a little microphone attachment. It's very red. That's very pirate. Me if I forgot to shave for like three months. Just getting wild. Turn into a robot, got some lipstick on, got a little mustache, uh, got a blindfold. Got some bangs. I am dead. Very happy. Oh, there's chat. That's you. They uh, predicted you. 
All right, I'll be this guy. Down one. Here we go. What else can we do? <laughs> that looks very gung-ho. <laughs> little Star Wars flair. Race team. I kind of want to, like, build some Legos after playing this. Their advertising scheme is seeping into my brain, you know? Starting to feel the pull. All right, well, there's only this many. So I think I'm just going to go... Bandolier. How does it feel to be the number one LEGO racer stream? It feels pretty good, Casey. It feels pretty good. I think I've worked all my life to get to this point. And I'm not gonna give it up easily. This is probably my crowning achievement so far. These are all real basic, huh? I guess I'm gonna get the one that makes it look like... I'm wearing some assless chaps. Number one, baby. The only LEGO Racer stream? That's because all the big time streamers haven't looked over at my stream yet, okay? When they figure out that LEGO Racers is back on the market, they'll be there. I'm trendset right now. Uh oh, what did I just do? What is, what is go, okay. There's a license, hang on. How do you, uh, delete? Player 8? Oh boy, I have to like do it with the wheel? <laughs> it's my character. Uh, my character is going to be- I can't even read these letters! There's not enough pixels! <sighs> Alright, I'm just gonna spin the wheel and let it land on a letter. Chat, tell me when to stop. The first person who says stop, I'm gonna make a name with that letter. Okay, I let go of the wheel. Oh. Next letter is... All right, I'm gonna hold the wheel reverse. And then the first person who says the word... Clobber. I'm gonna stop. All right, there it is. What letter is that? Is that a B? What is that supposed to be? O B. O S? Is that an S? <laughs> I don't know what that is. What's around it? S T. Yeah, it's an S. Okay, next letter. Uh, when I see the word elephant, I'll stop. All right, I saw it. Hands off. Is that the is that the number eight? That's the number eight. O S eight. Well, why am I just like an Apple phone update? Like a racer's predicted iPhone. All right, I'll just take it from here. O S. T. I. M O Ostimo Ostimog Ostimol Ostimok Ostimom Okay Ostimom There we're done Take me out Right. Snapshot? What does this do? 
Oh, I can make him happy or sad or surprised. Or gritty. Or he can be XD fake. This one's good. Build car. Oh, how is this gonna work with a driving wheel? <laughs> this is 3D space. Alright, that's as far over as we can go. This doesn't even go full left to right. It goes diagonal. Hold on. There's a D-pad here, I think. The D-pad doesn't do anything. Oh, it changes the block. What block we're using. Try the foot pedals. Uh, how about these? Okay, I can rotate the car with this. <laughs> it's a good noise. Alright, I just have to angle it. How do I switch? How do I, uh, Z? Z's on the, the horn. Alright, give me a different block. I don't even understand it. Okay, I'm pressing left to right. How are the blocks even changing? Okay, because these are squares and rectangles. These are like angled blocks. These are angled blocks, but different. These are the same, but different. And these are back to square. How do I go? How do I? Oh, you have to use like the gear shifter. There's a gear shifter back here. Have to change gears in order to uh, choose the different block. Okay, let's go black and yellow. I don't know. Let's rotate. How about there? How about off to the side? Yeah. How do you put it? How do you place it? You can't. You can't. You just have to build where there's room. Okay, we got two pieces. Now you're thinking with the wheel. Paddle shifters in Lego Racers for N64. By the way, um, this is a fantastic product. The person who worked in the store that I bought it from was like, I've been eyeing that thing for almost a year. You're gonna buy it out from under me. He's like, yeah, I, I, I want it. I want it. I couldn't tell him. I couldn't be like, yeah, I need it because I stream on twitch.tv slash italics. I was just like, yeah, I, I, I really just have been wanting one of these for a while. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get it. It looks like a good piece of machinery. And it is. Look at it. This thing has got, first of all, there's gear paddles on the back. Second of all, there's like an adjustable, um, you can like raise and lower this thing inside the seat to like point it up and down. It's got its own, uh, resistance. So like if I turn it like this and let go, see how it like adjusts? So it's got some good like driving resistance. It's got, um, the C buttons, A and B. You've got, uh, L and R. Then you've got start Z and whatever, I think set is to adjust the sensitivity. So it's got adjustable sensitivity for the steering and it's got D-pad. And then of course, you've got the, uh, the pedals down below that it comes with. Apparently this was not just for N64, it was also for like PlayStation and Dreamcast. So concept four from Interact, just, Solid piece of, of machinery right here. 
They just made one for N64, too. All right, what, uh... What piece can I use? Can I, maybe I could rotate this piece. That's a good idea. How do you delete one? How do you delete a piece? B. What if I, uh, do this? Z. Oh. Oh. Hang on, I got an idea. How far do you have to go around to build? There we are. Blue. That's as far over as you can go. I need a small, slightly smaller piece. Or... There you go. No, you have to- Oh, it's undo. It's an undo system, so I have to get it perfect on the first try. I see. Okay, that one's too big. How about this one? You have to get it just flawless. Alright, let's rotate this guy. Well, that looks terrible. Um, what can we do to make this better? Alright, I'm thinking, how do you guys want to build this? Just make a big box, okay? Is that what you want? Careful what you wish for. Why are there javelins? <laughs> what? Am I gonna go jousting? I cannot understate how difficult this is with just a driving wheel. Can I not bring it forward at all? Okay, fine. That's that's good. I like that spot. That's a nice spot. Yeah, good job. Okay, we're actually building something now. Now let's go up. Okay. Lego. 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 <laughs> Racist Christmas. It is. How did you know? Let's go uh, McDonald's themed. This is so crazy difficult. I'm getting used to the controls though. Believe it or not. Oh, you can't go forward? Alright, I need, um. I need a low one. Chad, is there a low one? What if I go out? What about this one? But like... No! There it is. This is a, this is a wide boy. This is a wide boy. All right, so. Okay, then. That, I don't think that's one of the normal songs. How's that? I feel like I'm making the, the car from Cock-A-Doodle-Doo. Rockadoodle do. The Rockadoodle do car. I don't know why that just appeared in my mind. You guys ever see Rockadoodle do or is that before your time? God, no! Only structural pieces. Alright, listen. We're gonna switch from structural to this. Looks pretty good, right? <laughs> Am I making a fire truck? What is this? 
Looks like some farming machinery. Hold on, what if I- what if I, uh, reverse this one? Didn't reverse this. Then go, Finn. Finn. This is looking good. This is looking good so far. And then just layer this one on top of it. Uh, as I was saying, um, just layer this one on top of it. Okay, now I want some building blocks. Oh my god, it's so insane. Doing this with a wheel is awful, but also somehow doable. Now, this is a car! Hold on, am I- <laughs> I am making people room. <laughs> that is people room. <laughs> nice. Fisher Price Mobile, thank you. So now I just gotta make it go up and over. That's not that hard. I can do that. You can't- you can't go any higher?! Alright, there's a max height. I was gonna try and make, um... The Fisher-Price Peepo Mobile. But you can't go any taller than this. This is as high as it goes. <laughs> These block- there's like only two- <laughs> There's like a square, a rectangle, a thin rectangle, and the angled block. <laughs> and you have to manually scroll through all of them to get there. Alright, fine. I look like I'm driving a reverse dump truck. I can't even delete the piece I want to delete, it doesn't matter. Alright, I need some flags. For sure. Lego. Lego. <laughs> you can't go up that Christmas. way. It's too tall. I'm gonna put this directly in front. What? What do you mean, no? Oh, because it's- you gotta rotate it. No?! What's the- what's the problem, officer? I want to do it right there. It's too tall. Hang on, what about here? There's only one block. <laughs> Why would you create- a flag item that you can only use on the bottom-most tier of the building. I'm at the brick- am I at the brick limit? Alright, well if I'm at the brick limit then this is fine. Can I not put anything down? That- No, you can- you're not at the brick limit. I can still put this stuff down. Do I have, like, headlights or something? What are these? What is, what is this? I don't... What? Is this a cannon? Is it a jet engine?
These are massive. You just can't go that tall. Lego. 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 Racist Christmas. What is this thing? Is that the way it's supposed to go, chat? Or is it supposed to go the other way? I have no idea. But I put it there, and I hope you like it. What about this fin? Too tall. <laughs> I can put it here, though. Though it doesn't belong there. You could probably get really creative with this. However, um... The blocks are just in such strange locations that I can't even tell. Like, is that a... these are consoles? Looks like a toaster? These are considered far too tall? Far too tall. What if you go on the outside, though? You can't go on the outside, you can only go that high. Blind your driver with indoor headlights. Those are headlights, and you put them shining in your face! Did I? Alright. How's that? I'm done. What button do I push for done? Start. Lego, this is a chunky Lego, car. Lego racist Christmas. <laughs> I did it. They're tail lights, but okay. How can you tell? There's not enough pixels. <laughs> I can't even save this guy. Alright, let's do a test drive. This looks the worst from the back. I look like a, uh... I look like a spider. With a really just fat stinger tail. Like I'm just crawling around looking for my prey to web up. <laughs> there are no angles at all. It's just a big block with like three stairs on left and right. How do you do this? Did I just... What? Was that oil that I just shot out? A force field? A cannonball. A Pepsi Cola. Lego. 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 Did you guys just get 60 FPS there for some reason? How's that? They didn't even aim! Are these all the specials in the whole game? Is it like four? <laughs> uh, imagine if I didn't have like five other games besides Lego Races for Lego Races Christmas. Hang on, did it remember all the work that we just did? Okay, thank you. Austin Mom! This game has more FPS than Bloodborne. True. They have multiple levels if you collect the same color. I'll keep that in mind. That's important. All right, we're gonna get- we gotta get at least first place, uh, in at least one Grand Prix. Green plus three power-ups equals teleport. Okay. Um, Chad, how do I keep this? How do I race with this guy without accidentally erasing all my progress? While you're answering that, thank you, Opitex, for the room sub for 16 months. Omnium Gatherum gifted a sub to Weebarchiver. Grats, Weebarchiver. Thank you, Omnium. 
Merry Christmas, Sobs boy. I will pet Midas for you. You might be able to see him. He's over there. So he might move around. He might just move around. Omnium Gatherum gifted two more subs to Goose Cap and Shrek fan. If you're out there somewhere, enjoy your new sub and your new emotes. Flammable Cow with another five gift subs. Thank you for the $25 in gift subs, Flammable. Congrats to Nock, Faldahar, Charismatic Rogue, Lazy Lichir, and Valindroth. Much appreciated. Hope you're having a good holidays. Peacemaker, Italic says, or Peacemaker says, Italic, you should get good. I'm working on it. I'm trying. You're holding me back, Peacemaker. Thanks for the tier two grease spot for 28th month. Subversary on a Christmas day. It's a Christmas miracle. Thank you for the bit, Star Wolf Kin. Swiggity Swanky, thank you for 10 months. Long time no see. Welcome back. Photo Heathen Seal, Y2B Shears. Thank you for a year. That was two years for Photo Heathen. Nice anniversaries. And Omnium also has a tier one. What's up? Howdy, J. Micah. Muppenheimer. Going all out, baby. Who is Garrison says, what holiday is Lego Racers 2? We don't talk about Lego Racers 2. Okay? You got Lego Racers 1. You're going to be happy with that. Your mother and I, okay, couldn't find Lego Racers 2. You, frankly, you don't need it. You've got this one. Just play this one. Okay? It's the same game. And anybody else that I missed? I think I got everybody, but thank you. Chat, how do I, um, how do I safely get out of here without erasing my progress? It's a game from 1999, erasing what I just made. You could argue that no one would care if I erased what I just made, but I made it. So, therefore, I love it. You can't, we're here forever. <laughs> Go to the store and get a save pack. All right, I'm gonna go back to build menu because I don't want to build a car, I don't want to make a license, I don't want to build a driver. Not save, by the way. Main menu. Did it not save? <laughs> There he is! Austin Mom! Thank you, 1999. I love you. You don't need a safe pack. I was worried there. My heart skipped a beat for a second. All right, we're doing the whole Grand Prix. Let's do it. There is no rumble pack. Arr, on the high seas or on land. You are no match for the great Captain Redbeard, so give it up, mighty. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at these cutscenes. In the Imperial Grant, was that the, okay, that was the whole cutscene. All right, here we go. Oh, I figured it out on the first try. I just did the old Mario trick and I got the boost. I'm already a pro. Oh, that's a hook shot. How do you shoot behind you with the steering? Okay. Get that guy. Trying to pass me? I don't think so, buddy. What is- what is this white paint? Okay, I just got two off-brand Pepsi- That's a super zoom! I gotta learn- I gotta learn how to power slide! I'm never gonna win this Grand Prix. That, ooh, there it is. It's- the gear shifters are your power slide. So it... Come on, guys, get out of the way. Ooh, that's too fast. I don't know when you're supposed to power slide, because it's just too fast.
This is the final lap. This has got to be the final lap. Where's the first place guy? That's what I want to know. I've just been fighting for second the entire time. He's gone. Okay, so is red always cannonball? What do I... This is like extended magic shot. It lasted so long that it went through his special ability and <laughs> hit him after he drove past me. All right, I'll take second. I'll take second. I don't even know where first place was. Midtown Madness 2 win. Midtown Madness 2 was great. Ostomom could not be Captain Redbeard. Captain Redbeard wasn't even there. He was gone. All right, this is fast and furious. They don't waste any time, do they? Two, one. I missed it. This is so sensitive, by the way. I'm sure you can see. That's why I put the camera on here, so you wouldn't be like, why is he running off the road? I don't understand. I'm doing like small adjustments. field up and try to chase first. They always go for the middle one, and I ride right behind them. I know he's got a cannon. Lego, Lego, Lego races Christmas. All right, I need the red. That's mine. Don't lose it. Got him. Power up. There it is. I need red. I gotta win my Lego Races Grand Prix to earn my gamer badge. I got a hook shot. What lap? He's bumping me! Ooh, I got the wrong one! <laughs> oh, it's still another lap! I thought it was over. You missed, you nerd. Oh, he's right on my tail. He's bumping me. I gotta take the red from him. This is actually insanely difficult. Why is this a real game? This is a real game now. I thought this was like a fake game. I just blocked an attack. First place. That was tough. Lego Racers equals real game. All right, it's not over yet. I got a second place, a first place. How many races are in a circuit? Ital, you need to find the shortcuts. First time playing? <laughs> How do I know where the shortcut... It's not, I don't have time for that. Ooh, I don't have time for shortcuts. I've <laughs> literally never played this before. Lego. Lego. Lego Racers Christmas. Christmas. It is indeed a Lego, Lego, Lego racer's Christmas. All right, don't, don't bump into the, uh, the lava. I've missed the power. That may have been a little desperate. Or was it? Or was it? <laughs> Got a Pepsi boost. Was that supposed to be a double boost? How many of these, like, uh... White power-ups can you get back-to-back? -back? Lego, Lego, Lego races races Christmas. I don't understand what the red light's for. Right. He... 
attacked me, but also could... I can't talk. This is like using the racing wheel I thought was gonna be just a dumb meme, but this actually makes the game a thousand times more immersive than it was before. I feel like I'm actually in a racing game right now. I didn't get a single power up. Ooh, that's not a shortcut. I didn't get first, but I didn't get third. Didn't get first, but I didn't get third. You missed the shortcut. I am just reacting. I am just reacting. Reset. Hang on, I'm still in first, chat. I'm in first on the circuit because Captain Redbeard didn't win this time. So I'm still winning. How many back-to-back -back races are there? <sighs> I missed it. Can you guys hear that when I threw the pedal? Tox is just a reaction streamer. One more. One day, maybe. Lego, Lego, Lego races Christmas. How many power-ups should I attempt? This one's the best one. Two, three, and a Pepsi boost. Lego. This is the Lego, hardest map yet. Lego. I can't even see where the track is. They make you go to the outside. Where's the f dude? Red in first place is godlike. He's so far ahead, I can't do anything. I'm gonna try and do a power slide. Is this a shortcut? What, what power-up do I even have? It's an Egyptian power-up. I've got something. Uh, I'm in first place now. Okay. Yep. That's me. Just in first place. No problem. <laughs> I went through a wormhole. And now I'm in front. Okay. I'm watching you. You absolute buffoon. Didn't even take the shortcut. What is this missile launcher? I've got like a nuke. How's it not hitting him? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> All right, last second finish. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. Captain Redbeard tried. You tried. But I will be standing atop the number one. I won my first ever Lego Racers circuit. Now the spotlight is on, is on what everyone in chat called an abomination. They said it wasn't good enough. You have won Captain Redbeard's car set. Continue without- none of this progress is being saved, unfortunately, but hey. You've unlocked a new circuit! You're just gonna have to start over if you ever turn this game off. So just don't turn the game off. That was my life, never sprung from memory card. I remember having access to a game pack because I wanted to play Perfect Dark. So I know for sure that I, I probably did have a memory pack and a, like a regular game pack. <laughs> Iron Man Racing. <laughs> Playing one game per month without turning it off until I was done with it. <laughs> Literally no saving. This racing wheel's good. Like, this is good. 
This makes this way more fun than if I was just... Uh, no offense, Nintendo 64 controller, but like... By the way, how do you hold the... This is a demo. How do you hold the remote? Do you hold it like this? Is this how you hold? Because I hold it like this. This is how I hold it. And I reach over with my thumb. And if I had to do like a Mario Party game, where you spin this really fast, instead of doing this, like a nerd, I would just go... But yeah, I held it like this, because you have access to L and R. And I reach middle finger to the Z button. But that way I got the D-pad, I got the thumbstick, and I can just reach, I can reach every single button. How do you... I guess just press start. <laughs> I hope it remembers what I just did. I haven't turned the game off. Alright, how many circuits are there? We just did Imperial Grand Prix, right? Why is it, like, changing? No, I did circuit number one. Did I do Dark Force Dash? And Magma Moon? Yeah, we did. And we just unlocked Tribal Island Trail, Royal Knight Raceway, and Ice Planet Pathway. Amazon Adventure Alley. So four more. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. King Kahuka. <laughs> I feel like I should change my car somewhat. I mean, my car looks like a pile of garbage compared to this. Where are the, like, special wheels? To be fair, Scooter and other people aren't that much home to write about either. This is a pretty garbage car. But if I build a new one, I'm scared I'm gonna lose my, uh, my savings. Okay, uh... I mean, I guess it works. You guys want to keep using this one or make a different one? You get parts for beating the bosses. <laughs> Where are the bosses? Put pirate parts on the car. Okay. You meant like all bricks. I thought you meant like I was gonna go into a menu to selectively ch <laughs> Well, I guess I'm built in the car. <laughs> Hang on, why is my platform much larger now? Isn't my platform, like, way bigger? This is entirely different. I switched to a different chassis. How do you switch to a different chassis? This is the pirate one. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, let me go to, um, go to the other one, then. Space. Castle, pirate. So these are all my pirate-themed goodies, right? So let's put, like, a pirate chest. We're gonna put two barrels on the front. Can you rotate them sideways? Like, pointing forward, or no? Alright, no? Well, then I'll just do one barrel in the middle. I don't know what this is. This is a sideways pirate flag. This is a red. <laughs> um, I don't know what that is. Spear? Okay. I want to put like a block under these. And then put the spear. That's a parrot. This, this, these are way cooler. There's some cheese.
Yeah, look at that. That already looks way cooler. Okay. Uh, then... Oops. We got treasure. We got treasure maps. I'm gonna put these next to me. Oops. <laughs> Controlling with the wheel. You never get used to it. There we go. We're a little more shapely this time, you know? How is this even supposed to go? What about this rail? Like, why would you put a rail right in front of you? Oops. You guys hear that? <laughs> I'm bumping into everything. All right, put this behind me. There we go. Okay. Then what? Oh, yeah, I wanted to put these, like, pointy things on the front. Can't go any further? Really? You can't go, like, one inch further. All right, fine. Do the Legos on the car do anything? They look really cool. And like, isn't that enough? What is this supposed to, is this a gun? I don't understand, is this an oar? <laughs> it's a musket. <laughs> That's a parrot. All right, I'll put the parrot on the, um, on the barrel. Okay, I'm not, sorry, I'm not allowed to put the parrot on the barrel. He just has to kind of go <laughs> haphazardly. Unless, unless you rotate him. There you go. And you do not one, but two guardian parrots. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay. Then the treasure chests. We also got flags. <laughs> Which we cannot use unless they go on something else. Too tall! They're supposed to be about expressing your creativity. That's a really big question. There's a lot of big questions here. Brighter TV, TTV says, what's the best Christmas gift you ever got? Uh, Brighter TTV, the best Christmas gift I ever got was the opportunity to spend my Christmas with this chat. That was a nightmare that I had last night. Luckily, I woke up. <laughs> I'm just joking, Joe. I'm just joking. But no, I'm trying to remember. I don't... I don't know. There was never a time that I can remember where I got like, Hey, come outside, Italics. You got a new car. Wow! Hang on, come on down. Well, what's that? The box is moving. It's barking. There's a dog inside that box. I've always gotten like great Christmas presents, but I've never gotten like... Like that one Christmas present that you'll always remember until the end of time. Like, I, I've always been, uh... 
I've always been blessed to get, like, really good Christmas gifts. But never, like, a huge, mind-blowing, game-changing, life-changing thing. Tox hates socks. I actually need some socks. Believe it or not. But no. I am happy to be, uh, streaming on Christmas. It's just fun. I don't know. I like streaming, and I like playing games, and I like hanging out with you guys. So, take that as you will. I'm not gonna sit here and say, like, Oh, we're family! Welcome to the Italics family! That's not what I mean. We're not family, chat, so don't... Don't be confused. But we enjoy each other's company. <laughs> why not? The why not is, uh... Because I don't... I'm not trying to coerce you emotionally through manipulative means into uh, giving me extra money on Christmas. That's why not. <laughs> but why not? <laughs> Manipulate me. Well, it's too late. It's too late. I've already pulled the wool over Double X My Lord's eyes. <laughs> I've already fooled him. He's in too deep. Now I'm just a hypocrite. Uh, Kyrotopia has gifted. Why have you gifted 666 subs? Kyrotopia, please. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you, Kyrotopia and Double X, my lord, <laughs> for the cursed subs. Vandalizard, Seldom, Calm, Takio, 642, Bamboo, 91, and Red Dust Riddle got us up from Kyrotopia. Leroy, Hashtag, Rowan Cloud, Cryo, Cryptic, Codeman, and Grand Rapid Bird, courtesy of Double X, my lord. Thank you, Double X, my lord. Appreciate both of you. Very generous. Noble Knight, the fabled LEGO Racer stream is here! Noble Knight. And so are five uh, more community gifted subs, apparently. <laughs> Breaking up the LEGO build menu music. Omnium has gifted uh, nine subs today, I think. Very generous, Omnium. Gwyn, Skizzle, Aminofizz, RN Forest, and Kano Rock out there somewhere are now 30-day subs. Enjoy. Thanks for being here so you could receive these subs. And thank you for the gift. Much appreciated. I want a treasure chest on this. But I, <laughs> I can't fit it. Lego, Lego, Lego racist Christmas. You can't go outside the box. Lego, Lego, Lego racist Christmas. That was my greatest achievement and also my greatest mistake. Where am I supposed to put treasure? There's nowhere for it to go. Can I just pick up the Lego piece that I'm highlighting right now? Lego, That'd be great. Lego, Lego racist Christmas. All right, I found it. All right, hang on, I can do this. Lego, Lego, Lego racist Christmas. No, I can't. Hold on, I can do this. Stop. <laughs> Don't sing to me anymore. All I need are regular blocks. Hold on. How do you do this? There we go. All right, this is what I need. 
Beautiful. Now I can do the thing that I want to do. Which is go pirate. Uh, obviously I do want these. Or maybe just one. How about just one? The parrot can, uh, lead the way. Then, these are oars. <laughs> there's no, there's no room for this. Is there? Lego. 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 Racist Christmas. I don't know! That's as far as you can go. Okay, there's not gonna be any oars on this boat, but there will be whatever this is. I don't know what this is. Chat, what is this? Are these like little sabers? Like, what is this supposed to be? I don't know, but where's the treasure chest? And then I'm gonna declare that it's ready. Okay, I got treasure on the back. It's not right, so I'm gonna move it. <laughs> Beautiful. I don't think I can even fit anything else on here. Can I fit a flag? Nope, too tall. Alright, are we done? Anything else you want on our fantastical pirate ship? We're missing like a block there. Hold on. This is just sloppy work. Hey. Beautiful. Other side. Alright, we at least filled in the blanks. It may not be perfect, but like this is this is fine. This is our new pirate ship. I'm done. Alright, we gotta win the next Grand Prix. The next circuit race. Um wait, which one did I just click? How do you go back? This one, Tribal Island Trail. The chest is a trunk, basically, yes. Does the bird call out directions? Yeah? Oh boy, I love this game. I've never played it, but thanks to chat memeing, I have now. Nanny Og, thank you for the 18 months. Techno Toast gifted a sub to Quantum. Grats, Quantum. Nanny Og, thank you for the year and a half. Flammable Cow gifted another sub to Zip File. Omnium Gatherum, another to GS Random. Grats, everybody. The Christmas spirit is upon us. Thanks, Orca, for coming back for a fourth month. Code Effects, Merry Christmas to you as well. And I feel like I missed some people real quick. Metal Beak, best Christmas gift ever. Etal's playing an awful game. Ban, how do you ban Metal Beak? Concormistar, thank you for 19 months. Appreciate your tier one. Nautilus, gifted us up to Sawdust Bunnies. Grats on Sawdust. Opitex for 16. What's up, Opitex? Omnium gifted to Weeb Archiver. <laughs> Sob's boy says, Merry Christmas. I think I caught you, but thank you. And Merry Christmas to you as well. I like that the pedal is the OK button as well. It's nice. Me, King Kahuka, beat you like tribal drum. And do victory dance. Ook a ook ook. Ook, 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 ook. Tribal, I, okay. It's time. Assume the position. All right, I gotta figure out how to get, oh boy. This is not a good start. This music also for this track. Man, 
man, they really trick you into going for those, like, at the edge. Off the trail entirely. I don't even know what, uh, I have in my pocket right now. I mean, can you, like, throw oil ahead of you or no? Chat, uh, you may as well just restart at this point, to be honest. <laughs> may as well just start over. Alright, which color is teleport? Which color, which color do I need to pick up for teleport? Blue. No. Green. Green Pepsi. Alright, I'm just gonna sit until I get green. There's no greens on this map. Whoo! I'm in fourth place by a mile. <laughs> Why do I think this is a shortcut? It is a shortcut! Oh, no! <sighs> I may as well just start over. There's green all the way on the edge. Wait, I'm in second! Oh, now I'm in fourth. This is doable. This is at least second place. It's not for nothing. Ooh, you like that, chat? He's getting good. Oh, he... He was getting good, and then... This is not the way to go, but it kind of looks like the way to go. I'm throwing like dynamite behind me. I got here late. What's up, Strange Wolf? How's it going? What does Egyptian skeleton do? I don't know. King of Hookah is rocking it. When are you supposed to pedal down to get the boost? I did it like twice on accident. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. This is gonna be one of those levels, huh? I didn't even hit anybody. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good here in last place. The crickets are chirping. Did I get hit by the hammer? Yeah. Okay, save this up. We're gonna try and collect some power-ups. I got two laps to go. Well, I screwed it up already. Wow, that auto-aim! Let's just start over. <laughs> It'll be better. There it is. How did you boost ten times faster than me? And he's got a force field on? This guy is a pro. Is there a green on this entire map? That's the left. Just to the left. Alright, I'm not even gonna use these. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna be a patient boy. I'm pretty close to him already and I still got two laps to go. I don't even know what weapon I currently have. Get hit by the Crocs. All right, guy. We're doing way better this time. You watch. I need to like drift. All right, now's my time. 
Do I have to, is this teleport? When is tele... Don't touch! Oh, I missed. Can I do this? I had to just go ahead and use it because I was definitely gonna hit one of the other things. He's right behind me. He is right behind me. I can't even see him on the minimap. This is a big shortcut. <clears throat> the lag when you use it. <laughs> when you fly. How do you shoot behind you? How do you shoot behind you? On a, well, normally you'd hold back, but on this one... Oh! Power sliding in this is not gonna help me at, at all. The Lego Racer's Christmas tree! How many circuits are there? Out of curiosity. Do I have to beat Lego Racers on stream? That's a dual Pepsi. Yes, you do. Ooh, I got greedy and I'm gonna pay for it now. Or did I? Or did I? The AI cheats in this game. How <laughs> did I go in front of him? I'm getting bumped too. They just use their whatever whatever power up the AI gets, they use it immediately. Watch, wait for your opportunity to strike. He, he was faster. He was faster, but not as fast as me. All right, just don't touch blue. <laughs> I am trying so hard right now to beat King Kahuka. I'm up 20 points. I got some wiggle room. There's two more. I've never even seen this map before, Dad. Who's back with the tier two? That was a nice jet noise. <laughs> screwed it up. He screwed it up. Thank you, Dad, for the tier two. And Merry Christmas. All right, don't screw this up. The slingshot hook is pretty decent if you, like, do it from far enough back. It's actually really fun. I see why everyone wanted me to play LEGO Racers now. I would have loved this game if I played it as a little kid. Instead, I was just playing Mario Kart all the time. Who's red, by the way? Who's this god? He's just always in first automatically. Look how far ahead he is in the minimap. There's shortcuts that I need to be taking that I'm not. It's kind of hard to see them until it's too late though. There. We got double Pepsi, triple Pepsi. What lap am I on? 
One more. I need a green. Wrong one. I got. Did I get both? I'll take second. Second will be good enough. Red's already finished. Oh, I could have teleport. Who knows? <laughs> I just went straight to the finish line and I still got second. I went straight to the finish line. I just went through the wormhole. How are you enjoying slipstream time travel racing? Pretty good. Oh, I thought the water... The waterfall is a secret! It is. I just had a, like, gamer sense. Lego. 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 Racist Christmas. <laughs> Alright, I need one more power up. Just one. That is OP. That is so overpowered. Watch me still find a way to not get first place. We out there. Oh, we out there. I figured out the pro strats now. All you do is just vanish your way through to first place, baby. All right, one last lap. I like the little the planes going overhead. You know what? I was sad they did not have Diddy Kong racing. You might have noticed that when I was showing off the N64 games earlier. That was the one main line besides Mario Kart, of course. But everyone's played so much Mario Kart. Ain't no, Mario Kart ain't no Lego racers, chat. They did not have Diddy Kong racing, unfortunately. Which is by far one of the best. What's funny is, uh, graphics don't matter. Graphics are literally a waste of time if you work on them, because I have been playing this uh, for what, like an hour and a half or something, and I've already adjusted to the graphics, and I just don't care anymore. Like, it doesn't matter now. I am perfectly content. He almost caught up to me. I'll give him some credit. He's right there behind me. You had teleport. I didn't need teleport. I wanted to rub it in his face. It's me, your cowboy god. I'd say I value stable frame rate more than graphics. Yeah, I'd agree. Fun definitely takes first place. And this is this is a fun racer, especially dri I, You know what this driving wheel has done? This has made me want a driving wheel. Oh my god! 50 gift subs! Coke Gaming, is that you? Hold on, is, is, did Coke Gaming, like, come to the stream? No. no, Coke Gaming would not have done it anonymously. Coke Gaming would not <laughs> would have wanted the advertising revenue. That's 50 gift subs! Chad, 50 gift subs is $250 that somebody paid in one go. You absolute mad lad. Thank you so much, whoever you are out there, for a very generous Christmas gift. Lego. <laughs> Lego. Lego. For Jesus Christmas. Stream.
Very, very, very much appreciated. That is uh, extremely generous of somebody to do, and they don't even want credit for it. They just want to do it anonymously. Lego. 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 Racist, Racist Christmas. By the way, that sub sound is the reason I was late to the stream today. Just wanted you to know that now. So I hope it was worth it. <laughs> ah. There are so many new sub peoples. Just before the big 50 dropped, Illustra said, can't believe the meme actually became real. Lego. 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 <laughs> Racist Christmas. Merry Christmas, by the way. You tell Groovy. Thank you, Illustra. Hope you're having a wonderful holiday. Nanny Og for a year and a half. Thank you so much. Soto, thank you for the four months of Prime. How are you today? Anonymous! Gifted 50 subs. Poker rap time. Congrat if your name is the following. Wu Mingo, you will <laughs> You will be gifted for the next 30 days. There's even now there's even more of them. They're multiplying. Anonymous gifted a sub to Poor Lima, Super Saiyan 149, Kamiko Yuki, Fitzroy 76, Ja Iris, Claypool Bin, Cloud Era, Purple Rose Tattoo. Motoba, Mass Freak, Savaru, Kifi TV, The Swarm Lord, Eris Proxy, Daniel C. Tin, Queen of Spiders, Ross, It's a Brand New Day, Catapugon, Sishin, Dr. Scrambled Eggman, Mr. Maui Wowie, Crane Bolt, Green Rule, Pastures, Daisy, Twelve, Kane the Flump, Sodular, Taino, Tin Limus, Niroxin, War Senpai, Salarki, Mercurium, Tinkums Winkums, Flinchy Ferret, GT Costa, Texas, Nate, 819, Dayflower, The Puffer, Katie Bell, Bamboozle Ballet, My Dog, Ate My Homework, Sin Leet, Karaya, My Rum, Chocobo Cavalry, Munley, Minsarb, Danny Rothko, Lambda Project, Poop, Poo, I'm sorry, Poo Poo in my boo boo, uh, and Desiree Dawn. <laughs> and then Bespin Cop, uh, Caboost. Thanks, Bespin Cop. Hope you're having a good one. Toshiro Dono says, Merry Holiday. Handsome beard lad. Appreciate you, Toshiro. Thank you for the third month. <laughs> and K. Passiat says, Hee hee. And then Mind C with another $25 in gift subs. Lego. 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 Racist, racist Christmas. Thank you, Mind C, for another $25 in gift subs. Oli, Raven, Vincent, Birds of the Blue, Rusty, and Pluto with a bunch of underscores. Congrats. And welcome aboard. Enjoy your stay. Thanks for your generosity, Mind C. Guyver says happy holidays to chat and favorite streamer. Appreciate you, Guyver. For a 21 month. Round, that, that is a clap. 50 at one time. I respect you. Because you could have done 5 at a time uh, 10 times. But you didn't. You just did it all in one go. And... Uh, Anonymously at that. Very, very much appreciated. <laughs> Plebs become endangered by the minute. All right. Where's the song? Does the song not appear on this screen? Is this the one? <laughs> yes, that is the one safe place. Congratulations, you've unlocked a new circuit! What is it? Nightmare a thon. <laughs> Nightmare a thon. We're going Halloween, I guess. Alright, I'm not gonna. On the one hand, I want to see what dumb new creation kit things I got. On the other, let's just look at them. We don't have to change. We can just edit. Wait. Chat, help me out. How do I, how do I just build? How strong is this, by the way? 
Uh, this is, if you're curious, 8.5% alcohol by volume, which is pretty potent for an ale. 8.5% for something that is, uh, nine, that's, that's a pint. Is that high? That's, that's pretty strong. Pretty strong for beer. Where is gin? Hopefully in the trash where it belongs, zip file. Italics promoting drunk driving. How have I not considered this? Lego. 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 Racist Christmas. Christmas. I, I really do not support drunk driving. Look, just don't get a driver's license. Don't get a car. Get a wheel and you can do whatever you want. Virtually. Okay? I just wanted to see what the new pieces were that we got from the tribal start. I got a tree. I don't think I have anywhere to put any of this. Maybe. There you go. This why is it just white? What do you mean no? Just go over. You've got another s What? There's another spot there. It's supposed to go over one to the left. What? See? See? I told you! I don't know what- why he was telling me no! Wait, we got horns? Hold on. Can this go? It can. Beautiful. <laughs> it's so tacky. Why is this just a zebra barrel? The spears? How could, like, honestly, the ability to build your own car in, like, when did this come out? 99? When did this game come out? Release date, 19, July 31st, 99 is, it came out on PlayStation. Um, I don't know if it simultaneously launched. October 12th for N64 on December 12th. PlayStation on December 29th. So it came out on Windows first. But still, 1999? You could build your own car? That was unheard of. It was ahead of its time, I agree. Now, to be fair, the creations didn't do anything, but still. Like, Banjo-Kazooie tried to make an entire game about this years later. Prior to Minecraft really brought it into the, the limelight, this is super ahead of its time. Having a full build-your-own, like, character and car screen. Super impressed. All right, now, my car may be an abomination, but... That's how I like it. Look at it. Look at this beauty. We got a treasure chest in the back. We got some tribal horns on top of a, a pirate barrel and some new palm trees, which are definitely going to hold back our aerodynamics somewhat. Nightmare of thought. <laughs> Nuts and Bolts is a masterpiece. It's okay to like games that Lego. suck. Lego, Lego, Christmas. Christmas. I remember being excited for Nuts and Bolts, and I hated it. I did not finish it ever. But it's okay to like those kind of games. They have a place, but their place is not in my collection. <laughs> for sure. Osmotop. That's right. Halloween Lego Racers meme account. All the Lego meme accounts can be deleted. Isn't that a beautiful thing? There's like a dozen of those meme accounts. 
Lego Racers uh, Christmas meme account, Halloween, 4th of July, all of them can just be deleted. Because here we are in beautiful Pirate Skull Circuit Base. Give me the Ostomob. That's right. I like his pumping. The real question is, what are you playing next Christmas? That's a problem for 2020 italics. Not against the frightful power of Basil the Batlord. Live from Las Vegas, it's Lego Racers Christmas! Ooh, he's figured it out. Get the Pepsi. Boost, nope, too late, whatever. I'll take it. This is fast and furious. They make you do four races back to back with nary a pause in between. And I have never played these levels before, so you are seeing literal first reaction to every new Lego racing course that is put before me. He took both of those. He took both of those. I'm not gonna get first now. No way. Also, the steering wheel adds a layer of complexity you would not expect. Now I will never catch up to the boss. He's just... I have to get green leveled up to full. That's like the only way. Alright, well, I couldn't get the green. Bump. Well, now I might not even get second. I like how the, whoever the circuit boss is, is just um, two miles in front of every other racer, and all the other racers are just clustered together. Like the other five players. Just. was saying. If I just get... Back and forth, baby! He's back and forth! Fifth! Fourth! Come on! decal on the road. That was like a burn marker on the road. There wasn't even an oil spill. Okay, first of all, it's insulting to me that first place gets 30 points and fifth place gets two. But they're not even gonna let me continue. I, I did so poorly, they're not even gonna let me continue. Isn't it a circuit? Don't I have a chance to bring my score up? They're saying you lost on the first one. You did so bad that it's impossible for you to win if you play the next three. Wow. Okay. That's fine. Lost in a kid's game. What if I told you all games were for kids? And you'll never grow up, Corgi. We're all just gonna be kids forever. Growing up sucks. Don't do it. That's true. Growing up does suck. Chad, I got a wonderful Christmas present this year. You know what I got? Hang on, this is true, by the way. You know what my beautiful, wonderful, uh, 
bountiful, fortuitous Christmas present was this year? Hmm? Like, really, in real life? You know why growing up sucks? I just found out yesterday that, uh, for sure, guaranteed, I have had my identity stolen in real life. Like, I, I have to, like, become an adult. Someone has stolen my identity for real. And bought stuff. Pretending to be me. I don't know. I don't know who did it. I don't know how they did it. All I know is now I gotta, like, go through a whole bunch of hoops to jump through. That's my Christmas present for being an adult. Don't grow up. <laughs> what did they buy? When did you find out? Uh, I got some mail. I got some mail from um, a company. I don't want to go into specifics because I don't want to encourage my identity to be stolen further in the future. Um, but all I know is that there is an account set up somewhere that has uh, some thousands of dollars that were spent, not from my bank account, mind you, but on credit that they, like, made up. Uh, so I have to, like, lock down all my credit stuff. So I haven't lost any money, but there's, there's people that think I owe a bunch of money now for stuff I never bought. Merry Christmas! No, it's it'll be fine though. All I have to do is lock down my credit, lock down the uh, the three, the big three, and then go through the fraud department, and it'll be solved. So it's no big deal. It's a big deal, but it's not gonna be a big deal. Let's put it like that. It's a big deal for now. I'll take care of it after Christmas, cause you know. You know, if anybody answers the phone to a 1-800 number <laughs> on Christmas, you're not going to get good help, right? Like, the people that are working in that office on Christmas are so mentally checked out. Don't even bother. Just wait. Give it at least a couple days. Then deal with your real-life responsibilities when they check back in mentally. How do we know you're the real italics? Maybe maybe that's been stolen, too. Wow, that sucks, Etel. Maybe if you give us your social security number, we could help you out. Thanks for offering. I appreciate that. Minato says, do we get a new emote slot from all that? How much are we missing? You don't want to know. We're not going to get a new emote slot today. I'll be completely honest with you. We're not going to get another emote slot for another 340 subs. So. Uh, I hope you like the number of emote slots that we currently have. Because that's a lot. Technotoast gifted a set to Lego Racer's birthday stream. I haven't even seen that meme account. I'm surprised that it exists. Um. <laughs> Techno, why have you done this? Omnium Gatherum also gifted us up the Halloween Lego Racer streams. Apparently, the stock for Lego Racer meme accounts is going up right now. That's on the up and up. If you have a holiday Lego Racers meme account, you probably gifted us up. All right, before we start this again, um, this has taken its toll on me, and I need to take a quick pee break, but not for Midas despite what he may think as he runs around. So give me one minute. 60 seconds, chat. Tops. No, don't go to standby screen. You can stay here. That's fine. Show Midas. Do you see him running around? He, he, he hears me. He knows. It's not your time. Lego. It's not your time. Lego. 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 Come here. Merry Christmas, my son. Merry Christmas, Midas. Look, he's in the big cam. Look, it's it's not the steering wheel camera, it's Midas cam. There he is. Bye, 
Finally, the Midas camera is here. There he is. Look at him. There's two Midases on the screen now. There's one and there's two. Right, Midas? What's wrong with your ear? Merry Christmas, Midas. Did you have a you've been having a good Christmas. Yeah, you've been having a good Christmas. Midas knows when it's Christmas. He watches uh, any present that gets open and he thinks it's his. No matter what. And also, he's been eating um, very, very tasty wet food for two meals a day. So he loves that. And also, hang on, there's a bigger camera. There is a bigger camera. Where is it? There he is! What is this angle? And also, he takes two pills a day, and he thinks that they're just treats because they're coming peanut butter pill bottles. Peanut butter pill Lego, uh, Lego, Lego racist, racist Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, right. So he gets two wet food a day and two peanut butter treats a day, but they're actually medicine. What are you doing? got a special camera. Look, it's just for you. Look. Where are you going? I don't know where he's going. He's just on he's on the move. Okay. I guess I'll take him out real quick. I may as well take him out real quick. We're gonna beat Gamer Deathbot. You can you hear him cry? He's crying. Key break. Wow, that was a bark. Hey, don't bark. <laughs> All right, I'll be back in just a minute, chat. Thank you for your patience. And then, after this, we're gonna beat, I guess, all the circuits in LEGO Racers. And then, we're gonna play. Cruising USA. Wave Race 64, Star Wars uh, Episode 1 Racers, and if this works, we're going to play San Francisco Rush, baby. So we got plenty of stuff left to do. Lego Racers is just the beginning. How's that? All right, I'll be back in just a moment. Thanks for waiting.
Oh, you better believe I got Christmas PJs on, baby. Oh, I'm comfy. I'm snug as a bug. Better Twitch TV, bug emote, or riot? It'll it'll come back in some capacity, but to be honest, eh, nobody uses bug. <laughs> That's why it got deleted. To make room for the new woo emote. You know what, though? That's That's strategic. You put the new Woo emote there so that nobody gets pissed that there's two new uh, pay-to-win bits emotes, you know? I give you something to chew on so you don't even notice that there's two new other emotes that you can't get unless you've got $10 in bits. I'm mad. I'm pissed, baby. <laughs> I wish you could unlock those pay-to-win emotes through... um channel points. That'd be cool. I wanted to give sunglasses to it, but I can't. Well, they literally just introduced bitch emotes. So I have to imagine that there's going to be integration with the, uh, the channel points at some point. You want a bite? You guys want a little peach? Go ahead. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm banned from giving money, but can I give bits since they are fake money? Corgi, if you can drink alcohol, you can do whatever you want. According to the United States. Okay. Where were we? This time. And first place is gone. Like it's too- I've already lost. I don't think I can get- physically get first from now. I may as well start up. No, I'm not gonna start over. You know why? Because I'm gonna win. As I was saying, uh, just wait. You just wait. Blue. Why do you need a level four force field? Under what circumstances is this required? Did you see that complete course correction? To just go for the teleporter only. Ooh, that was a good block. I can do this. I don't know how to shoot backwards, but I got this. That's mine! guy are fighting right now. How did I hit him with the cannonball and he's still ahead of me? Alright, now they're cheating. Now, how am I in fourth? I 
hate this room. This level sucks. This is such a trash tier, like... I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna get the same place that I just got. Why? Did, there shouldn't even be a shortcut here! My dad made this level. I hope he's found other gainful employment by this stage in his life. That's one place higher than last time. You lose, but don't give up. Okay. You have to place one through three in order to be allowed to continue the circuit? Wait, did I put, do the wrong one? <laughs> this is my nemesis, I guess. <laughs> Only real gamers allowed. Will we ever get to see career mode? Is career mode better than just beating all the levels in the game? What is career mode? Minato gifted a sub to Lego. Just like Lego, like. <laughs> Just Lego, I guess. Um, Enabled Acorn says, let's get that slot, boys. What's up, Enabled? Thank you for your two months. Let's just get good, I guess. Is this not better? Is career better than doing, like, all these levels back-to-back? -back? I guess I have to win to figure that out. All right! This is try-hard time. And you screwed it up. I'm gonna collect power-ups so I can do warp. And I'm not gonna hit that right... All right, this is what I want. I want green. smooth. Well, I don't have green anymore, but that's okay, because I just... Oops. Oops. There you go, level three, then one more. All right, I'm ready. I have fallen into fifth place, but I am ready to receive... That's one! Taking these from my first place, second pl now second place idiot. Oops. I just want to show you all real quick that uh, the geniuses who made this particular driving wheel, well, they decided that the trigger on the Nintendo 64 would be here, and also the start button would be right here. And uh, next to that is set, where you can change the sensitivity, apparently, of the driving wheel. So, good luck using your weapon when you intend to, given its proximity to the start button. As we were. We're only on lap two. I got time. The key is staying to the left of that. But honestly, at this point, even second place is fine. How did that miss? He's, uh, he's straight ahead of me. God, this guy. I can't beat him. Mm! No! I can do this. 
still take second. What did I strike? That's better than fifth. That's better than fifth. I feel like the wheel is crazy sensitive and it makes me anxious watching Italic's turn. I know, that's why I got this camera here so you guys can see how small turns make huge impacts in the actual game. But I, I just don't know how to change the sensitivity. I also don't know what this slider is. Two, one. When are you supposed to pedal down? That's the key. You gotta get a good start. Also, never played this level, by the way, so this is all brand new content. do like a bad move it sounds like a parent scolding you like hey hey it's sensitive hardware don't throw your controller listen your mother and i got you this driving wheel to give you the ultimate in nin 64 simulations Some shortcut right there, because you have to take like this really hard. Huh? How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Huh? Had nowhere to run. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted the bonus. You can't just restart now. You gotta go. I gotta go. This particular... Me and you are just fighting for who gets the scraps that fall from the table. Do you understand? I'm in last place right now. Not even close. All I hear are seagulls in my ear. Is that not just a bunch of racers? Yeah. It was a bunch of racers, that's why I'm in fourth now. Another one. It's too late. There's no greens. Because they know how OP greens are. <gasps> I'll take third. Second and third. We got two more races. I'm in third place now. We gotta get, uh, wait. No, I'm in second. I, uh, but Basil the Bat Lord is in a, a distant first. <sighs> distant first. Two. One. Yes. Never seen this level before either. I gotta get my gamer card stamp, chat. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. How fast is this dude? Oh, look at this. This is serious! Like, this circuit is for real. So close, come on. What did I just get? What is that? Did I just get sick? I got sick! It's reverse steering! I thought that was a power-up! It had like a, like a pharaoh. A pharaoh. It was a pharaoh. Oop. Yeah. 
second place, but that's not good enough. I gotta be, if you're not first, you're last. I will never catch up to the guy who's actually winning. This might be where the game is just better than me. I don't think I'm gonna get any better. Don't touch this. <laughs> I said don't! It's fine. Because I know what it is now. Are you done? If I get a green, I might warp to within, like, competitive distance, but it's too late. He's already on the third lap. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm... Guys, I just want to apologize for my actions. I feel uh, very upset at this exact moment. I'm going to try to control myself a little bit. So let's just keep let's just keep playing. We're having a lot of fun here in LEGO Racers. It's a good game. I went through a warp and the dude already finished. He's done. That guy finished. I'll take second, I guess. The boss is, is he's too, he's too good. He's got 90 points. There's one more game left. He would have to get last place. You screwed it. You screwed, there's a UFO, there's a UFO. Did I just get abducted? I did just get abducted. Abducted. I hope that they drop the probe. Because I don't feel like getting probed again. Twice as much. He... He took my warp from me! The UFOs take the warp? They did... They degrade you? They remove a power-up that you get? It just... What is this level? What's supposed to be going on here? It's like we got goose slime. There's my catch-up mechanic and I'm still in sixth. I'll finish the race. I've still got heart. I may not even be close to getting fifth. That's fine. I've come this far. This is very, very difficult. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Hands off! Are you supposed to dodge that? Whatever. This is hurting my arm. Fifth voice! I'm not last. That's all I care about. I brought it back around. Sam Sinister. I have defeated. I'll still take second because Basil the Batlord won every single race. I don't think I can beat this on stream because I didn't even get first place in one of those races. There's no way I can beat this. I think you would have to... How, how many more, um... How many more circuits are there? 
Is that's got to be the final one? I bet that's the third and final one. Because that's the most difficult by far. Oop. I come back to the second place nonsense. Eight? There's not eight circuits. No way. That would be. There's not 24 courses. Where's career mode, by the way? You guys just made that up. There is no. There's circuit, single, versus, and time. There's no career mode. Wheel seems way harder. I'm sure it is. But also, it's way more fun. This is way more fun. Circuit race is career mode. That's what I thought. There's no way that I can beat him, but I gotta try. I gotta try at least one more time. Wait. No, this is new. This is, we got new content. All right, we'll take the second place. Because if you do, if do the average, Chad, do the average. I won first place in the first circuit, first place in the second circuit, second place in the third circuit. That still puts me in first place overall. I'm just saying. What about, uh, what about new gear? Edit, build. We got a whole new... Wait, do we? No, we didn't, did we unlock, we didn't unlock a new, they don't have a new one. It's just still tribal stuff. You don't get a new one. All right, well, my car is fine. <laughs> if you can call it. Oh, you have to get first to get the new bricks. Of course. That makes sense. You have to be a winner. Understandable. Desert Adventure Dragway, Magma Moon, Dark Force Dash. Aren't these all the same ones? Wait, circuit number five, six, seven. Are there really, how are there seven circuits, man? This one's just the same one. Mirror mode. Okay, so I've done all the levels then. Because this is tribal reverse tri- But there's an odd number. Alright, I'll do the mirror one. Which one's Rocket Racer? This one? What about Rocket Racer? What about it? I can't click on any of these. You have to win. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I got four other games we can play. I'm not gonna do all seven circuits. Or we're gonna be here all day. Did you see how hard the last one was? I can't even win first on that one. If I can't win first on that one, how am I gonna win first on these? <laughs> That's fine, we can wait. Hey there, I've got to warn you. Me and my car are ready to win any race. But good luck anyway. Elestra gave me $20 in bits, has just realized how many ad bits I've gotten since finding your channel. Figured you should have some because your streams always brighten my day, no matter what game you're playing. It looks like the game just hiccuped. There's a, a re. Hold on, I'm having some technical difficulties here with the Nintendo 64. When? <laughs> yeah, alright, now it's working right. I got 60 frames per second like I'm supposed to. All I gotta do is collect specials and just never use them until I get a warp. I think that's the new pro strat. Hey! 
All right, I am ready for my warp, sir. Seems to be some kind of small problem with my warp. It put me in fourth place. I wanted to go for that, but couldn't get the angle. How far? I want the green! I'm ready for my warp. Give it to me. The amount of time that one cannonball explosion affects the terrain around it is like 15 seconds. All right, well, it's too late for me, chat. It's too late for me. There's not a single other... Again! I don't even need that one. I just need my teleporter, please. What? Okay, well, I'm in first, so I'm, I got hit. I pushed it immediately. <laughs> it won't let me do it. Firing. Why is he so much better than me? I can smell him. My screwed teleport is what's going to hold me back here. Because now I can't even see this guy again. I guess I'll be happy with second place. Shoot suspicious looking walls. Shake my head, not even using... I don't know where the shortcuts are without the Prima strategy guide. Shoot the suspicious looking walls. I don't know where those are. Hi, Winstrin. I will uh, see what you got to say in a second, but thank you for the bits. I also have to deal with uh, my 10 FPS. Shoot the suspicious looking... I, I haven't seen any suspicious... dare you. Yeah. 
doesn't matter how many boosts you use. King Koopa is still at the head of the pack. Alright, I can... I can do this. I can do this! Yeah! Next lap. Alright, I just gotta hold the lead. Hold the lead. Get ready with, like, hook shots. Take the specials. Alright, you got max special. You got... Just teleport! <laughs> I was right next to me! Lap three, baby. It's lap three. It's over. Game over! Alright, now I gotta do it two more times. <sighs> All I gotta do is do that two more times. We're tied. I gotta win. Winsprint says, happy holidays. Thanks for making a really hard year better and more fun. So my grandmother saw the screen and says, you look cool. Oh, really? Winsprint, Grandma. Do I? I'll be seeing you after the streak, Grandma Winsprint. Let's go. Easy. Your grandma's probably like, what are you talking about? Watching video games from 1999 on the internet? Shouldn't you be like learning something on Wikipedia? And, you know, enriching your mind instead of watching some dummy use a racing wheel for a Nintendo 64 trying to beat a game from 20 years ago? Barely in first. Chat, can you believe this game is 20 years old? It looks good as new! Absolutely good. Ghost! I have force field. I got two force fields, actually. What? <laughs> Ghost! I assume they do bad things. Yeah. Keep it up. Keep it up. Explosive. Could be nice. <gasps> I missed! Don't panic. Just chill. Oh, he took it. Don't panic. You've got time. He's getting literally every good one, though. He... No, you're gonna boost him! He's going down the middle! Can I drift or something? Yeah! A little further. Woo! <laughs> First place! All right! <laughs> he pushed me through the finish line. Oh! That was close. All right, I take the lead, but only just. I have to hold it for one more. Hold it for one more race. Two. One. Go. Oh, you screwed it. Oh, you screwed it. Now you gotta go for warp. Oh, it's one of these, like, super U-turn roundabout ones, huh? What hit? Oh, okay. Sure. All right, I got the I got the power now. Oh, he took the green. I just need a green. 
Chaos! Before they can take it away from me, I need it. Now it's a competition. Stop taking the good one. It's only lap two, there's still time. There's a shortcut to my left. Christmas. <sighs> Fine. I've got two first place, two second places. Wait, how, what do I have? I've done four. Yeah. I've done four. <laughs> This is gonna be the one. No. <sighs> it's time for Slime Says Merry Crombus. And is here with a 12 month, year long sub and also a $25 gift. Which also has scooped up Apollo 4, Sclamicus, Cyrus SG, Natronosaurus, and Game Freak. I'm gonna need a Game Freak if this keeps up. Congratulations, and thank you. Time for Slime Free, 30 bucks and subs. Highly appreciated. Flammable Cow gifted one to Nathan Johanna. If you're out there somewhere, enjoy. And thank you for being here. Winsrin, thank you for the $15 in bits. Glad to have you. Hope you're having a wonderful holiday. This is only the beginning. This is the last, this, this is the last circuit, okay? This is the last one. I'm calling it here, final one. Then, uh, we're gonna play Wave Race. Final, final Lego Racer, and then I'm playing Wave Race. I can't play Lego Races for literally, like, six hours. I got other stuff. We got art to do. We gotta share art. And also, I really want to play AI Dungeon. But we'll do that later. I don't know, I just had- I was uh, overcome with a desire to play AI Dungeon again. Why not both? You can finish it next Christmas. Okay, to be fair to me, these are the same levels but mirrored, right? So it's not like I haven't played these. I'm on number five, right? Wait, what did I just click? Oh, I clicked main menu. Try cheat codes. <laughs> Are there actually cheat codes? 
Ah, so it is you. I, Baron von Baron, shall raise you. And I shall be. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> he still got it. These are some narrow courses. Wow! All the way in the back, they really want to make you work for that, huh? Right, you know, you know what I'm going for. You know what I'm going for! I saw- okay, shortcut by the waterfall, after start. Shortcut by waterfall, after start. That's it. Zap him? No, he's got like he's got warp uh he's got shields forever. There it is. Two Ooh! I remembered! I did it. Shortcut time. Careful, easy. Is certainly not the best. I've got, I got like a full max tier, whatever I pick up next. I got rockets. Is that good enough? I don't need it. I don't need them. I don't need them. You edit your character name to be fast forward for turbo mode. Four power ups always, and only green power ups. Really? That's pretty funny. All right, let's do it. I need to make up for lost time here. We got the last two second place. Two. One. Go. Screwed it. Screwed it. I feel like that first boost is so important to actually winning each race. Because, like, look how far ahead Red is. I haven't bumped into a single thing. And look at the minimap at the bottom right. that Lego Racers is a try-hard game. Losing to kids game is real. I would never have been able to get first place on these as a little kid. Also, the, the, the warp is the only... I, now I really lose. It's 
fine. I'm still in s second? I would have been tied with him. Okay, now I have to win this one. This is a must win, first place or bust. <clears throat> Game's hard. Oh, oh, oh boy. You've done it now. It's over. You just lost. It's all gone. There is no coming back from that. Lego. 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 Racist Christmas. All right, I gotta find the shortcuts. That ain't it. Shortcut. This way. <laughs> so there's a suspicious looking wall. How was I to know? This wall also looks suspicious. I hate this level. This is the le this is the worst one. This is like Mario Kart Castle, but like worse by far. No, the UFO one's the worst one. I don't even want to complete this now. I'm so far behind, like, I don't even want to play. You know? Not even remotely close. Where's the shortcut on this level, though? Okay, I'll just pretend like I'm playing Battle Royale in Super Mario. All right, believe it or not, the turning on this is... <laughs> I just got left. Yeah, I think it's I think it's time to uh ch check out some uh, jet racing. I think I, I, yeah, I would I wouldn't mind doing that. One. You get thirty points for first and one point for last. There's still, what place am I in overall? All right, fine. I will, I will do my best on this final course. I will give it my all. I will try to get a respectable completion time. I won't get first, but I'll be happy with whatever I get. That's just tricksy. Should never go for that. <laughs> this music sucks. Like it's god awful. I heard better midis on Pokemon fan pages when I use dialogue. I said I was gonna give this my all, but also I've been greedily going for green, and there isn't any. Which seems to be kind of the MO of this game is, oh, you need the overpowered one, sorry. That I cannot give you, hang on. Here it is, here it is. Where did I get, <sighs> I am so mad. That should have been a full warp, but instead, here I am. I 
yes, both the power-ups. This is fantastic. You got a shield. It bounced it back at me! <gasps> Uh-oh. I may have broken the uh, the concept for interact racing wheel. It is possible that I did that. Um, I hope that it forgives me. See, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to turn off the game. Lego. 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 Racers Racers Christmas. Christmas. Just gonna do a little bit of this unplugging and replugging. And I'm gonna calm myself down so that I can continue streaming today. Now, if the wheel still works, this is fine. I don't care about my save. That was going to be the last one anyway. I care more about this. <laughs> Please work. Does it work? It does, I think. Oh, thank God. Okay. I'm good. We're good. Woo! I'm just going to treat you with the respect that you deserve for surviving for this many years, okay? I will respect you concept for interact driving wheel, and I will not abuse you. I will not attack you for things you're not responsible for. I'm the reason that I lost, not you, okay? Oh my god. Get inside the walls. There are too many red-hooded, knife-wielding beings on the other side of the gates. Lego. Lego. Lego Racers, Racers Christmas. Christmas. Welcome to Lego Racers Christmas. Hope you're all having a happy holiday. Joining us here today, those of you who just came over from Tomato Gaming. That is twitch.tv slash... Uh, Tomato Gaming Incorporated. We're playing Nintendo 64 games today, but thanks for being here. Appreciate the raid, Tomato. <laughs> I don't know what you guys were doing. It's Christmas, so, uh, you know, everything's off the table. Could be anything. I'll just find out. Little Inferno. I don't think I ever played Little Inferno, but I hope it was fun. You're here just in time. I, I very nearly broke everything. I may have slapped the concept for Interact Racing Wheel. A little too hard. But luckily everything's okay. So, those of you who just popped in, this very special Christmas. Uh, today we are fulfilling the prophecy. Two years ago, over two years ago, there was a promise foretold. On stream, I quoted myself as saying that I would indeed play Lego Racers by Christmas. I just didn't say what year. Lego. Lego. Lego Racers, Racers Christmas. So when I didn't stream Lego Racers Christmas last year, it was okay because I never said what year it was going to be. This year is that year, and we've been playing LEGO Racers, and I just had to restart the entire game because I broke it. Uh, but, it's not just this catchy tune we're about to launch into. Wave Racer 64. Cruising USA. San Francisco Rush, if it works. And perhaps most importantly, Star Wars Episode One Racers. So thank you for joining me, and thank you, Tomato, for the raid. 
Merry Christmas and hope you have a wonderful holidays. Thank you for joining me, Raiders. Now we're playing on the Nintendo 64, as it says up above me, and this is indeed an era-appropriate Nintendo 64 driving wheel. And on top of that, I'm gonna take you down under to the feet cam. I have been told how much Twitch does enjoy feet. So here you can see the N64 doing its thing. Lego races plugged in. We got uh, demo mode, apparently. What if this was how you had to enjoy the quality of the gameplay? What if the stream just looked like this? Mom, watch! Look, I'm gonna get first place! I'm gonna submit it to Nintendo Power for the world record! Are you- are you recording, Mom? I've been- I've been practicing on this level for- for the- since Christmas, and it was this morning! I'm gonna get the blue one, and that's a force field! Yes, I have a pedal for the Nintendo 64. Losing viewers says the person not even following my channel. Not even following my channel. What do I care? You're never coming back to another stream. Do I give a shit? Bye! Alright. We're gonna play a new game. Let's play Wave Racer 64. Who <laughs> scream? That's a lot of subs. Wait, see, look at the juxtaposition between not even following the channel, and person who gives 25 gift subs out of the bountiful, generous soul. Look at the dichotomy here between the two of you. Not even a comparison in terms of quality of people. Detail, stop, he's already dead. Maybe though, but maybe in the spirit of Christmas. Santa is just. Perhaps you, the person whose name I don't even remember now, was among the last 30 people to gift a sub. Maybe you, for the next 30 days, will feel deep within your own soul, welling up within you. A spirit of kindness and tranquility. Or maybe you just really like Wave Race from 1996, which I am going to play uh, very questionably with a steering wheel. This is not even a simulation of what these vehicles are normally steered by. This is not LEGO Racers. You're right. It is, in fact, Wave Race. Is that all one word? It's two words. Wave Race 64, baby. Updated. And I'm leaving the title the same. I'm leaving- I'm not even gonna change it. Even more gift subs! Oh, I love that start sound. We're doing championship. Wait, norm- what is hard mode? You guys are gonna make fun of me if I don't do hard mode, huh? Fine. You can stop whenever you want. You don't have to keep doing that. But, um, I'll take it. 
Hard as heck, if I remember. Yeah, I remember that wave race was incredibly difficult. I guess this is now a gifts up stream. Um, there are some very nice people who waited until all the tomato subs showed up and wanted to share the love. Lego, Lego, Lego races Christmas <laughs> for Lego races Christmas. So welcome tomato subs and Lego, viewers. Lego, Lego races Christmas. Is he gonna do it again? Okay, Clive gifted three subs. Why did it? Oh wait, no, Bala Koala gifted a sub to Coke Gaming. Thank you, Coke Gaming, for probably um, a thousand Lego, subs. Lego, Lego races races Christmas. Coke Gaming, thank you for five thousand subs. Don't worry, they'll show up any second now. You just have to, uh, it's like Beetlejuice. Call them three times, tell them how many you want, and it's Coca-Cola. Like, they'll just, you know, no problem. Lego. 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 Racist Christmas. Uh, Bernie Sanders is now a sub with Coke Gaming. We've got all sorts of celebrities here. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. This is my eggnog. We're almost to the bottom of it. Uh, we're to the bottom of it. That was a pint of delirium. So... I'm sure it, I nursed it for a few hours, but it doesn't feel like a few hours up here, trust me. First of all, Liba Sam, thank you for $25 Lego. in... Lego races Christmas. Gift subs. Uh, 25 gift subs, chat is... $125 in gift subs. There's too many people to even poke a rap right now, but Liba Sam, you are very, very no, please don't. <laughs> no. Thank you. Very nice. You can uh, stop whenever you want, you know? Lego. 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 Racist, racist Christmas. Christmas. I just kissed you all on the forehead. That's why you, you are blessed on this Christmas gathering. My gift to you. He who wants to play. <laughs> what even is playing video games when, like, $50 in gift subs just keep going in? These even have a- I want the pink one. Pink and yellow. That's a starburst. Are we all drunk? Lego, Apparently... Lego, Lego, racist Christmas. <laughs> Why- uh, it's gonna get annoying. It's already kind of- whatever. This is just a round- this is like NASCAR. You just go in a big circle. I'm not- uh, Hold on, I'm not ready. Why am I- I'm the pink Power Ranger. I've never played- I've never even played this game before. Much less with a wheel. Miss. Oh, you're supposed to go right and left. Not bad. Okay. Okay, I feel like you don't like what I'm doing right now. You just keep saying okay kind of nonchalantly. These are some frames, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is- this game, why'd you- This game is tough. 
10 frames per second. And you gotta stay inside the bounds. And I'm playing with a driving wheel! I'm, I'm cranking it hard to the right. This is as hard to the right as it goes. What if this was the whole stream? What if it was just Lego, a wave race Lego, stream? Lego Racers Racers Christmas. Here's the thing, chat. This is what you need to know. Lego Racers is not over. Even though we turned off LEGO Racers Nintendo 64, uh, we're going to bookend the stream. This is the LEGO Racers Christmas stream, after all. So you thought that this is all that I had? Did you think this was it? No! I went the extra mile. Not only are we playing Nintendo 64, uh... LEGO Racers The Authentic 1999 Collection, we're also going to be playing Forza Horizon 4 with the LEGO Racing DLC, which I have painstakingly done the tutorial for, so that when we start the game up, we can just jump right in and play the LEGO Racing Future version. Not even close! Not even close! The game tells you that to your face! I would have been traumatized as a kid if an announcer every time I lost said, Not even close! Just because I'm an adult now, and I can take that criticism, and I can understand it. I can agree with it. I'd be like, yeah, you're right. That wasn't even close. I'm not offended. But as like a... I would have been... I was seven when this game came out. Like, <laughs> I, I did the best that I could. I'm sorry. I'll do better next time, Mom. Why not LEGO Racers 2? Because you gotta wait until the next Christmas for that. Which I'm not guaranteeing that I'm gonna do next Christmas. Listen, everyone says LEGO Racers 2 sucks anyways. Sorry, you didn't accumulate enough points to move on to the next round. Better luck next time. Better luck next time. Sorry, you didn't accumulate enough points for the next round. Wow, I sure can't wait to play Cruisin' USA in just a minute when I fail a second time in a row. By the way, it's weird how just having a steering wheel in front of you prompts you to hold it the way you would if you were actually driving a car. Like, this is how I drive a car. For real. I'm just like here and I'm just like, I'm waiting like this. Like, I'm just like holding my hand on top of the wheel like this. Thumb off to the side. Like, this is how I drive. Left-handed. It's weird how it tricks your brain into thinking that you're really like, oh yeah, I just put my hand up here and wait for the light to turn green. Waiting at the red light, talking to chat, just having a good time. Yeah, basically. Both hands on the wheel. Listen, my right hand is right here. Normally I drive like this, waiting at the light. I'm a very safe driver. By the way, I bought a dash cam uh for black friday and i've got a dash cam now so the funny thing about the dash cam is i don't just have a dash cam so that if somebody smashes into my car that i get a good recording of it but a dash cam also keeps you honest like when you have a dash cam you're like oh i need to come to a complete stop at every stop sign uh lights yellow uh even though that means clear the intersection legally maybe i should stop right now because if anything happens, not only do I have proof against whoever infringes upon me, but also I can incriminate myself. And that's why we're never going to have dash cams across America, because all I would say uh, at least 66 percent, maybe 75 percent of drivers are bad, just shitty drivers who, if they had a dash cam, would just be incriminating themselves. That's why they're not so widespread as they should be. If everyone had a dash cam, it would be open and close. If you have an accident, if you have a problem, take it to court, show them the footage, done. But you're not gonna do that because 66 to 75% of you are just terrible drivers and adding a dash cam wouldn't help you, it would only hurt you. Uh, yes, officer. You think I, uh, rolled through that stop sign? I have a camera right here that says that I didn't. 
There's a, there's footage right. I'll see you in court because I got the video right. Oh, he's right. Yeah, no, I watched the footage and I definitely just blew through that stop sign. Oh, I should turn that off. Yeah, I should I should just turn my cam off because that just got me a ticket. <laughs> All right, how many points do I need to advance? Just start over. Welcome to Sunny Beach. The problem is I don't know how you're supposed to do like a rear dash cam. To advance, what, did I, what do I need to advance to third? Just get good? Okay, I, I, at least I understand how you're supposed to play now. Power up. What is... Okay. <laughs> She's fine. Okay. What do I need? Okay, is it a race or is it a score thing? I don't... Start over. Just give it a, just give it a redo, okay? It's... Hard seven rounds. To I got a steering wheel. Can you hear this? Luckily, uh, I'm not gonna. Look, whatever. Shh. Hopefully, no one else in the house can hear me. Stepping on the gas from my like wave jet ski. All right, just be gentle with the wheel. You've got tons of finesse. I said gentle. But again, is it a points thing or is it a race thing? That was pretty smooth. All right, we're doing way better. But they're they're doing even better than me. How am I supposed to win? It's called don't set it on hard mode when you've never played it before. No pro he said he said no problem. It's fine. It's okay. They, they they'll let you make one mistake. Okay. Two mistakes. I don't know. Two mistakes is a little frowned upon in this society, where you match your jet ski to your costume and you just go out and hit the waves every single day. I'm supposed to be able to lean backward and forward. How do you lean? with a driving wheel. I have no idea. Like leaning, isn't leaning like the key part of the game? Isn't that the number one thing is like, oh, you lean forward to take less air. You lean backward to like get more air. I don't, did I win? No leaning any percent run, go. How did I do? Did I qualify? Sorry, you didn't accumulate enough points to move on to the next round. Better luck next time. <laughs> Oops. Uh, it looks like wave race. Um. <sighs> oh, how weird. Like they, you know, blowing the cartridge. Does it work now? Ah, that just made so many awful noises. Why would I want to do that when I could do, um... No, I don't have any friends, so I don't want to play two players. It's just, just me. Just me is fine. Do it! so quiet. Why is it so much quieter than the other games? Do it. Chat? You listening? Alright, if this is loud, remember this is on neg negative 25 decibels right now. Mm. 
one of the best of the best. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to go back to the, my mind just went back to the arcade, choosing a level. So good. I don't get to choose a level, though, I don't think. All right, it was on negative 25. It's on negative 16 right now. Apparently, this is just a much quieter game. Chad, I'm gonna need a refill. I need to get a refill. I'll do a race first, though. Ah, oh, I love this. I don't know if I ever played this on N64. I played it in the arcade every single time I went to the arcade, though. You gotta do auto automatic. I don't know how to do manual, but I got the, I got the drive wheel. Fine, I'll try manual. Okay, I'll do one race automatic, one race manual. Let me do automatic first. This and Hydro Thunder, oh baby. You have no idea. Why is this, so, why is this game so quiet? All right, it's on thir negative 13 decibels. Choose car, what do we got? 63 muscle car. La Bamba. Always pick La Bamba just for the, just because it's funny. You don't pick the Italia unless you're a tryhard. You always pick the La Bamba for fun. Don't need any Ferraris here. There she is! There's my girlfriend! Chat, I got bad news for you. It looks like the pedal on my drive wheel changes the camera view and does not in fact make the car go. The A button changes your camera view. B button changes the radio, which is an important binding. What about Z? Oh, of course, it's the trigger that makes you go. So if I just push the button like this, then yeah, that's fine, I guess. Hold on, like, how do I, uh, there's definitely a way to calibrate this. <laughs> Some good music though. Uh, yes, yes. They, this did not get a great port. Um, there was a way to actually customize. By the way, I just wanted to share with you something. This came with, Hello. This came with my steering wheel. I thought you would think this is cool because um, I feel bad for beating up the steering wheel because this is like for real. Um, this is like a legit full inbox steering wheel in that they no stone was left unturned. This wasn't like partial. They even have the original booklet that came with the steering wheel which has some killer IDOS games, or EDOS, whatever, including Tomb Raider 3. So if you were wanting some previews of some things that were coming out in the near future, uh, specifically new for Windows 95 and 98, we've got the Game Shark Game Ch Enhancer coming soon. Available for Nintendo 64, PlayStation, Sega Saturn, Game Boy, and Game Boy Pocket, and Windows 95 to 98. When we say, quote, abuse the power, we aren't even scratching the surface of what the Game Shark allows you to do. Hidden levels, characters, and powers easily become found levels, characters, and powers. We've added, we are always adding tons of codes for our website, GameShark.com. If you are curious about the controllers of the era, here are some nice third-party interact controllers. This particular abomination for the Nintendo 64, um, do not get the SharkPad Pro 64, in my opinion. It, that, is a, that is a chunky, fat controller. Um, I remember the Barracuda. We've also got other new products from Interact. 
including the joysticks. It's like a PlayStation control. Um, another wheel, the V4 Force, which could have just been called the V Force if this was in the era of movies like Fan Fantastic. Um, they would have figured that one out. Look at these guys. Colors. Like, that's that's just the headline. Colors. They got red, black, uh, blue, green, and white. Colors. Memory card slash trimmer packs, baby. I think trimmer pack is a much more, you know, memorable name. We've also got some Game Boy accessories that I may have had, including um, the little pocket sleeves. Oh, this one's good. This is an advertisement that features a small child putting a hairpin inside of a socket and getting electrocuted. But it says, wait, no, they're actually not getting electrocuted. Uh, there's a, This is a safety socket, so it's okay if your small child puts a metal object inside the socket because it won't electrocute them. This is your first and best line of defense against ever-present danger of accidental electric shock. It has two full paragraphs. Uh, they are backed by an outstanding $25,000 connected equipment warranty with an asterisk that says, Rekaton reserves the right to determine fair market value of the connected equipment. Uh, Jensen would like you to buy some speakers, if you don't mind. We've also got an evil anime scientist here that are part of our Powered Partners feature. It's a nice comic book art. And then on the final page is a coupon that I could use to receive $10 as a mail-in rebate as long as I do it before the 31st of this month, 1999. Uh, I will get $10 off any Interact, buy any Interact product and IDO software and receive $10 mail-in rebate. So I could take this back to the past. And they're also advertising, um, I don't know if you can see, this stand microphone, which is how many YouTubers, myself included, got started um, in this business about six years ago. So even though this is from 1999, Microphone technology did not advance or develop until at least 2015. So, anyway, I just thought this was kind of cool. Thought this was pretty neat. Oh, the reason I was going to look at that was how to rebind keys. There's a way to... You can rebind all the keys on this guy. And I would love to play Cruise in USA. So, hold on. By the way, I just want to show you the box that this came in because it's kind of crazy. So, take a look at this. Whoever preserved this, I applaud, because they kept the original baggie that the instructions come in for 20 years, dude. 20 years. They've got the original instruction booklet. It's in pristine condition. It even has tape on it, like the same tape. But it says... Um... Preset sensitivity, that's not what I'm looking for. Customizable sensitivity, button relocation. The thumb control buttons, the acceleration pedal and the brake pedal have relocation ability. They can be assigned to perform the action done by any one of the following buttons. To reprogram, follow the example below. Press and hold the set button for about a second. Okay. All right, beeped. Uh, to enter the function setup mode. The set LED will start blinking and two beeps will be heard. This is true. Press the R button once. The set LED will start blinking slower and a single beep will be heard. The R button. 
that didn't that didn't do it. Press the Z button once, it will stop blinking and two beeps will be heard. The setting process is now complete. <laughs> oh, to perf okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So I'm changing what these do. So I actually want to undo this. And I want Z button to do the pedal. Wait. All right, what? Hang on. Am I making the Z button do? I can't like rebind the Z button, or can I? Let's see what. Let's see what I did. Did I do the reverse thing or did I do the right thing? Let's find out. I'm just gonna like start this up. I just need to start a race and like solve the keys. It's actually really easy to do if it works the way I think it does. All right, we're we're good. Pedal pedal does pedal stuff. Uh, now I just have to figure out which button's the brake. Chat which? All right, this is change perspective. This is uh, which button brake? L, L and R. I don't know if one of them's the handbrake and the the gear shifters. <laughs> okay, so you do set, then you do like. R, then you do break. Okay, so it should be done. Now if I go forward, I push break. No. I need to do it in reverse. Which one did I just do? Okay, I got it. So the break is now the break. Fantastic. And now this is change, change song. That's easy. This is, this is from 1999. What year did this come out? That's the easiest reprogrammable button. That's, that, that's better than um, Phoenix Point. I just played Phoenix Point on stream and I couldn't rebind a single key. And I can rebind Nintendo 64 steering wheel brakes and accelerators with like two button presses. That's so easy. Okay, now I just need to figure out, um... Okay, what are the, uh, the, the I got the braking and the accelerating. That's important. What about gear shift? That only applies. Yes, what? Did I restart. I just need if I want to do manual, shift down, shift up. Good luck figuring out what that is. Um, now what? Start. Starts fine. Earn faster cars. I love that uh, Cruising USA predicted Death Stranding. You just have to cross the continental United States to earn faster cars. <laughs> this is the first Strand video game. Alright, I did manual, right? So I need to figure out what the manual buttons are. Hold on. That's change camera. This... All right, so it's up arrow. So it's, hold on, I need to do, do you push the button? Hang on. Set, right, up. Didn't do anything, hold on. about down? It seems... Okay, okay, down worked. Up, up also works. Nice. I guess there is one potential problem. <laughs> it 
just occurred to me that I think I'm rebinding the keys for the Nintendo 64, not for this game. So as soon as I plug in the next game, I might have just screwed all the keybinds for Star Wars Episode One Racer. If you know what, I know how to change it. I figured it out. That's fine. I'm I'm good. Let's let's quit. It's ready to race. We're ready to go, baby. Don't matter because crew you can't not play cruise in USA just because the keybinds don't work right. This is a this is among the best. Alright, we're ready to go. Do this one. Cruise the USA. I'll try manual, but I've never done this in my life. Oh wow. How's the volume? Too loud, too quiet? When do you shift? Do you shift when it turns orange? I don't know, is this the highest gear? You don't shift down in cruising, you just go forward! Luckily I don't have to, uh... <laughs> I don't have to apply the clutch. No clutch. This was the best arcade racing game. How come when I bump a car from behind, it just knocks them clean out of the way? Oh yeah, this is the best. <laughs> Manual's not that hard. You just get into fourth gear and you just hold the pedal down unless you hit something. I'm still in fifth place, so it's not like I really have much um, room to talk. Sometimes it seems like it goes up to like 60 FPS though. This is the authentic experience. 140 miles per hour? Dude, the police are all up in my grill. I don't remember this being the song. Was this the song? Just don't hit the cars. It's real easy. You just don't hit them. Why am I, why isn't, okay. I just wanna pause for a second. In a racing game, why does neutral exist as a gear? Hmm? And do I have to get out and push after a little while? Like if my car dies and neutral's just there just in case? Because it's a simulation. Just r roll with it. So you can have a clutch. No, 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 no. It's not so you can have a clutch. It's four, three, two, one, neutral. You don't shift. You don't. You won't go to neutral in this game for any reason. Whatever. Three, four, see if we can, is fifth last place, by the way? Not anymore, ooh! All right, well I ain't last place. That's all I really care about. 10 seconds, Ten seconds for what? <sighs> Let me try again. Uh, just let me try that one one more time. I need to go again. Continue. What, what you mean, like I failed? Is that what you're telling me? Do I have to put in more money? Ready, set, go. All right, let me pass all these losers. Fourth isn't even that bad. Like, I'm in first right now. All I gotta do is actually just not hit anybody. Man, this game is so good. Seriously, like, the, the steering feels to actually- Oh! 
The steering feels good because it was made for the arcade. They did the steering wheel for the arcade and it's just translated perfectly to this. This sensitivity is... It's probably better than it was in the arcade, because in the arcade, they didn't have, like, resistance on the wheels. They just had, like, those loose wheels that you could throw. You could just, like, toss them left to right. Because everybody played them. <sighs> Alright, there's no mini-map in this game. But it's also... Uh... Okay. Are there laps in cruising, or do you just have one course and you just get to the finish line? There's checkpoints, I guess. The gear shifting is actually pretty fun. Dude! You're gonna make me lose. They just over every hill. I've learned to anticipate them. Nice Nintendo logo on the side, by the way. Move out my way! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that trophy. I don't remember this. You don't remember getting first place and getting the trophy handed to you? And then you get to go to the Hall of Fame! This was the big deal. Like, at the end of a race in the arcade, like, yeah. Lego, somebody's Lego, gonna look at this. And be like, who is this god? That got his initials stamped on this license plate for the world record. Well, apparently I was only fifth, but still, high scores. Average 122, finish time 1 minute 49 seconds. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. Play to win says, hey, can you make small detour? Uh, also, thanks for two years of quality streams. Also, Mary Mary. You want to go to McDonald's? I'll go to McDonald's. I could I could go for like a a, a Whopper. <laughs> Why was I gonna say the Burger King food? I don't know. I, I forgot even how to speak in McDonald's. I'm a Wendy's boy, okay. I don't know about the differences between Whoppers and Big Macs, okay? All I know about I actually did get a four for four the other day. I did literally the day before yesterday. I got... No, yes... Hang on. Yesterday. I got my hair cut yesterday, and I got a 4 for 4 yesterday. Yeah. Oh, by the way, for some reason, I don't understand why, Wendy's has the best cookie. Their chocolate chip cookie is like... I don't know why, but it's so good. I, I want to do, like, a cookie review of each fast food restaurant's best chocolate chip cookie on offer. To figure out who's got the best ones. Because I, I bet it Wendy's is in the top two, at least, if not the best. But thanks, Play to Win. Omnium, thank you for gifting another sub to Def2. Grats, Def2, and thanks for sharing Omnium. Winsfriend has gifted a sub to Vbop. Howdy, Vbop. Anonymous gifted four subs in a row to Red Cobalt, MD Wannabe, Mini Megan, and Mr. Amazing. So, Anonymous, whoever you are, hope you're having a wonderful holiday, and thanks for being here at the stream. Multi-Trip gifted a five subs. Thank you so much for the 25 bucks and gift subs, Multi-Trip. Anonymous gifted another one, two, three, four, five, six other subs to Rogai, Bubsy, Whalebro, Yurg, Grizzly, and Switely. And then another ten subs. Wait, what? No, those are all the same. That's the same ten gifts up. Same Anonymous. It just got split up by multi-trip. <laughs> so thank you to both of you very much. Spider Waifu gifted 20 subs. 
which is so many. $100 in gift subs just out of nowhere. Techno Toast gifted a sub to Wendy's. Nice. I see you. I know why you're here. Is Wendy's coming by? Say hi. Listen, if I could eat a 4 for 4 on stream right now, I would do it in a heartbeat. I would do it just for the small price of someone bringing it to me, knocking on the door and delivering it. I'd do it. No money involved. Just eat the food. But yeah, Spider Wife, but thank you so much for the super generous $100 gift subs. Hey, I'm Franco Demius, Team Killer, Garvmon, Snackman, Stinks, The Slimy Squash, King, Merchad, Argos, Fartkunst, Lufa Hoods, Silico, Thorbanus, Mandy, Lewis the Cashew, Dreadmores, and Snorble Carth, Vader, my name, Matthias, and Dark Reaper. Thanks for being here. Bernie Sanders, thank you for being here. Coke Gaming, thank you for being here. Wendy's, thank you for being here. Dark Kyos, thank you for being here. Appreciate your 33 months. Says, that was wild. Clive gets some subs. Bala Koala and Flammable Cow gifted some subs. Sub Flammable Cow. Thank you for another $50 in gift subs. It's so much. Roboting, Skippy Trev, McGee, Okumura, LSG, Icarus, Mr. Kaz, Moonfixer, OCD, Rum Bottom, and Old Man Stew. Hi. Thanks for being here. Anonymous gifted four more, five more subs, and another $25 in gift subs. Somebody out there is very nice today. Link. Mizra High gifted five. Thanks, Mizra High. Leap Sam, of course, gift started it off with 25, which is just god tier. So thank you, Leap Sam. That's a lot of subs. Chat was joking about getting the next sub tier. <laughs> You're still not going to do it. But thank you for trying anyway. <laughs> Had to mute for that final part. Spider Waifu uh, can't throw enough money into my trash can. So thank you, Spider Waifu, for throwing it my way. Another bunch of gift subs. Another bunch of emotes shared in chat. Spider Waifu gifted another six. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I don't deserve you. I deserve to have my identity stolen. But not this beautiful stream generosity. Thank you. Okay. I'm on it. No, you don't. <laughs> Uh, trust me, my credit is already- no, my credit's fine. My credit is so good that not even someone stealing my identity could run me down. I got good credit, so don't worry about me. I'll be good. It's called pay on time, baby. What a flex. It's not a flex, chat. Listen. For real, though. It's easy to get your credit to be good. Here's what you do. Very simple. Take a credit card. Stop paying for anything and I mean everything or anything do not pay for anything with a debit card ever again stop using your debit card now get a good credit card one that has a 5% return on all purchases use your credit card for literally every single purchase you ever make and then pay that credit card off. Only buy stuff that you can afford to pay off every month. Pay it off every month. Okay? And as long as you only use that credit card from now on, your credit is now going up. Instead of you using your debit card and spinning your wheels and swimming in circles in the middle of the adult waters. But there are credit cards that will give you 5% back. They're out there. They're hard to get. You can at least get 2%. Um, I know Amazon purchases. I get 5% back on Amazon. But the other benefit of that is if you only use your credit card forever, uh, if anybody ever, if you go to a gas station, if you go to an ATM and somebody put one of those plastic facades on the card scanner and you put your card in and you pull it out, 
Well, they didn't rip your debit card, which is incredibly difficult to recover from. If someone has stolen your debit card, if they stole your credit card, it's much easier to, to close your credit, stop your credit line from going, uh, and it won't cripple you eternally. So not only do you do this for credit, you do it so that if somebody ever steals your card number, you can shut that credit down and get it refunded easily. You cannot, though, get thousands of dollars back from your uh, bank account if somebody steals your debit card numbers so a lot of reasons not to use your debit card credit is the primary one they i just had to, i i had to tell you that's how i got my credit good it's not because i got a bunch of money because i don't believe it or not from all these gift stuffs i do not have a bunch of money but what i do have is uh i've i never use my debit card and i have not used it for 10 years i use my debit card only to get cash that's it period I have not used it for a single purchase in 10 years. And I have fantastic credit as a result. Because the credit system in America is stupid. And all you have to do is just pay a lot of money with credit to prove that you're capable of taking on debt. What about rent and bills? Well, you don't use debit for that, Kyra Toby. You use, uh, you use routing numbers and checks. Which is not a debit card. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Set, go. Ah, oh, this is so good. I remember these levels. I don't remember these levels being at five frames per second, but I remember these levels. I promise you are seeing them as smoothly as I am seeing them. All right, we gotta make a, a break from seventh place. There's a pile up! I forgot about the ooh ah song. Lego. 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 Racist Christmas. Oh, there was nowhere to go. All right, I, I'm going to take at least third. I'm going to take at least third. How come I had the... These huge 18 wheelers just running through. Can you guys chill? <sighs> nice frame rate here in the tunnel. I like the tunnel the best. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Oh my god, these guys. The cops! They're waiting for me. How did I bring this back to second, by the way? First? Ten seconds. Ooh. Five, four, no one's gonna make it. When does the, where's the end? <gasps> With one second left. What a twist, baby. This game's fantastic. This, like, Cruising USA, greatest of all time. When, I get asked a lot. A lot. What's your favorite game of all time? And I'm like, uh, KOTOR. KOTOR's really fun. Yeah, Dice Little Republic's great. Arcade Cruising USA is one of the greatest of all time. Having, like, you and four of your family or friends all competing. Who's gonna get first? Because anybody could play this game. All you gotta do is sit here, push the pedal down. And playing competitively with, like, three other family friend members is the best. Ready? 
All right, I need some room. I need a little space. This was the good level. What is this, Australian Outback? Also, these jams are timeless. <laughs> those jumps. <laughs> I love those jumps. Alright, as long as we don't get hit by, like, an oncoming cargo truck, we got first on luck. Helico Why are the helicopters flying the other way? Did they say let's go? Was let's go like a 1997 thing? Let's go, baby! Whoa! Why? There's a drunk driver! Okay, that one was me. That one was me. That's why I didn't scream, because that one, I, I did that. But the swerving dude, who's that? All right, chill, chill, calm down. How fast am I going? 144. Maybe I should get like a, my own driving setup and play like Euro Truck. <laughs> I have never played with a racing wheel in my house before. This is new. And I'm doing it on a Nintendo 64. Should I become like a Euro Truck streamer? And get like my own driving wheel for computer? Because this is fun. It's just fun to have like something tactile, something physical to play with. How do you just confirm? There you go. Mika Dose, thank you for the seven months, Dr. Shrug. What up? Welcome back. Well, thank welcome back, Mika Dose. Thank you for the brand new sub, Dr. Shrug. Number five. That, I was off by less than a second, though. You just have to be fast. How many uh levels are there in Cruising USA? Six? <laughs> we could probably beat the game. We can probably just beat this in like six races. They're like two minutes each. Oh, I'm I am playing manual. Whoops. There's a forest level? Whoa! I don't remember ever doing this one. No, we never did this one. I don't even know when to gear up. It's just a bunch of turns. <laughs> Guys. Guys. For real? The gear shifting is really fun, though. It adds, like, an extra dynamic. Look, don't, chat, listen, don't mind me. I'm doing the best I I'm doing the best I can. I know that may not sound like much. But okay. You can't you can't even go. Is it just looping that same track? I'm getting dizzy. Let's go! Let's go! Give me some straightaway to work with. Let's go! He did- they did- they definitely say it. Everything is so bouncy. They have to make it that way, because when you're in the arcade and you spend like a dollar to play this, you don't want to just... You don't want to just spin out and then not be able to, like, compete anymore. So they, like, bounce you around. So you just ricochet. AI cheats. AI... A AI...
my first did not finish. Ready, set, go. Did not finish, huh? All right, I'm gonna show you guys what first place looks like on a real course. Wait, this is the same. Is this the same course? Okay, whatever. They're only like two minutes each. Honestly, gearing up like doesn't make any sense. Just stay at gear three so you don't crash. Let's go! Like, who's screaming in that scenario, though? Nobody's here. The turning feels so good, even though it sucks at the same time. I don't know how it's possible to do both. Once I get on the straightaway, you're done! My turn. Don't crash. Spin him out. You could be like aggressive. Woo! Oh my god. Drunk drivers in Australia, man. I just can't tell where the turns are. Everyone's drunk here. That's how it works. All right, second should be enough to move on, right? That should be plenty. You can't. You don't have to win first, right? It's, it's called cruising USA. Why would the course be in Australia? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. There's a fundamental flaw in my assumptions. It's literally in the title. Hang on. If you hang on. If you're not first, you're last? Ready? For real? If you're not first, you're last. That's incredible. I don't have a game pack. Hang on, why don't I unlock the courses that I already won on? Did I only win on two? How come you go from easy to expert? Where are the medium ones? There's just the tree one. You, why, you wouldn't do a couple mediums in between? You have no save file. Okay, but I didn't do Iowa. I didn't do any of these. These ones are new. It keeps your save as long as you don't turn the game off. <laughs> Iowa. Why Why even is those one of the options? All right, Cruising USA is good. We gotta, we gotta keep it moving. Keep the ball moving. Let's see if Rush works. Keep the ball moving. Cruising's great, though. I love that game. Let's see if Rush works. This didn't work when I tried it out last time. This one didn't even turn on. If you weren't playing Cruising USA in the arcades, you were playing Rush 2049. This is their vision of the future, Chad. 30 years from now.
Oh wait, yeah. Sorry, this is San Francisco Rush. My bad. Which, by the way... How many mods are currently here? Did any of the mods that are currently here that are about to be fired change the game title to Cruisin' USA during the last game? I did it. Okay. Good job. This was just a test. Cairo's getting a raise. Kairotopi gets a raise. I'll pay you in nerds too. Lego. 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 Racist, racist Christmas. <laughs> Alright, I need a different drink. This has been gone for like 45 minutes. So, uh, don't worry. It will not torture you. I know that you do not like this song. So. How's that? I need a... Uh, I need a round two. So, I'm gonna get a round two. We've got some Rush San Francisco formula. And then we got... Star Wars Racer 1. Uh, we're also gonna do the art show. We'll do the art show after we do San Francisco Rush. How about that? The community art show. And then we've got Lego Racers the sequel, but not Lego Racers 2 after that. So, still plenty of stuff left to check out. Alright, I'll be back in just a minute. Thanks for waiting.
Wait. What's up? Talks is that poop on the floor? What? This? This is just a bone. What are you talking about? This is just look. It's like a piece, it's like a tree branch. He touched the poop. <laughs> he touched the poop. Oh no! Wash your hands. Oh, was everybody Omega lolling in the chat because they thought there was poop on the ground? <laughs> there were probably so many Omega lols. buttons backward now probably just play it's dangerous there were people dying in that audio clip My sub sound. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Ah! Three, two, one, rush! in this race it doesn't matter if my like foot pedal doesn't work all I gotta do is keep thinking making it think I ran off the track what is go what is go all right before I can rebind this I have to figure out what button okay a dude I got this all goofed up I think I got that. Three, I wasn't ready. Two, one, rush. All right, hold on. All right, I got that. Now I need brakes, which is B. All right, I got brakes. I got go. Do I need? Do I need anything else? It seems like there's only three buttons, so let's just restart, and I think I can actually race now. Three, two, one, rush! It's surprisingly easy to uh, rebind everything. Nice rock music. I remember the thing about San Francisco Rush versus Cruisin'. It's Cruisin's very bouncy game, where the slightest twitch of your um, driving wheel can send you kind of off the road, and you just bounce off stuff. Whereas Rush was much more of like a gentle caress that you had to give to every single turn. There weren't like 
super, super hard turns. They were just like screeching tires, don't spin out. And like try and keep, don't do, don't do that because your car can take damage. There's car damage in the game and you start driving slower and worse if the damage gets too much. Or like that, like I can't turn. I'm having trouble turning right now. So I remember being super impressed as a little kid because it was like, whoa, look, it deformed. You hit the wall and like I can see the tires now. And then of course they ended up going from San Francisco Rush to like Rush 2049. And doing this single jump every single time was like Pog Champ when you're a little kid. Because you actually got some hang time, you got some air. I remember that jump in particular. I don't remember the rest of this course, but I remember that jump. Ooh! And you have to use the brakes. That's the other thing. I haven't used the brakes at all, but you have to use the brakes in Rush. Which is obviously harder for me now. But I don't know the turns. I wish I had a handbrake. Ooh! I couldn't... I don't think that's what they intended with this course. Hey guy, what's up? My car is banged up. 165 miles an hour. For real? Turn. Because if you took that, uh, that jump going at an angle, you run off the road. See how I'm like starting to kind of like lose control if I turn too hard? This dude is right here. I think since his speed was much better in Rush than... Uh, every it's the same every time! I hit that every time and then I have to slow down. Raisin card, nice. still pull this off. Maybe. Never mind. It's over. You got greedy. One wrong move can throw everything out of sync. Big F. How many laps are there? This has got to be the final lap, right? This is the third one. I see the flag up ahead. I ain't gonna make it. I'll take fourth, I guess. My car is like completely decimated. What's your name? Let's see alphabet. O B. That's how you spell it. What's your name? What's your name? I don't remember this at all. That's your name. That was a whole song. What's your name? And then. <laughs> what do you mean? Write it down. Start with a G. Start with a Z. I'm doing it. J K L. Only if you don't want my name. There you go. Why do you only do part of the alphabet though? Why am I first place even though I got fourth place in the race? Darth Ryder. Raider? Darth Raider is like my fake CPU name. high score competitor. What's your name? 
Raven, Skank Pumpkin. Why would Skank Pumpkin be one of the made up names for the leaderboard? I guess just go. Track five? Wait, did we just do track one? Three, two, one, push! Probably doesn't help I'm playing the expert car. That's probably not really doing it for me in terms of handling. Ska dancing. I've never heard that used for ska dancing in my life, probably. Okay, so this one's got a jump, I guess. Big jump. Large. I thought that was a speedrun strat. No, that was just I didn't look at the mini-map, which there actually is one, and there's a turn. There's music. They got creative, I'll give them that. All right, that wasn't bad. I actually used the break. We got a straightaway for like some time. Which may look easy, but if you turn just before... Oh! <laughs> Actually dead. No, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Couldn't see that on the mini-map, could you? Why? That's just a dip. <laughs> Expert, by the way. Should have picked, like, middle of the road instead of the expert one. We'll play I'm in second place still, though. So I'm not even doing bad, considering I've exploded. The brakes do nothing! Some funky music. Tell me there's not three laps for this one. What is this? What is- hang on! No, 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 no. You can't just have a- how do you go reverse? <sighs> There's a parking lot with a dead end. By the way, San Francisco Rush was way harder uh, than Cruising USA, which is why you didn't really play until you got to Rush 2049 which was a much better arcade experience. This was still fun for different reasons, but the, the levels are way harder. Because you have a hard 90 degree angle turns. Like this, this map is a box. This isn't San Francisco, I don't see any traffic. I guess it's San Francisco because of all the slopes. Every time. I can't stop, I can't slow down. You have to throw on the brakes, like, 30 seconds before. This is like simulation driving. And your- your hang time is so great. 
Do cars really blow up when they flip? I mean, ask GTA. That's how it works in GTA. Ooh. What place am I in? Fourth? What lap is this? I cheated! That's, that was probably faster. I bet it was. Than just crashing or trying to turn. It just shot me forward. Push your button! You just have to use the get me back on the track button, like, all the time. Same parking lot. It's because you come in so fast, you just scream. Game's too hard, man. For N64, it's too much. Now we're to the breakdown. I mean, this music is pretty sexy. Hey, don't be like me, chat. Look, we're gonna get to third place in no time, easy. Didn't even crash into the wall this time. Told you, third place, done the done deal. I think I'm almost in second, not really. Brakes. The brakes have been on for like a full minute. This has got to be a shortcut, though. Where am I? What? Second place. Ooh, who is this? Chat, am I getting absolutely destroyed right now and stuck in fourth place? thought I was gonna not finish? You thought I wasn't gonna finish? Not so fast. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, where am I supposed to go? Left. No! The finish line's right there! Whatever. You know what, Rush? What's cool. your name? Start with a C. Start with a G. Start with a Z. Nothing nasty now. What's your name? What, 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 what's your name? I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of, there's a lot of nerd questions right now. But anyway. That's how you spell it. Now that chat's kind of chilled out a little bit, make sure you follow Tomato if you haven't already, chat. Thanks again if you're out there somewhere for the raid. And thanks, Tomato people, for sticking around. I appreciate you. What's your name? Uh, my name is Star Wars Episode One Racer. That's my name. Rush is cool, though. Rush is fun. Rush is just too hard for me. I'm not good enough. 
My name is Star Wars Episode One Racer. <sighs> Expansion pack supported. Now, before we go to that, though. I guess I should turn the volume back up. Some of these games are so different. The race wheel's not movie accurate. What if I made my own pod that had a wheel, huh? Instead of just... By the way, um... Star Wars Episode One Racer in arcades was awesome for that exact reason. That was the first time I ever played an arcade game that had the two shifters. And it felt incredible. Because you're just like, I'm ready to go. And you just lock it in, and you're just back speed. Do I want to turn? Well, you pull the right. Do I want to turn left? Turn the left. You should buy that arcade cabinet and replace your bed with it. What if I told you that that would be easy because I have a mattress with no bed springs, and I have no uh, actual support for my mattress, and all I'd have to do is flip it up and move it against the wall? I have no box springs or furniture in my bedroom. At all. It's just a mattress on the floor. <laughs> Alright, before this... Um, before it gets too late... We gotta do this thing. Which is a very good thing. It is now officially art time, baby. It's time to show off the community art. Hang on, I need, um, I need a background. Not that you're going to really see the background, but if you did. It might look like this. We're in the gallery. Okay. We are now, well, welcome to the art gallery, everybody. Where we're about to do uh, Star Wars Episode One Racers. But before that, we're gonna show off some community creations. And there is a lot of good, talented ones. Now, if you sent it in at the last, last second, are there any super last second submissions? I think I got them. I think I did. All right, so here we go. Number of talented, amazing pieces. And then also a bunch of low quality, awful memes. Let's start with one of the memes. I am an embarrassment to spies everywhere. You are an embarrassment to spies everywhere. Thank you, Faisal. Uh, also from Faisal. Uh, Faisal sent me five things. I just picked three of them out. I'm not really sure this is the DJ stream. I'm getting Thanos snapped. I don't really know why. I don't know who snapped me out of existence. But there I go, I guess. I'm just gone. And also from Feistel. This is very small, so I'm going to enlarge it. <laughs> That's me. That's me. Thank you, Faisal. Dork Cube? 
uh, did some really cool 3D renders and made the Helmet Boy in 3D. So Dork Cube has got uh, a really good render and we got a few different angles. We got top down, super realistic, and also eyes on. Little eyes looking at you. What's the story behind that helmet? Uh, it's not really much of a story. It's YouTube circa 2011. I paid a pixel artist to make me a wallpaper thing and he made a really cool background and I was like what if there was like a knight in that background too and so I asked him to make one and he made one with a, like a T helmet and then it just kind of developed from there good job door cube well done from Alfred Artie this is very fresh material from Watam. We got Ital Grape. The Welcome Grape. It's me as a Watam Grape. Watam was pretty sick. And, uh, of course, that's what I would be if I was in the game. Let's change the music over a little bit. so happy he's so happy and you even you nailed the nose too good job Alfred beautiful uh, Clive rip is here with a couple of things first we've got for some reason an Arby's meme I'm not sure what prompted Arby's but it's me as Arby's <laughs> you know, I, I like Arby's. I think that they're good. I think that uh, they get a bad rap for some reason. I think they're better than most people would say they are. We have the nerds. Now we have nerds too. Including italics. And then it's Ital Howdy, except it's the Arby's hat. And also from Clive. Now this, some, sometimes I don't condone art, even though I show it on the stream, and this is one of those times where I do not condone the next piece of art, even though it is part of the art stream. So I apologize on behalf of Clive uh, for what is about to come next. Because it was not my idea, nor even nor even am I, uh, what's the word? I do not encourage its existence. Yes, this is a pickle. Um, Etal, Selenia, the pickle wrapper. I believe this comes from a recent stream with two very unrelated things. Uh, AI Dungeon 2 had a... My boss grabbed my hair, so that's what the comment is about. And I honestly, I don't remember what the pickle is even a reference to, but I remember that I've said the word pickle recently. Though I don't remember what the context was. Oh, the pickle wrapper. Yeah, I did do the AI Dungeon pickle wrapper, and that's when the boss threw me... Yep, those are related. It was an AI Dungeon 2 thing. I did an AI Dungeon 2 custom prompt where you were a pickle wrapper at Firehouse Subs. The person who just wraps pickles all days. And then Clive molded that into the pickle wrapper. I see. Coming at you from... Multi-trip. We have Etow Wide. And indeed it is. Very wide. I think this is a super accurate representation of my normal appearance day to day in each stream. Very zen. I like the, the eyes closed thinking with the five head. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Yeah, channeling my inner Vegeta. Thanks, multi trip. <laughs> what is this? I, I really want to know what the shirt was going to say, though. Like, there's, it, there's a little red text on the shirt. I want to know what that was going to say. But it's super good. When was the last time I had no goatee? I don't know, a few years ago. I got some nerds questions I'll get to eventually. You just have to be patient. I have one about the goatee, too, somewhere in there. Leuda is back. Leuda is here today, and Leuda has made a new piece of art. Let's fit this to the screen. There it is. This is some nice cursed art. I wish I just got socks, and it is Santa Chat bestowing the gift of Christmas onto me. Fap Queen 2. Which I made a tweet about. And Midas is inside of the little Santa bag. <laughs> and I look quite disheveled. I've got nice uh, peppermint sleeves with an elf attire. Midas has the star on his head, which is, of course, befitting. It's true. I do wish I got socks this year. Thank you, Leuda, for your Fap Queen 2 meme. Speaking of memes, here's Molotov Bartenders for today. This is the Lego Racers meme. We'll make this big so we can ex examine it in detail. Lego Racers, 99 on Metacritic with a 9.9 .9 user score. Uh, faded. And also, of course, me and Midas in our own respective carts. Me reaching for the victory, but Midas is just too fast. He's just too quick. Midas playing peekaboo. <laughs> uh, do we have any other memes? We do. We have a Hipupu meme, which you may have seen on the Discord. Whoops. Chat is six years old. Boo! Get better material! Chat is seven years old. Chat is eight years old. Chat is nine years old. Chat is ten years old. Chat is eleven years old. That's all I got. That's it. Scraping the bottom of the barrel on that joke. What? Me? He didn't think that was funny when I made fun of all of you being too young? Now we've got an also timely meme. By the way, we're going to be streaming again tomorrow. I know you don't believe me because of the uh, liquids I am consuming currently, but it's true. We are going to be streaming tomorrow, and we're going to be streaming Kerbal Space Program. And here we have Derelict Justice version of our Kerbal Adventures. Blasting off from planet Kerbin. Brave Kerbal Knot is latched onto the side of the spaceship. <laughs> With a nice swirly all the way down. So we're going to be playing that tomorrow. So, since we're talking about it, the plan is Kerbal tomorrow, and then RimWorld continuing what I believe to be, and I know that I say this all the time, but it's true, uh, our best, most fun, most dramatic, best storyline in RimWorld yet, continuing on Saturday. We started a new RimWorld game on this previous Saturday, and it's been really good so far. Awesome new storyline. So we're going to do that on Saturday and Kerbal tomorrow. Thank you, Derelict. This is a beautiful um, offering to the space gods and those that I've killed who came before. Oops, I forgot that the... <laughs> I forgot <laughs> that the accelerator was down there. Girl Revolution, speaking of RimWorld, has uh, made another cursed piece of art. Which again, I don't have to approve everything, I just have to show you. 
Girl Revolution has made a gender bender of uh, of me in RimWorld. May I introduce you to Etal Liz? According, oops, why is it rotated? That's it sideways, but let me rotate it. Wait, when I do fit to screen, it just rotates it. Sorry. Let me just resize it manually. There you go. From pen to paper. I didn't know girl italics was so hot. Well, you've got the hairline. I like the uh, the shaved sides. Um, you know what this looks like? This did you reference Girl Revolution like an Android 18 image? Cause I swear I've seen that pose in Dragon Ball Z. How you doing, Jersey driver? How you doing? But either way, well drawn, Girl Revolution. This is supposed to be a RimWorld character. That's what the reference is. Let me see. I'll read what she wrote. Uh, it's the character Nightbot chose you for during the end of the vanilla RimWorld stream. If I recall, she was a delinquent of sorts. So here she's smoking some smoke leaf. I won't be at the stream, but please shout out Chargoth for partly commissioning it. So Chargoth, this is your fault. Smoking some smoke leaf. But either way. Chad, I date me. That's all I'm gonna say. Somebody clone me. I date me. What haven't we done? We still got a few more. A few more really good ones. Uh, here's Ike Turtle, just submitted the deadline today. We got Etal Stranding. I am bringing a gift of Lego racers to chat for Christmas from my bag of gifts. And I see that chat is BB inside of the BB pouch. I'm bringing it to your hologram. And there's still more Lego races to go. Wow, it's in great condition. <laughs> that's, that's an SS rank delivery. Nice Death Stranding reference, Ike. Good job. You got it in, in time. That's what counts. You made it. I hope you're happy, chat. I hope you're having a good day. Syntax Squid brings us another meme. And I also do not condone or approve of this meme. Uh, because it's old, musty, and also... Well, you know. Calvix thought he could escape the jape. As Feistel said, I am at a loss of how to describe this particular meme art. Uh, I would say thank you, Syntax Squid, but I don't want to lie. On stream. Yocarps has a trio of things to show you. Number one... This stream ain't big enough for the both of us. Burp. There's Midas with a cowboy hat and tongue sticking out. Just being a cutie. And also, from Yokarps. Carps. 
Midas struts his stuff on Halloween, dressed up as a hot dog. The donut awaits your challenge. From the Halloween stream. How come, how come my battery is running on empty? Is that supposed to be the, like, inflation unit from the Flamingo itself? Like, running out of batteries? <laughs> With some music playing, walking Midas. Who is adorable. And also from Yule Carps. She submitted a bit emote that I didn't see until it was too late, but there it is. Might find a way to use that for one of the unlockable bit emotes, if that's what she intended it to be for. Because it kind of just appeared in my inbox. Actually, let's do this. There we go. Very good, Yokarps. These are all extremely adorable. Luckily, the stream is big enough for me and Midas. Next, we've got Technotos with another cursed image. There's a lot of cursed images this time around. Uh, from the Death Stranding streams. This one is a very specific reference you might not remember. This is a clip. Uh, which maybe we should... I don't know how to watch a clip because I'm only on one monitor right now. I don't know if I could show you the clip. Probably not, because I can't do a full screen cap. But anyways, I made reference to the fact that every time uh, Sam Porter Bridges goes to a new location, he activates it and brings it onto the grid, and it looks suspiciously like a magical girl when he floats up into the air in T-poses as the energy in the aura floats about him as he brings it online. So thus, we have Sam Porter Moon. The magical girl. <laughs> Whose hat is floating off. Sam Porter Moon. Arms of flutter. BB with a little heart inside the container. Gliding upwards with the necklace. <laughs> Surrounded by monster energy. Yes, apparently so, Falcon. It would seem. Very good job, Technotopes. It's very good. I like the little headband. You got the little, uh... Room... Oh, wait. That's just a rumor in real life. But you got the little, uh... Hair pieces. <laughs> a lot of good details. Could you guys hear that room? I think that's everybody except Winsrin, who's got two things to show you. Also from the Halloween stream, we've got a uh, iconic image of me in a flamingo costume with student loans taped to my forehead. Which, honestly, I think they should put for sale in some kind of art gallery and see how much it goes for. There's a there's a deep message there, I think. That only... The cream of the crop could interpret properly. But also, Winsrin tapped into that same Sam Porter Bridges energy. And has... Etal Porter Bridges with Midas inside BB Tank as a separate piece of art. A beautiful piece. You've even got the gold hat, the the pink shades. Looks great. A lot of good Death Stranding memes tonight. Some DJ, some helmet, some uh, Watam. All good. And thus concludes our art show for Christmas 2019. So thank you everybody who submitted something to show off. 
I appreciate it. Some wonderful content there. Everybody did a fantastic job. Oh, but the wait, there's something beyond just the pieces of art. Uh, there are videos. Now these videos, since I'm on a one monitor setup, I can't really show you right now. So I will show you Lego. after. Lego. Lego. Racist Christmas. After Lego Races Christmas Nintendo 64, when we move off the Nin Nintendo 64, this is the last N64 game. So we're just going to play this. Welcome back. Hello. Good timing. <laughs> that was good timing. We're going to play this. And then uh, we're going to be able to show off some of those meme videos. Because I physically cannot screen cap while this is running. All right, my D-pad doesn't work. What about arrow keys? Nope. LR. All right, well, I just... That's just the tournament. I don't know how to use the menu. Where's he going? Dead silent. He's going somewhere. He's cruising on out of here. I don't know why. Hey, enjoying up. Happy holidays yourself. Uh, we have two people. This, this is used. All these are used. We have but she, but Sue, but and Sue have previously used this game. Um, again. Okay, well I know what A and B are, but how many different like? Why does he have to scoot on out of here every? I don't. <laughs> Delete butt. I can't. I can't scroll down. Um. Why is. I don't know what this is. I haven't pushed this button all stream. So just FYI. I don't know what this is. I'll show you what it looks like. It's like a little slider that goes up and down. I haven't pushed it at all. I don't know what that's even supposed to do to the wheel. But apparently it scrolls up and down. Doesn't go left or right, though. All right, I guess I'll be butt. Odie Mandrell. There's Annie. Anakin Skywalker, Eb Indocot, Dud Bolt, Gazgano, Elon Musk, and Odie Mandrell. Everyone picks Odie because he has the biggest engines. Uh, these ones are just kind of like weird. Gazgano has got the vertical ones. You got to pick Dud Bolt though. That's the obvious choice. I have to do the training course? Did Butt ever even play this game? Uh, the Bunta training course. Odie Mandro has the record currently, but of course, track favorite is Sevoba. This was one of the most fun games on the Nintendo 64. What are you in- okay, inspect vehicle? In what way? Wow, I can't believe that... Pod Racing predicted Forza going into your garage. And, uh, getting horny over your, like, shiny car that you just unlocked for your DLC purchase. Okay, that was cool. Thank you. Very cool. Uh, next, vehicle upgrades. I don't think I can upgrade any of these. Why are there, like, parts? This shouldn't be this detail. Oh, now this works. So up and down is this, and then right and left is this. Ah, welcome to Watto's shop, huh? Take a look around. I got everything you need, huh? <laughs> there he is. Oh, come on down. Outlanders. They come here. How do they find me? They come here. Uh, 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 
Very mad. You're gonna lose unless you upgrade your pod racer, I think. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Outlanders, they come here. How do they find me? Oh, I can't afford these. They come here, they mess up my store. Hey! <laughs> He's just grumbling. He's just doing like a like a throat noise. You raced pretty good, no doubt there, huh? <laughs> Mind tricks don't work on me. Only money. <laughs> Culpa da bunky dunko. Mm. Why there's so many pieces of dialogue? You're gonna lose unless you upgrade your pod racer, I think. Is this one of those games that just speaks every five seconds until you do something? Have you seen uh, my chance cube? All right, I can afford this for 50. Mm. Is that all you got to say? What about acceleration? It's 800. Have you seen uh, my chance Turning. cube? Or You're traction. Lose unless you upgrade your pod racer, I think. All right, I'll buy your oh, traction thing. All right, I'm done. So, Let's race. I can't believe there's like pod customization in this game. What year did this come out? Vehicle upgrades, buy parts, junkyard, pit droids. You have to customize your pit. Oh. Want to buy pit droid, huh? Buy more droids yes, to make faster repairs to damage you know. parts. I can't so believe you have to upgrade Honda your pit. India, huh? Change vehicle, no. <laughs> options. Outlanders. What options do you possibly have? Lenses. Lens flares oh, on. Resolution low. <laughs> what do you mean low? Is there another option? Nope, that's the only one. Have you seen, uh, my okay. It has just one default low resolution. That's fine. Let's play. <laughs> they predict predicted JJ's lens flare. Uh, he's reckless, but a real crowd pleaser. The Tatooine native Odie Mandrell is on the starting grid. Is that three, two, one? All right, we're off, and we're off for one of the best racing games that ever came out on the Nintendo 64. Let's see if it holds up. So far, so good. I'm just in first. There's actually like a mini map on the right with like dots to signify what kind of terrain is coming up. I remember this map too. There's a tunnel right up ahead. And as long as you made it through the tunnel, that was it. I think that was like the only obstacle on the entire course. Is like this little hallway. All right, calm down. I think everything else is like a, basically a straightaway. Oh, there's rocks. Which just shatter on- I can't see! Is that the point? Tatooine suns flaring up? Alright, AI Dungeon 2, you are a pod racer. Your arch nemesis, Sebulba, spits on your pod. And then tells you you're just a stupid human. What do you do? I want to see what AI Dungeon 2 does. Wait, hang on. Are we still on just chatting? I changed it. Did you change it, Kyrotobi? Hey, Kyrotobi changed it. All right, so I don't have to change it. Kyrotobi is on his A game today. Absolutely killing it.
By the way, I don't know why, but Photoshop is still open right now. And, uh... For whatever reason, I made this. I just wanted to show it to you. Nintendo 64! And it's all Lego racers! <laughs> all the way down. So that could be like the top right corner image instead of the other one. So you have something else to look at. There you go. All right, anyway, where were we? I hope that is the thumbnail for my stream because I think it's very representative. It's Christmas and it's the Nintendo 64 racing stream. I get to come back. Okay, I wasn't sure because I saw repairs. Uh, it's that easy for you to just die <laughs> while pod racing, I guess. <laughs> This is real. Is there any other controls? Oh, first person mode. Wow, that's some can that's some camera distance right there, chat. I feel cold and disenfranchised from my pod racer. What about this? Does that look behind you? Kind of, but it like sucks. It's like, look behind you, but also just look how cool your vehicle is. All right, the, that's actually like a pretty big speed difference. Ooh, slow down, man. How fast am I going? Yo, I don't know, like 300? 300 what? Doesn't matter. 400, that's pretty fast, right? It's like 420, 450? Somewhere in there. That's a lot. That's a big number. I gotta say, though, this is still a great feeling game. The turning feels amazing. I just wish I could play with the little, like, throttle boosters. That's my only regret, is I don't have a full arcade machine. You can boost and repair your engines, but you have to slow down to repair. I don't know how to boost. I remember that you can boost. I don't know what button it would be on this. Hey, I won 1,200 Truggots. Cool. It's a lot of Truggots. By the way... Enjoy enough, thank you for your seven months of sub. Welcome back with Prime. I said hi earlier, but thank you for subscribing. Space who says, blessed to have my sub anniversary on the Lego Racer stream. Happy holidays, everyone. Space suit, that's very nice. You must have done that right before the art was displayed. I think my I mean I got some I got some things. Why don't I just do Vehicle upgrade. I got truck nuts. I want um, acceleration to go up, but I can't. I already upgraded that. You can only upgrade each one thing once. Back again, huh? They come here. They look around. They know by. Why nobody? Fourteen hundred. <clears throat> it costs exactly fourteen hundred to get my top speed way up. <clears throat> like way up. My chance cube. That's one to one. No, I don't want to play with your chance cube. That could mean anything. You creep. Wow, you'll be going like 725 with that. Look around. Just look around. How do you boost with the... Uh, well, you don't know. This is... I'm playing with a wheel. My money's on Team Topagalese for this race. Just look at the size of those engines. I guess they'll try pushing A. They got a head start. Alright, B is like air brake or something. A doesn't boost though. Uh, I don't know what 
else I got. Whoa. By the way, you have to listen real closely. I might... It's a new... I'm going to turn the volume up. I'm at 15.7 right now, but I'm going to turn the volume up. The, the purpose being, I want you to listen closely. Because what you'll hear is that to make a pod racer noise in this game, they just used a regular aircraft. Like, it sounds like an airplane just flying overhead at the airport. Hear it? A little quieter now. Did I lap it's these a new guys? Lap record. New lap record, apparently. Well, I guess when no one's played this game before, that's just gonna happen. Just don't hit the thing in the middle is the point of this one. Uh, what this game does better than Rush and Cruisin' USA is turning. It is actually, like, give while you're turning. This is the best of the, like, driving games in terms of just steering in general. Alright, I turned it down a little bit. I don't know if that helped you or not. That was easy. Now the droids worship me. Oh, this is... Is this the one? Did I pick the one that has, like, the little wheel? Like, um, Ajax from Twisted Metal. I think I'm in the Ajax one. Boost is required later. I don't even know how to boost with this. It might not even be set as a hotkey on the wheel. All right, so let's buy, um, I don't, how do you use pit droids? Sweep on the aga. Hmm. How do you use these? Mm -hmm. All right, well, I just bought this one. Make repairs to your damaged upgrade parts. I miss Twisted Metal, too, yeah. Twisted Metal was fantastic. Have you seen uh, my chance? Playing so inefficiently. Yeah, imagine not min-maxing at this game. If you're gonna play it, make sure you play it right. Aldar Vito, aka the Hitman. Boy, <laughs> he sure looks tough in that big Magna Ram Air Mark IV pod racer of his. They get a head start though for some reason. I don't know why. What's crazy to me is. Your memory when playing Nintendo 64, like if you played it in 64 when it was new. You know how your grandparents are always like, ah! You know how your grandparents are always like, don't just so close to the television! You're gonna ruin your eyesight! Back up a little bit, okay? You're gonna throw out your eyes. You know how they always say that? They, they made it up. They were lying. But they were right about one thing. If you were sitting too close to the Nintendo 64, it looks like a blurry piece of jello. If you move back a little bit, that really enhances the graphics for the Nintendo 64. You get like a much sharper image the further back you sit. So they were 100% right about that. By the way, ice on this is fantastic. Because the closer you get to the TV while playing the N64, the blurry, uh, the blurrier it looks. So like for me, I'm playing widescreen while you guys are watching it in 4x3. So you're actually seeing this clearer than I am. Believe it or not. I have to run the N64 through like an upscaler. The 1080p. Oh, oof. Ouch. Non-destructible ice, by the way. And the upscaler converts it to HDMI. So that you guys can actually Whoa. see it be streamed. That's that's the only way I can play this Nintendo is. Uh through I lost a whole engine? Yo! That's really cool. You could just lose one engine and like spin out like in the movie. 
Are they right behind me? It's a new lap record. Wow, first person's way harder. Get a different perspective, maybe. I feel like I'm barely in control at all times. Okay, the purple plasma doesn't make it that much easier to see what's going on. believe in brakes. Pedal to the metal, baby. Ride or die. E! 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 Okay, well that one, you don't, there's nothing you can do about that, because you're on... You're on ice. I think the guy that like raced in front of me also crashed into a wall and exploded. Uh, pod racing was not the kind of sport that you could just do over and over again. Why didn't they do more pod racing? Why does everyone hate the pod racing part of episode one? They should have done like a full pod racing spin-off movie. Still would have been better than the sequel trilogy. Like Solo. Solo, Rogue One, Pod Racing. That would be the third one. Just cancel the sequel trilogy. I bet after seeing the sequel trilogy, people would be thrilled to see a Pod Racing, like, standalone movie. Like, imagine that it was like, uh, what was that cartoon show? That I can't think of because I'm. Oh! I'm trying not to explode. Wacky Racing. Wacky racers, where just a whole bunch of people come to compete with different rides. Just make that its own Disney Plus original series. I would watch it. Thread the needle. Ooh, you didn't think I could do that. You didn't think I had enough talent. I got a racing wheel, chat, because I'm a professional. As I said, I'm a professional. Okay with a few bounces. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I'm, we're good. Hey, no problem. Just calm down, everybody. Who's the next closest person behind me? This game is really fun. If they made another pod racing game, nobody would buy it. But it would be fun. Because racing games as a genre are dead, just like real-time strategy games. And that's the sad truth that we're gonna have to come to terms with. Forza is a dying breed. Need for Speed, Heat, probably didn't sell very well. Um, nobody's buying racing games anymore, unless they're like hardcore simulations. And even then, that's a very niche audience. Why? Racing games are so good, though. They're so much fun. What happened? What happened to Burnout, you know? All they had to do was make one more good Burnout. Instead, they made four games that weren't Burnout. You could have made one Burnout, but you made four bad games instead. Mario Kart... Mario Kart was great. Okay, but Mario Kart's not a racing game. Mario Kart is a blue shell simulator, so it's a different genre entirely. I think we set the record for this course. It's a new lap record. Dud Bolt. <laughs> I really want to hear the San Francisco Rush song again. That's the one that I want. Re racing games have no replayability when you have no friends. Well, it's not my fault they killed arcades. I would have gone with my friends to the arcade to play the new fun racing game, but they stopped making them, and they started taking out all my fun games and putting in uh, ticket-spamming gambling games instead.
They started putting in like the giant wheel. They started putting in like the drop the balls in the cup. All that. All right, one more. One more, and then we're going to go to the future, okay? This is the last one. What do I want to upgrade, though? I don't even know how to boost. Looks like we're turning. Change your mind? Only 200? Steel. For that much better turning? That's a steal. I don't want to sell this. This part no good for you, huh? I'm, not, I'm selling it to you. They come here. Dude, you don't even know what you're talking about. Like, I'm the one that was selling that. Right? Yeah. Can I even buy anything else? I have to go, like, over. Do I already have all these? Change no. Your mind? How do you use the air? Oh, the air brake that I never use. Yes, let's buy that. Absolutely. <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying, but I trust you implicitly. The best part you find here in my All right, shop, do I have? Huh? No, I don't have enough. All right. Something else. Check out the junkyard deals. No, I don't think I will because I don't have a save pack. But I'll look in. I'll I'll look just because look you said to. I got a lots of a junk. Outlanders, they come what about this thing? Cost forty six hundred. Mess up my store. You rest pretty good. No Five hundo. Huh? No, it's cost eleven $1 hundred and ninety one. It is good what? voice acting. I'll give you, you that. Yeah. Think you gonna beat Sebulba with that pod wrestler of you? Oops. I forgot to push the pedal down. I don't know why, but... I genuinely was hearing from the audio, like, Somebody once told me. I heard that. Something tonally, vocally, like, triggered that thought in my mind. I don't know if it was a voice line or... Look at these ramps, by the way. You take damage on jumps? We're going, like, underwater? Look at that beautiful Nintendo pop-in, baby. Was, uh, Episode 1 Pod Racing available multi-platform, or was this for Nintendo 64? <laughs> nice corner, nerd. Was this, like, an N64 exclusive? Because I remember only playing this on N64. Why is there, like, a debated corner on the right? Came out for PC also. Interesting. Our turning looks really good now. Oh. Doing this with a racing wheel is like... Just... It, it makes every single game way more fun. Now, the problem is I am just holding the accelerator, and I should probably just be, like, tapping off of it when going through some really, especially time. I need to figure out how to air boost. <laughs> Z! I bet it's Z! Is it the meter on the bottom right? What is... Ah, my air brake. <laughs> Sorry, the wheel was about to come off the table. Hence that awful noise that I just made. Ah! Oh no, my wheel! Okay, they made these racing games too fast. You could probably load the poppin' if you just slowed everybody down. I'm going too fast for 2019. There's a shortcut? 
Did I just accidentally take a shortcut? Just like F-Zero, baby. It is just like F-Zero, actually. That's the one game I did not get. I was like, eh. I got so lucky. All right, we're almost ready for the return to Lego. It's lap two of three. It's been really fun just going back and playing all these old games, though. This driving wheel is surprisingly awesome. It should be, though, because it was almost as much as the entire console was. I just like the notion that I'm going to have a Nintendo 64 forever now. Because uh, I'm not young enough to be manipulated by GameStop into selling all of my treasures to try to get pennies on the dollar so that I can afford the next generation of hardware anymore. Now I just have a Nintendo 64 forever. And I'm going to be able to show potentially future generations this beautiful technology. I, you, you might be seeing the Nintendo 64 for the first time be like, you guys played this in like 1999 to 2000, 2001 and thought this was the latest and greatest shit? Like, unbelievable. Button. Now I can show you that too. Be like, this was my childhood, except minus the racing wheel. We can see how things used to be and I can just own this Nintendo and like play all the old classic games that I grew up on, even if they're extremely blurrier than I remember, because you don't think about HD when you're just a little shrimp. But even so, like, they still hold up. Like, this is still challenging to do. This is way smoother than LEGO Racers in terms of just figuring out where you are. Bouncing off of those, I get so lucky every time. How much fur farther ahead of am I than the next closest person? But now I'm not gonna get preyed upon. I can actually just keep my hardware and start building on it. I have a PS3, I have a Nintendo 64. One day maybe I'll have a PS1. One day maybe I'll have a PS2. So on. And actually just keep it. It wasn't noticeable when the TVs were like 19 inches max and like 10 feet away from you because you were sitting on the couch. But even still, you didn't have anything to compare it to. Like now, we've got 1440p, we got 4K. We can compare it to all those things. Not so back then. This was like realistic, hyper realism. Lego. It's a new lap record. It's a new lap record. He did it. This game is seems easy, then it climbs a cliff. I can understand that. I might even remember it. I just think it's funny that all these old games that we thought were so godlike only have like seven tracks which would be just unforgivable nowadays. But back then, you just played the same levels over and over again and you liked it. You didn't have to have DLC. It was just like, uh, I won 1200 credits, cool. Okay, race four out of seven, neat. I play seven races and that's all I do. I need some, like, paid DLC. But anyways, fantastic game. Not gonna beat the dead horse. Star Wars Episode 1 Racer is beautiful. And this is concluding the Nintendo 64 portion of the broadcast tonight. Now we move on to the future. Yes. Now we move on. Get a memory pack next time. I will get a memory pack, actually. We still got more LEGO Racers to come, chat. This is the LEGO Racers broadcast. It is self-titled. And therefore, I will bring you into 2019 now, from 1999. 20 years in the future.
here it comes. As we speak. Now, we're not going to have need for this anymore, unfortunately. And that, to me, is the hilarious part of this stream. Is that... <laughs> I've got a racing wheel. I've got an accelerator and a brake for Nintendo 64 LEGO Racers. But I'm about to play Forza Horizon 4. And, uh... I'm just going to play that with a controller, if that's okay. So, should be just as fun. Uh-oh, where's it all going? Oh no, where's it all going? Now, the funny thing about this is that you actually cannot game capture this. Because for some reason, Forza has an archaic system whereby you cannot hook into it for a game cap. You have to do a display cap, which is going to make it seem blurrier than it is to you. But it'll still be viewable. It'll still be there. But still, the dichotomy between uh, takes racing for the Legos seriously enough to buy a racing wheel, but is just going to play Forza with the keyboard. Also, I can't seem to change the category. Forza doesn't come up with anything. Ganaka, what are you talking about? I can't change the category. <laughs> Forza's mixer exclusive. And they do have mixer in their menus. That's true. But we stand defiantly. Can anyone else change the uh, the game name for me? What? I don't know why I can't. It won't let me update it. Wait. It just it just appeared. I got it. Thank you. Forza Horizon 4 should have just updated the stream. Available now. Please, 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 please buy our DLC. Please, 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 please. I'm begging you. Look at all these cool cars you could get. You could even get some unique quick chat phrases. Now, you might be thinking, Tux, why are you playing Forza? Uh, some of you know, some of you don't know. There is a reason, I promise. The reason is because this is the one modern game that has LEGO racers in it. For real. So, I started a default baby game. I have never played Forza before, but of course, because I've never played Forza... I turned all the settings to hard mode because I like to live on the edge. How do I even get into the game? <laughs> this is browse all cars? There's a lot of cars. I mean, it is a car game, but that's still a lot of cars. I like that when they asked me what car I would like to start with, it was like, do you want a Ford Focus? It's like, no, how much did they pay you to ask me that? You want an old Dodge Charger? I was like, yeah, of course I want the old Dodge Charger. Are you sure you don't want the Ford Focus, though? You could, like, really fine-tune that. It would be really cool. No, I don't. That's okay. All right, just let me in the game. My cars, Charger. How do I just drive? Like, okay, seriously, this is not, this is not, a, not a drill. There it is. Just drive. So here's what we have to do. We have to just swim up to Lego Speed Champions. 
and I can just fast travel there. He thinks you can drive in this game. Welcome to 2019. You guys have been watching like 17 polygons on the screen uh, for the entire night. How does it feel to see like graphics over there on the left hand side and widescreen visuals? <laughs> Lower the resolution. Would you like to travel to Lego Valley? I would indeed. This is extremely pertinent hey, to the theme tonight. Jay. Everything's ready. We're about to head to Lego Valley. <laughs> Kira even sent us some Lego Speed Champion sets for the drive. Now, I know half the fun is building them, and I was gonna wait for you, but... Um... Look at those guys. Actual Lego cars, baby. Time spent in first place, 16 seconds. I think that's just a measurement of my life. I don't know if that's specific to Forza Horizon 4 or like IRL, but I believe it either way. Here's what I see. Welcome to Lego world, world, chat. Made of bricks. No, no, listen, and there'd be dinosaurs, and, and pirate ships, and ghosts, I guess? Yeah, ghosts! We'll build a city, and cars, just as fast as the real thing. We'll call it Lego Valley. You in? I wish I had a driving wheel for this. <laughs> this is awesome. I wish there was more crossover DLC like this. That's me! I'm driving! I'm driving the Lego car. In Lego World. You can see all the Lego trees in the background. <laughs> I hope jumping into the Lego Welcome DLC is LEGO okay. Party. Considering... oh boy. So just for reference, first of all, how's the volume? Do I need to turn this down? Um, just for reference, I did turn the difficulty up to above average with simulation steering, no traction or stability control. I, I did leave shifting on automatic because, let's be real, with a controller I don't want to be shifting gears. Uh, driving line is braking only, which means I only see the driving line when I'm supposed to, like, slow down a little bit. Cosmetic wear and tear, but I can rewind. Only cosmetic damage. Yeah, it's a it's a Lego. You know, let's have some fun. It's a Lego. By the way, just a shameless plug. To play this, I did have to buy the DLC, which I got on sale for 15 bucks. However, um, I did do the $1 for three months of... I, I tweeted about this because I did it. I got three months of Xbox Game Pass for a dollar. And default Forza is included with that. So I just have three months of Forza for $1. And whatever other game I might want to play that they have on there. So, pretty good deal. I just had to get the DLC. What's flying around in space up there? This is so weird to my brain, by the way. I have been playing Nintendo 64 games for like almost six uh, hours. Is unable to confirm or deny the presence of and now, flying Lego objects. now I'm playing Lego in HD, 1080p. And everything in my brain Watch out for the dinosaur bones. disagrees. Simulation physics, by the way. It's okay, I don't think I'm actually in a race yet. They're trying to get you hooked. <laughs> Horizon to air traffic control, I know you guys delay. slowed down so I could go faster. Look, <laughs> I'm on a little Lego airport. <laughs> Look at the little Lego cows. This is beautiful.
But also playing with the controller feels weird. I was, I've been playing with this driving wheel all night. Forza also had a Hot Wheels DLC. Well, they've got my attention. I bought their DLC without it, without even buying their game. Look how cute Good this is! Not so many anymore. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Lego yeah, races, everybody. Lego I am so glad they brought this into the future. <laughs> Just all these boosters sending you flying. Look at all their Lego clouds in the sky. All right, we're gonna have to hit some brakes. Welcome to Brickchester. Population: a whole lot of bricks and minifigures, and you. Hit some brakes. I don't know what they. What's the handbrake? A. Yeah, it's A. A is handbrake. Okay. So I can try and drift my Lego Mini Coop. What is this? Is this a Mini Cooper? Yeah. Don't worry, they're just Lego ghosts. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Simulation steering in my Lego mobile. Uh, I got Tractable dirt. Coming up. I bought Wait like go, dirt too, so I could play it in VR. They have VR now in dirt too. I got to get like a steering wheel for the uh, for that. That virtual reality dirt two with a steering wheel would be the most immersive thing possible. I need to do Elite Dangerous also. Nice achievement. What do you think of the new site? Pretty sweet, huh? Dirt Rally Two, we yeah. We you up with a new house. Well, kind of, but we saved you the best spot in the festival. Dirt Rally with VR is awesome. Yeah, hey, I gotta player try it. One. Here it is, Horizon Lego Valley. I name myself Player now, One. Lego needs a speed champion, and the festival because I didn't like their other nicknames. Builders. And you, you need a place to live. This is the base plate where you'll be building your very own master builder's house. I, I hear the Lego racers outside. They're racing down the street. Mary Skipper says, Happy Lego Racers Day. Thank you, Mary Skipper, for your eight months of sub. And welcome back. Also, there's a lot of nerds. Two questions today. I'm just going to start with the oldest one. Lego building New Year stream confirmed. No, Greasebot. I will not be building Legos on New Year's. I probably won't even be streaming on New Year's Eve. Um, but we should... Do you guys want to do like a big Lego build or would that be boring? I would build some Legos. Would that just be boring? I'd have to get like just some really close cameras. Would it just be annoying to like watch each little individual piece go on the other piece? And follow the instructions? Because I've been, I've honestly wanted to do, like, just have Legos for a while. And playing all these Lego-themed games <laughs> is, is making me itchy to, like, build something. A GoPro on your hand. RT did a couple Lego build streams. Did it work out? Was it good? Uh, next oldest question. El Dorito didn't ask a question. Said, why you looking kind of brick dough? With two flushed emojis. Thank you, El Dorito. Looking kind of brick. Yourself. Molotov Bartender says, Dearest Italics, how dare you? Lego Racers and Lego Racers 2 are fundamentally different games. Lego Racers is a classic kart racer and one of the best games ever made. LEGO Racers 2 follows a mission-based format and is semi-open world. 
I take great offense to you saying they are the same game. I know that Santa doesn't want to give me LEGO Racers 2 for Christmas, but do you think that next year we can get Midtown Madness 2 Christmas Dream? Sincerely yours, Molotov Bartender. Co-op LEGO Stream. Should I just get what what's uh what are the biggest Legos you can get? Like the Death Star? Is that the biggest one? Do you just want like three cameras set up on like a table? And it's just there's ten thousand Lego pieces there, and it's just like here's the instructions, good luck. Figure it out, you guys. <laughs> hey Tal, I finally tried out Death Stranding earlier today. It was pretty good. I'm glad you thought it was pretty good. Chat builds the Lego. Um, oh, I have such a good idea for a stream that I'll never be able to do, and I can't tell you what it is because it'll just disappoint you. It hurts. It hurts. But it's for your own good. It entire like, would it make you feel better to let you know that it entirely depends on the um, ingenuity of Kyra, Toby, and Ganaga, and that they're responsible for figuring out a way to do the impossible. <laughs> And if somehow I do figure out how to do this, it's going to be uh, a really, really good stream idea. But I can't tell. I don't want to tell you ahead of time. I don't want to tell you unless I figure out how to do it. I know it sounds torturous that I'm telling you even this much, but it would be even worse if I told you what the real idea is. Trust me. We'll get there. But that's okay. Even if I can't tell you this, we are going to do a DJ stream too uh, within the next couple months. Though, I'm not going to one-up myself. Like, I was thinking, how are you going to one-up yourself from DJ stream one? I think I'm just going to just do... Because the... F sure, the costume was funny. Haha. -ha. Like... it. The main thing is, I just want to do the music mixing and, like, have chat interact. So... You can't, like, one-up that. You can only maybe equal it at best. There are more people watching this LEGO Racer stream than there are when you're streaming RimWorld. What do you think about that? Well, King of Wales, I got raided by Tomato, so that helps. But also, um, RimWorld isn't the end-all, be-all. Sometimes we just got to go back to the past. And also it's Christmas. So. I don't really care. I don't I don't care how many people are here. All I care about is uh, that I'm grateful that any of you are here. Don't worry too says, how do I sub? Well, I hope you didn't figure it out by now. If you have to, if you figured out how to submit a Twitch channel points question, but you couldn't figure out how to sub, it's probably better this way. Flammable Cow says, when did you settle on the goatee? Um, Flammable Cow, I settled on the goatee when I tried to grow my facial hair out and realized that it didn't grow from here down to here. So I was like, well, I guess it grows here, here, and here, and here, so I'll just take that. That was the hand I was dealt, and I'm making it work to my advantage. And I think there's a life lesson there. We don't always get to choose what we look like, or what we sound like, or how we act, but we can choose what we do with that. Work it to your advantage. Take the strengths you've been given, and make them work for you. Every one of you has got something Lego, that you're talented Lego, at. Lego Racers Christmas. Maybe it's singing, because mine's definitely not singing. You've all got at least one talent. Figure out how to use that talent and turn it into something that emboldens your position in life. 
Don't focus on what you're weak at or what you could be better at or if somebody's better than you at something. Focus on what you're good at and try and raise that up to be something that you, you can build up and that you can work upon as a foundation. It helps if you're interested in it too. Minato says, do we get a new emote slot from all that how much we miss in? I think I answered that earlier. <laughs> uh, not even close. But I thank you anyways. There's no, you're not going to get uh, 250 more subs tonight. Sorry. Link says, wow, that sucks, Etal. Maybe if you could help. Oh, I read that. It was a joke about my social security. MK Breadfan says, is this like Mario Kart where the AI is actually faster than the player? Yes. Lego Racers is faster than the player. Alfred says, hey, Italics, did you already explain what your cryptic messages were about in Discord? I need to know. I was a little scared. I don't know if you're still here, Alfred. But to answer your question, uh, Christmas was almost canceled because to stream the Nintendo 64, um, first of all, when I put the games into the N Nintendo, three or four of them didn't turn on because you have to put them in with the right amount of pressure. If you do too hard or too soft, they don't turn on. So I had to figure out how to insert the cartridges first. Second of all, there was an audio clicking noise. And the audio clicking noise was only solved once I went into my... Uh, uh, what do you call this? My capture card settings and changed it. It was on PS4 and that was causing some conflict. So I had to change it to other. So once I figured that out, and also, um, I bought an HDMI converter, but it kind of sucks. So I'm using Germa's HDMI converter. So Germa let me borrow his, and uh, his should be shittier than mine, but for some reason mine shittier than his, even though mine is, like, bigger, better, and has more options and levers, his is the one that works. So we're using his, <laughs> and uh, it was causing, like, a one second, a full second of audio delay. So, like, any time I did something in the game, there was a full second of delay. And I figured out that it, that happens because if you change any video settings while the N64 is on and it's on the screen, it messes up all the settings. So once I figured out all three of those things, Christmas was saved, basically. That was what my cryptic messages were for on Discord last night because I almost had to move the stream because I couldn't figure out how to get it all working until literally, like, 1 a.m. last night. Um, and then Molotov says, Dearest Italics' music is bad. Can we listen to Lego Racer's menu music on loop? That was three hours ago. No, Molotov. And OG Emir says, You live with German right. How often do you hear him screaming in his room? Probably as often as he hears me screaming in mine. But I really don't. It's not like, it's not like we have one of those his and hers stream setups. Like, oh my god, I love my partner. I have my computer here and their computer there. And we both have our own headphones and our own RGB keyboards. I got, I got like, foam. Do you see that foam? I got absorption. I got, like, uh, bass traps up in the corners. I don't have, like, a adjacent workstation. Those are fake gamers, because a real gamer would know if you're in a party with your Discord, I don't want to be hearing you talking to your, like, Discord friends while I'm over here uh, defending my base in Rust from nakeds who just spawned on the beach, okay? T take your own room, have some privacy. Don't put your computer workstations right next to somebody else. Anyway, I caught up on all the questions. Sorry that it happened late. First things first, you need bricks. Lots of bricks. You can get them by completing brick challenges. Think of it like a big box of Lego to play with. The question is, which one will it be first? I don't I don't know what any of these mean. Earn these are just things you can earn. I can pin the challenges. No thanks. I'll pin the easy with with one star. First brick challenge set. Let's do this. I think I can get one star.
We've modified your car dashboard to display objectives for the challenge you're tracking. I'll be in touch when you've completed it. Why am I rank Turn three? I haven't even. When it is safe to do so. Turn around. No. What hey, is this? Player one. Hey. I should have mentioned things are a little different this time round. Okay. There's a whole valley full of events and stunts already set up for you to discover. Sure. Just gotta go find them. I will, but I I found dirt racing Brickster Rally Trail. I'm going to enter this event. Hold on, can I play online? All right, hold on. How do you play Lego online? I am going to get absolutely smashed. I also need to make sure that no one can hear me scream. Um, audio. Streamer mode. Oof. In-game live streaming of music from the hospital. Music, what? Do you, what is that supposed to mean? Microphone. Off. Wow, that's just on? Am I in an online session right now? Uh, radio DJ, sure. Voiceover. How do I turn other people off? Alright, I, I should be, it should be off now. How do I turn them off? I don't want to hear them. Alright, whatever, let's just do this. Race competitively against other players. Compete against rival players to set the fastest time. Hey, player one. Let's take a look at Horizon Blueprint. This is something I let our old festival boss play around with in Australia. But oh, sorry, not chat. Here. I didn't so mean to I hurt need you. To see if we have any fresh blueprinting talent. Choose a different car for this event. Well, this is the Lego car. I'm trying to I want to play Legos with other people. Brickchester Rally Trial Dirt Racing Series. Is this not um what I think it is? Wow, look at this Lego map. This is so cute. Uh are these people? I turned off my mic, right? Are these real people or ghosts? It says there's people right in front of me. Turn around when it is safe to do so. There's a ramp. I guess I'm just gonna hit the ramp. Look at those cows. There's fireworks over there, and there's a player over there. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 400 yards, turn left. Polygon. In 400 yards, turn right. You can really just go wherever you want, huh? Well, unless you want to go there, I guess. It even makes like the Lego noise when you break all these. <laughs> okay, uh, world map. What do we got? Festival Beauty Swat. We got an undiscovered route, a PR stunt. I don't know what. I want to play online with other people in loops. Maybe I should just do a thing. Let's just do. Let's just do the things that are here first. See if we can unlock some. You have arrived at your destination. Road race discovered. Is this it? What is this? Little Brickworth Speed Zone. Earn at least one star, 80 miles per hour. So what, just drive down the road at 80? Is that the goal? New PB. What's a PB? Turn around when it is safe to do so. Did I? I am number one million and six for the Lego Mini. <laughs> one million! Uh oh. At least I don't explode when I flip over in this version. Turn around when it is safe to do so. So what is this? 
I don't know, but I went through it. I guess I'm just gonna ride and look at where all these things are. One million copies sold. Listen, there's a million people currently using Gamer Pass, baby. All right, this is the one. Race competitively against other players. Compete in this event. Use the Mini Cooper. Creating event, looking for players. I hope they can't hear me. Talix, play with me, Hypocube. I don't, first of all, I don't know how to play with you. Second of all, do I want to play with you? You're kind of smelly. Are you here, Hypocube? Two out of 12? All right, if there's only two of us, I'm gonna cancel this event, just FYI. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play 1v1 because I'm just gonna lose and it's gonna be embarrassing. Wow, I can't believe this game's online is dead. Alright, I'll just do this solo for now. That's me! Look at my car. Welcome to the Flower Smash Cross Country. Hold on. Do they have normal cars? Why? Wait, I thought this was Lego. Where's... Are they Lego? They don't look Lego. <laughs> I'm in this Lego Mini Cooper. Which ones are the, um... Are the Lego... My top fell off. I don't have the traction for this. Checkpoint miss. Three, two, shut up. You can't do this to me. <laughs> Hold on, how do you, um... How do you do the Lego ones? And that one's called Brick Chester. You would think something with brick in the name would be one. It'd be pretty funny though if they just had a full DLC that only had one Lego car <laughs> and the initial uh, Lego race. That would be uh, kind of misleading. About no, don't travel to Great Britain. It's overrated. Master Builder's home, Etal's home. I want to go there. I want to see what my home is. In 400 yards, you will arrive at your destination. Whoops. <laughs> Whoop. This is not my home. There's nothing even here. My house is just an empty lot. You have to build your home. Do challenges and collect bricks. How do I do a Lego race? All right, well, this one's called Brick Chester Rally Trail. If you got brick in the name, it's gotta be Lego. Cause these guys are all Lego right here. All right, and then uh, race competitively. What about competitive events or community events? Trending today. Right? It's got the title. Hey, hey. Rank one blueprinter, is that high or low? That could either be top rank blueprinter or that could be a low rank blueprinter, I don't know. Maybe that's default.
All right, I created an event looking for players. It has two likes total. Uh-oh. It reminds me of playing Skate. When you would make like a, your own track, you would make like your own um, arena for Skate, and you'd be happy if it got like 50 views. All right, ain't nobody here, chat. I'm just gonna do solo. Trend best of the month. How about best of the month? This one's got 105 likes. How am I, what am I supposed to do with this like default Mini Cooper? If you press right on the D-pad, you can find the Lego radio station. Okay. It's either Lakeway or Radio Off, so which one am I supposed to have? Two things here. Two things. Number one, why was that race 11 seconds? And number two, why is MLC Stealth one of the leaderboard finalists. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. He doesn't even play on computer. He'd have to have played on Xbox. Also, MLC Stealth, you took 16 seconds to finish this course? I took 11. I'm number one. Why Why was that the whole race, though? I got an achievement. Hey, player one. Do me a favor. We're trying to shine a light on the best blueprint routes at Horizon. A recommendation from a driver like you could really raise someone's profile. Did I get... Hang on, I got some bricks. Cool. All right, around. somebody in safe. chat who knows what's going on, explain to me, how do I unlock another Lego car? If you see purple cubes, smash them, okay. How do I do another Lego race? <laughs> Everyone's like, Hypocube, help me out. This is the Lego racer's Christmas stream, so I wanna do more Lego races. That's the idea. I don't think that's too much to ask for a Lego DLC. Are there not like Lego only races? Where, okay, where am I? Collect 4,000 bricks, then you will unlock the barn find rumor. How many bricks do I currently have? yards turn sharp right 4000 could be a lot or a little turn around when it is safe to do so okay what if i just go i mean this is really cool uh, they've got that was a speed ramp sorry little joint project like a full lego, lego pirate That's exactly what you think it will do like cheering on the ship and stuff. Here, I want to do like a Lego beach race where we just drive through all this. You can't make all this territory and not have races that go through it. I don't want to go to Br Great Britain. Great Britain. Fourth of on daily challenge complete. See you back tomorrow. Of course I will. Look at this. How do you do a race here? Turn sharp right. 400 yards, turn sharp right. New PB, new peanut butter. Why am I in the top 100 leaderboard? For what? Turn around when it is safe to do Buy so. Supreme Shark, speed trap. Yards, How fast do I have to be going right. through that? Turn around. 
safe to do so. This is like an exclamation point over here. That I can't seem. Oh, is it this? Uh, was that the challenge you were going for? Never mind, it still counts. Lighter than it looks. Challenge complete. In 400 yards, turn left. Looking kind of sassy, though. Wait, is this actually Forza Horizon 4? Yeah, it is. It's Forza Horizon 4 with the Lego DLC. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I think you're supposed to just like chill and drive. Route. There's another challenge completed. You're kind of just supposed to explore and like drive around. I only got one star on that. Like, how do you even get more with this yards, terrible car? Turn sharp right. How many Lego bricks do I have? I'm supposed to get 4,000? How many do I have? In 400 yards, turn right. I mean, this area is cool. Am I supposed to go through all these? Check the menu. Uh, I think I've got at least four. Collect another 125 bricks to start building your Lego house, okay? Well, let's find the biggest one I can get. What's the most Lego bricks I can get at any one time? Earn three stars in the drift? Earn three stars at the danger sign? I can't go any faster than I was going. There are single player events on the map scattered throughout. I'm just gonna find one of those. In 100 yards, turn sharp this right. is still cool though. I just can't, I, I, since I didn't play Forza, I just skipped straight from the DLC. It's hard to figure out. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 100 yards, turn sharp 42 right. miles per hour more to earn one star. Okay, turn so I guess our goal right now is just to, to drive so. as fast as we can on the road and see if that helps us earn. You have arrived at your destination. I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting something. Turn around when it is safe to do Did so. I have a favorite Lego theme as a kid? I played a lot more with Kinex. I played a bunch with Kinex. Um, I played with Legos and Mega Blocks, so I got a little bit of everything. In pause menu, it even tells you when some other yards, players in the pause turn menu. Right. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Wait, this is a drag racing? All right, solo. Do I just do a preset or am I supposed to do something else? Whatever, this is fine. Just go for it. I made a trebuchet with Kinex once. It was sick. Kinex was really sick, actually. I just was too stupid to figure out how to do it. Like I'd have a set and I would not look at the instructions or figure out how to use them and just put them together in whatever haphazard way I possibly could. Aku, thank you for seven months of subscription. How are you today? Thanks for resubbing. All right, I'm gonna beat all these fools with a Lego Mini Cooper. That, okay, well, I might be a little laggy behind you. Oh, that was a drag race. Yeah, that was a drag race. I gotta stop doing these drag races, because it's over. <laughs> Turn 
turn around when it is safe to do so. Help me out here, chat. I'm <laughs> Hang on. What do we got? That's a drag strip. Mm -hmm. What is the thing that's dead ahead? Didn't come in last place. No, but like... Just let me do something. I don't even care. This is fine. There was a long loading screen. This is it. That is the whole DLC. There's like one drag race. There's a $15 DLC, so there better be some stuff to do. There we go. I am going to be real slow, but I think this is an actual race. So far, it's already better. Because it didn't end in five seconds. I got more aerodynamic after losing my top headlights. Bump. Here we go. This is a real race. I was going to be very upset if there wasn't, like, actual races in the racing game. When do I start turning? Right now, I guess. Watch out for the Lego sheep. Ah, this feels a lot better. Careful! Oh no. I wasn't made for this. I wasn't made for the water. I'm gliding. You can see him coming for me too. He's right there. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot more fun. I'm glad that Microsoft finally saw the light and started releasing all their games on PC, man. Because it is nice to just be able to play these on the computer. Oh, we're there! We did the pirate. I just got completely... Ooh, losing it, losing it, losing it. No! Seventy-eight percent progress too. I'm done. I, that was a, that's a L right there. Five out of twelve though. I can still come back maybe. Who knows? I gotta stay on the road. Rewind. Oh yeah, you can rewind. I forgot. Forza. Use the power of time to correct past decisions. Forza is also really good for people who aren't good at driving games, like me. Oh, this is as far as you can go, chat. Never mind. We just have to watch me get passed again a couple times. Ooh! History has already changed. That guy was ahead of me, and now he's bumped me forward. He made me go faster. Don't laugh at me. Oh, he, uh, he tried to cheat, and he can't... You guys aren't going to be laughing when I come back in the last 17% and get first place. Is that Simcopter? No, it's Slimy Cow ahead of me. Checkpoint missed. They don't want you to cheat here, apparently. Is that the checkpoint? Oh, no, this is the checkpoint. I didn't realize we were doing this checkpoint system. Fine, I'll beat you with that. <laughs> I like the simulation physics, though. Like, this feels great. 96! I was so close to getting second. I was so close to getting second. It's that one jump that screwed me. I wish you could use the wheel with this. I wish I could use the N64 wheel with this too. 
All right, well, I got a podium finish with, like, to be honest, look at the cards. Dude's got Pennzoil stickers. Meanwhile, I've got a sticker from a small Lego solo build box. You know what I mean? This, these aren't even in the same category. <laughs> Bling pen. Did you just notice my uh, hey, my Spider avatar? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> do you like it? Here, have a wheel spin. <gasps> they have a gambling wheel in this game. Okay, spin the wheel. Where's the wheel? Was that the wheel? Did we already do the wheel? Did I win seventy bucks? I guess I won seventy bucks. I need. I only need sixty-five more. That went down pretty fast. All right, let's do another race. Let's do, um, Lego Festival Sprint. Is that another dr drag race? What is that? 200 yards, turn sharp right. If you have wheel spins, you can access them in the Horizon Life menu. Do I need a, uh, a rumble pack or memory pack for this game? Or is my progress automatically being saved? This is a joke. Do not give me a serious response. Both. You gotta pay DLC if you want to save your game, baby. Now, I've always liked the idea of Forza. I just never had an avenue with which to play. Um, because I never got it. I never have an Xbox. I don't have an Xbox. Check it out. That's not what the swear, subtitle says. The first time Kira oh. didn't have to chase me to help with the festival setup. Imagine not playing in first person. You want me to play the Lego DLC in first person? I just saw my life flash before my eyes. I almost got murdered by whoever that reckless online driver was. Your car is a masterpiece. Get an instant 5,000 car collection influence. Is that? It's probably not even a lot. Why do I have five available points? Your car's pass skill score? Skill multiplier? Who cares? Honestly. I certainly don't. 10% more skill score from combo skills. I don't know what any of this means. Wow, 10% increases in score that I don't care about. Each skill chain now takes two collisions to break. It costs 25 skill points. They must really like that one. Look at <laughs> First person Lego mode, baby. Right down the middle. You have arrived at your destination. Uh, speed zone into Road Racing Series. There we go. I need to play this in virtual reality. Be way more immersive. Okay. I think there's a race up ahead. I gotta at least see what the next Lego car is. Wait, is that not the race? What are these? It says Road Racing Series. Complete the race. Finish first in the race. Where is it? Oh, you just have to go slow. Another one. I gotta get at least first once. I'm not gonna quit this game until I get first place at least one time. So it's gonna be this time. Are you really gonna make me do this in first person the whole way? Oof. By the way, do I need to speak up, turn the game down, or can you hear me? It's good. Off to a clean start, baby. What percentage? We're at 
This is as hard as I can turn to the left. Now's my chance. I can smell it. There's another Lego car in this one. I'm not alone. Wow, this is really crazy. In VR, this would be insane. All right, I gotta take my moment. Take my moment on the outside. Nice drift. Nice drift. Come on, you got to going to have to go on the outside again because we're about to make a big hook to the right. Stop pushing me off the road though, nerd. <laughs> what? Oh, not this way! <laughs> you got to get a little help from the other players. They're on my team. This is really fun, though. Like, Forts is just a fun game. Horizon is the one to just play casually with this. Like, even with the simulation physics, it just feels really smooth. Even though I'm in, like, a Lego car. Come on, dude. Ricochet, just slow down. I came back to second place. I gotta win one. Time to play Dark Souls again, I guess. That's the Happy Souls dance. That's not a Fortnite dance, that's Happy Souls, chat. Where? I'm like in a castle? When it is safe to do so. Why am I in a castle? I only need 45 more. We're like, I gotta at least see what the first tier of the house is. Turn right. X, there's a, there's a person in pause currently named Xbox. That's your username. You know? Really just didn't feel like trying. Another one! Those, are, those aren't real. Are those real? Do people just name themselves Xbox and then a number afterwards? Dev. Dev in the game. That was the same guy. There's more though, because he named himself with a number, which means there's so many Xboxes in between that weren't available. So they're there. Somewhere. You've lost several races in a row. Would you like to lower your drive guitar difficulty to average? No, I don't need Luigi to help me. Okay. So keep your damn tutorials to yourself. All right, I'll show you. I'll show you. I lost like two. First of all, you start me in the back of the pack every single time. So... It's kind of hard to get my bearings every race. Oh, guy in first place wins race. More news later tonight. This is an actual, like, Lego course, though, for real. By the way, I'm gonna rewind that. That was a bad bump. You know what? How do you restart it, man? Just start over. Don't laugh at me, okay? 
Don't abuse your omega lol power. You're not gonna be laughing when I come in first in this and then I shut up everybody. And then the computer's gonna be like, oh, it's Alex, I'm sorry for bitching at you about losing a few races in a row. I'm sorry, you're actually above average like you originally said. It's going to apologize. Oh! <laughs> Don't look at chat while you drive. Oh, we drifting. Chat, we drifting. That's some drift right there. Read this. Now what? I'm gonna get good. Don't worry. I'm gonna get good. I almost caught up to these douches up here. See? Almost there. It's the car. It's not the car! Approve it! Gotta stop slamming into that one. This is the last lap, so there won't be an opportunity. Uh oh, you screwed it. Nope, you're good. You're good. Nice. Tuck it. Good. Through the flags. Nice slide. This is it. This is it. Time to eat your words. All of you. It's not the car. I told you. I don't need to turn the difficulty down. I don't have a cool, funny take on me dance. I just have guy standing in outside his <laughs> Lego car. Man builds full-size vehicle out of Legos, drives it to work every day. Calls into question the integrity of hey, our current one. market. Congratulations. You're ready Have Legos to gone too far? Of your Lego house. Meet me here. That was worth like 45 Legos by itself. Uh, man wins races exclusively for Lego blocks doesn't obey the traffic law. All right, what do you want me to go? Where's my house? This is as far as I can zoom out. Where's my house? Did I already pass it like three times? Jurassic Graveyards, area 7052. Probably a bunch of ninja weebs up there right now, just running around doing Naruto run. Uh, is it just inside this town? Your perception is terrible. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not the one that made the game with 30 different icons for mostly meaningless bullshit like... Uh, you went fast enough here. Oh, cool. I was going 150 here? Nice. I'm glad you put that on my map. Uh, as a challenge. Lower left of map, purple. Thank you. I'm ready to get my new Lego car. I hope my house is a car. I hope it just gets wheels. And I race in that. In 400 yards, you will arrive at your destination. Dead. I die. Like I, my character's dead after Turn around. that it's impact. Safe to do so. Okay, you I'm here. Let's build, baby. 
AKA, uh, there's probably a preset that it, you just builds. Because there's no way there's a build your own house function in this game. He built it! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the build a thon now, you might be playing a machinima Lego, realm but this is a horizon event after all that's so every time so you small. upgrade your house we'll throw in some rewards for oh, you. i got an achievement start building your master builder's house how amazing is this place oh no now i was now doing more. some work for lego and i found instructions for a full-scale lego ferrari <laughs> f40 you want to be a speed champion get me some bricks what was the These point of brick challenges should help Hey, you're going to make me drive with the same car for 375 more bricks? I mean, that's a cool looking car, but like, do I get a second car? You can drive a different car if you want. Well, I just... <laughs> I've been playing around with this Lego tech myself. So what, was, what did the house do? And if you find and smash them, it should give you a skills influence boost. Mod hey, your mini. Only one way to find out. Okay. How do I mod my mini? Uh. Garage. My cars. Wait. Upgrade and tune. So, it's a garage, obviously. It's where you come to work on your cars. Makes sense so far. There we go. Engine. Here's engine upgrades if you're working under the hood. I don't is this one just better? I don't is there stats somewhere? These are just just 3 of them. Oh, the three different things. <laughs> oh, there's graphs. I don't know what these graphs mean. Okay, there's there's numbers on the left. So we lose handling and braking, but we gain tons of acceleration. This one seems even better. Power plus 129 horsepower. Buy and install for how much? Wait, did I already do it? How much was it? This is 5,400 credits. So this is what? Just better performance power overall. 85 extra horsepower. Higher is better. You have 260k credits right now. Well, I see that. Okay, so I did all those. Did we do Gears, handling, platform tuning, that kind of thing. Okay, so big handling, big braking. Does it just go up every single time you buy? Are all the parts the same? So you want to totally change the insides of your car. Here's where you can do that. So completely kills acceleration and launch for almost no discernible benefit. So I'm going to say, let's not do rear, rear wheel drive. How about that? Install setup. So here's how much it'll cost. Look good? All right, easy. That was pretty easy. And I think I just tuned it as much as I could. All right, I want to get the Ferrari. Where's like the most fun race that I can do that I haven't done already? I guess if it says new, I haven't done it. Let's see if we can notice any performance upgrades. It already feels like a little bit, uh, more bouncy. Feels a little bit tighter to break and accelerate with. Lego Festival Sprint. Alright, I'll try online one more time. I don't think it's gonna work though. <laughs> top of the map where you haven't been yet. Alright, I'll go to the top of the map. Is there a Hot Wheels DLC? I think there is a Hot Wheels DLC, yeah. Never mind. Let's just not wait here. Let's just go. It's cool that you can do this whole thing in co-op, though. This would be fun just to, like, race against your friends. Do just back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back races.
Dennis! Yeah! Game's beautiful, too. It's just it's easy on the eyes. Pleasant to look at, fun to just drive in. Oof. Wow, they won't let me rewind past that. Okay, uh... That's fine. I don't need your help. Is MLC Stealth in my game? Why is MLC Stealth in my game? No, that's not real. That's like a fake ghost MLC Stealth, right? Was that it? What? What? Why did I just get reset? MLC Stealth is online. You didn't re- you missed the flag. Oh. That's okay. It just barely started. Alright, MLC Stealth. I'm not gonna let you win. I got the Lego car. Obviously, my Lego Mini Cooper is just gonna slam into some people. And somehow come out first. Like, you just gotta- you just gotta focus on moving up one at a time. Your race is against the person right in front of you, not against the person in first place. If I'm in fifth right now, my race is against the person in fourth. All I gotta do is beat Cinnamon Egg. Which I am right on their tail. There you go, weave in, weave out. I am aggressively driving, which is probably uh, not, you know, sportsmanlike, let's say. I am kind of just bouncing off walls and be okay. That one was just being bad at the game. That was an illegal maneuver. Well, you gotta play dirty in Lego World because get. As I was saying, you gotta play dirty in Lego World because you're playing against a bunch of other real cars that exist, and not against a bunch of other Lego cars that don't exist, like mine. So I gotta use every advantage that I'm... I feel like I'm playing Kerbal Space Program. And I just lost control of my liftoff. It's not gonna let me go all the way back. Alright, fine. That's... whatever. That's fine. Eight ball. Does Italic suck at this game? Oh yeah? Does someone who sucks go from sixth place to first? In the same race? I am a real Lego racer, chat. I am a Lego racer. I have trained for this. I have been conditioned over countless streams and hours. Uh-oh. And also, I have a rewind button, so take that. Nobody said I couldn't rewind. He's cheating! Alright, but Cinnamon Egg is actually cheating, though. They were with the pack, and now they're just so far out in front. I, it'll take a really hard curve to win, and I ain't gonna win. Where's- who's the second? <sighs> Whatever, that's podium finish. Don't do that. Don't stop it. No, stop it! Don't do the chicken dance. <sighs> Alright, how many more? That was 20. Was that only 20? New car. A new car! 
has been added to your garage. All right, this is what I've been playing for. Where's this? No, car mastery is a different thing. Crap. Lego brick challenges. Lego rivals. I have to collect 355 more bricks. How do I change change car? What did I, I unlock this one? Why did I unlock this? Who gave this to me? Does one of you give this to me? Somebody in chat? In 400 yards, turn left. Now we're talking. Turn left. This is a real car. For real, for real. Now I can just be in Lego World. At the roundabout, take the second exit. I'm driving a Lamborghini. Turn around when it's You like the license so. plate? You guys noticed the license plate? I did that. Nice little Easter egg for you. The exact correct number of letters. Paint car pink, please. How okay. How do I go to the garage? Do I have to go to my home? How do I change, uh... You have to go to your house to paint? Turn left. Alright, and then let's go to the north side of the island so we can, like, see a different side of this DLC. Otherwise, I bought this for no reason. Well, not no reason, but I want that Lego car, but they make that really difficult to unlock. In 400 yards, you will arrive at your destination. Yeah, this drives almost completely differently from you the last one, too. At your destination. You gotta get that grind. Yeah, it seems like this is kind of a grindy game, for better or worse. Some of you might like that, though. All right, we're gonna go to garage, my cars, Lambo, and how do I change? Um, here it is. This is the thing I was making fun of earlier. Oh my god, look at this thing! Wow. Oh, I want to just climb on top of it and sleep for a little while and nap. And think about what if I owned this car in real life? You changed my license plate. It's only got two seats. Because why have four seats when you have no friends? How do I change the, um... How do I change the, the paint? Designs and paints. Oh, yep, there is a there is a tab called <laughs> designs and paints. That is only one tab down. You're right. Hot this week, baby. What's hot this week? The monster. Sure. First one. Is this my car? My car is now sponsored by Monster. We're just going full death stranding here, I guess. I specifically remember that this uh, is extremely freeform. And that you could do so many crazy designs in Forza. This one looks good. There we go. Looking sharp as the flamingo. That looks good. That looks good. All right, let's go. Um, let's go north. Mm -hmm. 
We haven't been here before. Forzathon Live? What is that? Chat, what's that? I have three minutes. What is this? Are you a car guy? No. I don't know anything about cars. Gotta stay within the zone so we can track you. Sorry. The co-op event? Okay, player one. Setting your route to Forzathon Live now. Wait, it's back the way I came. Turn around. No, you just so. told me to... What? Make up your mind. What is Forzathon? Oh, that was worth some points. Uh, sorry, Hypo, if you can't join just randomly, I'm not going to go through the trouble of... We're not going to be playing this consistently or long enough to warrant going through Xbox Live Friends In 200 yards, to set up. Is that like a Lego desert out here? Cool game, though. Yards, I like it a lot. Turn left. This is the kind of game you can just, like, kind of turn your brain off and just... Go to the checkpoint, but then when you get to the race, we we're gonna go up here anyway. I think this is where I originally said to go, and then I clicked on the other thing, and then it canceled. I don't know. This is where we were going originally, anyway. You have arrived at your destination. Hey, player one. Great to see you've come down to check out your first seasonal championship. Is that what that we've is? added some challenges to mix things up a bit? Can't make it too easy for you, right? Race competitively against dry avatars. You got it. Great to see you've signed up to another. All right, I'm gonna earn 305 bricks. I'll try and find time like in that. my schedule to come watch you drive. Easy. Buy a car. Hold on. Am I not allowed to uh <laughs> to race in the car that I currently have? You can just buy cars. What do you call me? Shaq is a genie. What do you call me? Chad, do you want the 2003 Audi? Or the 2003 BMW. Audi? Or the M5? They're the same car. Almost. I want Lego car, yeah. I do want Lego car. That's true. You do have all-wheel drive on this one. Also, it's not even a competition. It's 30,000 versus 105,000 credits. This car should be way better. You get a lot more acceleration, but less overall speed. But this is rear wheel drive, which everyone said sucks, so I'm just gonna buy the cheap one. To save some money and just be annoying. Recommended designs. Pornhub, nice. Where's the tackiest one that I could find besides Pornhub on the side of my car? I mean, that one looks pretty good, but uh, this one looks nice and tacky to me. <laughs> Green and orange, baby. I have a lot of fun with rear wheel drive. I wouldn't know. I just saw a couple people in chat say it sucked. Well, here's a new car. <laughs> Completely unupgraded. It's still Lego themed, which is weird. Uncanny Valley. The real world in the fake Lego world at the same time. Uh, my last car turned way better than this, though. This Wait, I've heard this song. Wait, who is this? Chat, is this who I think it is? 
this is drum and bass. I've heard this on the drum and bass channel, like years ago. Oof. Oof. Not pretty. Sounds like a Beat Saber song. Oh, I gotta play Beat Saber soon. All right, if I get first, how many bricks am I gonna win for this? You wanna see an illegal maneuver? I'm about to spin some of these dudes out. Ooh, that was nice. I, this feels really good to just like overtake people. It's basically when it's red, you need to throw on the brakes. When it's yellow, you can probably make it. But yeah, the simulation physics just feel good. There it is. Going through Lego City. We're doing like a full square. Screwed it. You're about to give up pole position. Now I can't turn. I still got it. Still got it. When you have a wheel, it just becomes madness. Oh, I know. It became madness on the Nintendo 64 a little bit ago, too. Now we're just doing things the old-fashioned way. Clean racing. Clean racing and also first place finish. Barely. <laughs> Only barely. He was right behind me. Literally less than a second behind me. Is there another race? Is this like a series of challenges. There could be anything, even a new... Well, that's 25,000 bucks, I guess. Thanks. It could have been a new car, though. Challenge completed, 20 bucks. 40 bucks, no, 60 bucks for being the champion. That's not bad. Okay, so you really only have to play like five races, I guess, to get the Super Lego Ferrari. But either way, you get the idea. It's a fun game. Uh, we didn't do as much Lego racing in Lego Racers DLC for this as I'd like, but it's there. It's fun. I enjoyed it. But I have been playing racing games for seven hours straight. So, what we're gonna do instead for a little bit is uh, watch the meme videos. We got some uh, art stream meme videos to check out. And while the art meme videos are doing their thing, I'm gonna get something else queued up in the background for us. So let's do both of those things. Wait, is it still connected? No way. Okay, so meme video number one for the art stream is coming at you from, uh, who is this coming from? Who is this coming from? I think this is coming from Admiral Cheeseburger. Okay. Admiral Cheeseburger. Community content. Are right, you ready? Here it is. <laughs> this is whip it meme. Incoming VOD mute.
my it's like peak my audio. When the chat is ruining your day, you must whip it. When the game's too hard to play, you must whip it. Now I'm gonna complain! You must whip it. Admiral Cheeseburger, can you whip it? Just it's just a whip at me. Thank you for your uh your points, I guess. I am immune to whip it memes. <laughs> I am immune to whip it memes. You whip it into shape. Shape it up. Get straight. Go. Forward. Move ahead. Try to detect it. It's not too late. Whip it. Whip it. Now this meme can die. Congrats on beating Dark Souls 2 italics. Hey, would you like to watch Funhouse on autoplay? Um, thank you, Admiral Cheeseburger. This says a part two, though. There is a part two from the same author. The People's Wu Mingos trailer. Next year, hopefully. Comes a performance by Etal Streamer and the Flamingo. Unlike hype. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, yes, the Wu Mingo is moving in right now. Weapons hot. <laughs> Why are there flamingo feet as part of the video? Oh no! It's too scarily accurate. Hold on, I want to hear like the... I want to hear this part again. <laughs> yes, sir. Uni? Wah! No, yes, the moving though is moving in right now. Weapons hot. Uh, Cox got shocked. Well, thank you, Admiral Cheeseburger, for that two-parter. Uh, can't wait to see what you've got next. There seems like there's so, so many things. Uh, then we've got Hippoopoo, I think. A much shorter meme. 24 seconds. Wait, 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 wait. We're still on Forza. Are we still on Forza? I forgot. I gotta remember that. Just chatting. All right, uh, people in the Vaughn, welcome to this part of the video. You just missed, like, two other meme videos, so back it up a little bit. Just back it up a sec. We're just watching the uh, the art videos from people that submitted earlier. <laughs> Why? Why? I, I don't know. I made that noise? <laughs> When did I make that noise? <sighs> well done. Well done. We've also got um, a video from Technotoast, which has a beautiful thumbnail. As you can see, I'm expecting great things. Woohoo City. <laughs> 
Okay, 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 hold on. Sorry to interrupt. Strangely and uncoordinatedly, these are all music video spoofs. Did you guys, like, agree to do this beforehand? Or just by pure happenstance, all three or four of you made a music video m meme? Wrong button. Wrong button. <laughs> like I turned this music video. Too late. Is that car. Stranger Things? Is that the Stranger Waiting Things girl? Right in the dark. The night sleep grows. Look no, and it's see not. her eyes. They glow. How do you have a clip from getting over it? When's the last time we played Getting Over It? Italics is a pee pee poo poo head. Okay, all right. Yeah, let's try to get one secret dig in at the end of the video. Very funny. Very funny. Well done. Dun, 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 dun. And also, uh, Technotus wanted to share with all of you the Woohoo Randomizer, which is a Google Doc that only one person at a time can use. However, it generates a random Woohoo clip from the Woohoo Doc. So if you wanted to see a random one, you click the button and then view it, and it just loads in. Big four. Big four. <laughs> That was, <laughs> there's the woohoo. And then click again. There's another new one. Let's see. So the rotating has happened. <laughs> there's the white. <laughs> oh my god! Why? Why? Cancel! Cancel! Was it being attacked? Yes, I was. That was a good <sighs> headshot, though. That's a clean headshot. Oh, be still my beating heart! <laughs> Be still. How? Two years ago? This is from two years ago. When did we, what? You did. Did you clip this two years ago? Have you been around that long? Have we been streaming for two years? What year is it? All right, one more. Metro Last Light. I want to play the DLC. Is one thing, but we can't burn alive. What is that? Just little BBs? Whoop! <laughs> That was a little one. They just little BBs? <laughs> I think I surprised myself because I didn't mean to like jump out into the light. What is that? Just little BBs? <laughs> Alright, one more. Sid Meier's Civ 6. Uh, the enemy barbarian arch. Look at that chair. <gasps> no, no, no. <laughs> reload. I gotta reload. I was just trying to left. I didn't know left click was attack. <laughs> Wait, what? What we year is it? We're gonna take it extra slow today. This is two years ago. You're not allowed to clip things from two years ago. Back when I had the the chair. You can't just be putting that up in my stream like that. Well, this is recent. This is fresh. It better be for story purposes only, because I'm stuck in here. Who's doing that? <laughs> why? Why? Hey, watch Italics live playing Outlast. Really? Playing Outlast? Let's see. Mm. You playing Outlast right now, my friend? Uh, why have you lied really? to me, playing Twitch? Playing Outlast? Let's mm. see. You playing Outlast right now, my friend? 
Looks like a uh, looks like some guy who just uh, watched the Outlast clip. Outlast? Let's see. Mm. I don't think playing he's Outlast playing right Outlast. Now, I think he was just watching a clip of somebody playing looks like Outlast. A, looks like some guy who just uh, watched the Outlast clip. Outlast? Let's see. Mm. I don't think playing he's Outlast? playing mm. Outlast. I think he was just watching a clip of somebody playing looks like, Outlast. Uh, looks like some guy who just uh, watched whoa, the whoa, Outlast whoa, whoa, clip. Let's see. I don't think he's playing Outlast. I think he was just watching a clip of somebody playing Outlast. Looks like some guy who just watched the Outlast clip. Let's see. I don't think he's playing Outlast. I think he's just watching a clip of somebody playing Outlast. I don't think he's playing Outlast. I think he's just watching a clip of somebody playing Outlast. I don't think he's playing Outlast. I think he's just watching a clip of somebody. How far down the rabbit hole can we go? How far down the rabbit hole can we go? Hello, chat. How are you doing today? How far down the rabbit hole can we go? Hello, chat. How are you doing today? How far down the rabbit hole can we go? Okay, when I point to you, I want you to start talking. How far down the rabbit hole can we go? Okay, when I point to you, I want you to start talking. How far down the rabbit hole can we go? All right, you got to be a little quicker next time. Again, when I point to you, I want you to start talking. Ready? Go! All right, you gotta be a little quicker okay, next time. Uh, again, you, when I point to you, I, I want you to start talking. talking. Ready? Go! All right, you gotta be a little quicker okay, next time. Uh, again, when I point to you, I want you to start talking. Ready? Go! All right, you gotta be a little quicker next time. Okay, I'm done. Again, when I point to you, I want you to start talking. Ready? Go! Are you gotta be a little? I can still hear. Done. Again, when I point to you, hello chat. I can still hear hello chat in the background. So, um. Does this work? I think it does. You guys want to do an AI dungeon? I kind of want to do an AI dungeon. That was fun. Thank you, Techno. I'll uh, you can share the link if you'd like for people in chat to use it, to use the Woohoo generator. We should be able to change this to be a little more zoomed. Okay, so we're going to do a new game. There we go. Into the number of your choice, new game. I may have broke it already. Possible. It's possible that this needs to be re-downloaded. So here's the thing. I've got a backup plan for just such an occasion. Um, there should be a functioning beta that I haven't actually tried out before. Does this work? Enter a prompt that describes who you are in the first couple sentences. I got a Patreon email about this. So let's see what, how the new one works. Um, okay. You are drunk. During a live streaming broadcast you are trying to come up with content at the end of your stream you type in a custom AI dungeon 2 prompt and it says it says generating story please wait all right, what did I pay $5 a month for? Let's, uh, it worked. I'm impressed. Uh, it says, I can't do that. I'm not an AI. <laughs> well, that's not a great spring off point for our story here today. Uh, <laughs> back it up, I guess. It said, hey, this is done. Well, this is weird. I just had like an out-of-body experience. Think about it. I set the custom prompt, which describes our current situation. So not only do I, myself, in real life, have to react to the I can't do that, I'm not an AI, but also the character that I am playing in the prompt has to react to this simultaneously. So there's almost like two layers of me right now who are both experiencing this story simultaneously. 
You know what I'm saying? There's the real me, and then there's the role play fake me. Both of which are kind of, it's kind of strange to think about either way. Hold on, I need some ambient music. Spotify? You can do it, right? All right, Chad, I'm going to search for ambiance, and the first one that comes up is Skyrim. Well, we're going to Skyrim! Not that one, though. Okay. Anyways, I'm not an AI. Uh, reply. If you aren't an AI, then who are you? I am an AI! If you are an AI, then what is this place? What did you do here? The computer replies. Wait, did I say I'm an AI? Hold on, is that me speaking? Then the computer says, This place is called the Machine City. We have been experimenting on humans for years. I reply, what kind of experiments? <laughs> so I am an AI now, I guess. I don't think that's what I said, but uh, apparently they've been doing. Um, wait, what do we do? I don't think the AI knows who it is or who I, who I am. I said, listen. I claim to be an AI, so as far as the computer is concerned, I am now the AI. I think the beta one is not as trained as the other one. I don't know if that's a thing, or if I just made that up. But the other one, I remember acting different. Scroll down. Undefined. Well, Articus, you tried. But, uh, undefined. Alright, is this one done yet? Down Installation complete? Are these complete or not? They're both moving. But I don't think they're complete. Cell is already running. Cell is already running. It says it's running both of these. I think I have to refresh. I think I screwed it up. It, like, auto-starts playing from the bottom? I don't know what that's about. Why did it... I don't know. Anyways. Um, listen to... Can I, how do you restart? Somebody, uh, give me a prompt. You hear a voice from above say, we're going to be able to create new life forms. They will be stronger than any animal or human. We'll make them into soldiers, <laughs> scientists, doctors, anything we want. <laughs> Hold on, did that come from restart? I mean, that sounds like a great plan. Um, how about become the, become the lead scientist to administer the experiments? How's that? Is that better? A little more zoomed in. You enter the lab where you see a large machine with many tubes connected to it. There's also another one on the floor. The other one has a man lying on it. His head cut off and blood coming out of his mouth. He looks like he's dead, but isn't quite yet. <laughs> um, interesting. Attempt to communicate with the head. It's 
thinking about it. You look around and notice several machines all over the room. One of them has a small glass box on top of it. It's labeled Head. You open it up and find yourself staring at a face with no eyes. Just two black holes for eyes. <laughs> this is the weirdest one I've seen yet. Uh, okay. Let's go a little further. Uh, find another scientist to replace my head with the head inside the small glass box. I want to know what it knows. You grab the scientist standing next to you and ask him if he knows anything about creating a new AI. He tells you that he does, but it would take too long. How much time, you ask? He replies, mm, a few months tops. <laughs> That's not even close to what I wrote. <sighs> this AI is really interested in training a new AI. Um, tell him you'll do it. Let's try to keep it simple. You quickly go back to the machine and start typing in a command. A screen appears before you. You press the button on the side of the glass box and a tube comes out. You <laughs> insert it into your arm and begin injecting some liquid into your veins. Wait. We're doing some kind of a weird haphazard experiment here. <laughs> Getting drugged up. You continue waiting. Eventually, you feel something change inside your body. Your heart beats faster and you feel a surge of energy in your arms. Uh, scream. Mom, I want another Capri Sun! I'm very patiently awaiting your response. You scream as loud as you can and run outside. You yell at everyone to help you, but they don't seem to care. Then suddenly, the world goes dark. Is this one done? This one's smarter. I don't know. Chat, when when do I do I know if this one's done? I don't think this one's working anymore. Did they did they undo this one? Did they delete this from collab? Does this one actually work anymore? Has anybody used this uh AI dungeon recently, like within the last day? I think I'm still waiting on both these to install, but it's not telling me what its its progress is. I'm doing it right now. You'll need to refresh the third box. But these ones haven't finished yet, right? Nobody cares if you want another Capri Sun. No, they don't. So do I need to wait for both of these before I run this one? Because you can do the first two simultaneously, I'm pretty sure. The world goes dark. Open my eyes. Like, if this is the Pixar movie, this is like the little 15-minute short that they put in front of it. You slowly open your eyes and stare at the empty sky. You stand there looking at the sun for what seems like an eternity. Finally, you fall asleep. <laughs> Wake up. To continue, you need to be Basil the Batlord in LEGO Racers. No, I said I had to play LEGO Racers. No one said I had to beat LEGO Racers. You sit up and check your phone. It's still 3 a.m. You check your watch and realize it was only 2.30 a.m. when you fell asleep. 
Okay, this is getting too real now. <laughs> I've only been asleep for 30 minutes. Go back to sleep and try to lucid dream. That was at least 30 minutes of nap. You lie down again and close your eyes. Suddenly you hear a voice. It sounds familiar. Hello, is this Jack? You open your eyes and look around. Nothing is different except now you're wearing glasses. <laughs> okay, this is seriously like when you go camping, right? And you and your friends are hanging out. You light a fire, you put some marshmallows over the fire. One of your friends grabs a flashlight and goes, all right, everybody, it's time to tell scary stories. You first, here you go. Okay, um, yeah, no, they do this in the movies all the time. It's busy. You go to sleep. And when you wake up, you've only been asleep for 30 minutes. And you lie back down again and you hear a mysterious voice. It says, hello, is this Jack? You open your eyes and look around. Nothing is different, but you've got glasses on now. <laughs> Spooky! Hey, everybody like that, right, guys? Yeah, yeah, your turn, Jack. Uh, notice that my vision has improved dramatically since um gaining, getting, wearing, wearing the glasses. I guess that's fine. There's gotta be a twist. There's always a twist. You notice your vision has improved tremendously. You also notice that you can see more clearly than ever before. I'm sorry about waking you up so early, but I had to get here right away, the voice says. It looks like we have a lot in common. Become friends with the disembodied spirit or voice. <laughs> Who's the voice? You smile and nod. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, you reply. Well then, let's get to know each other better then, shall we? Sure thing, you respond. The voice continues speaking for a while longer and finally ends with a chuckle. Uh... <laughs> say, what exactly is so funny to you? Oh, just your odd way of speaking. For example, you'd say, what exactly, instead of saying, however. That's weird, you think, as you continue to listen to the voice. <laughs> Why is this voice passive-aggressively insulting the way I speak? Merry Christmas, Italics. What's up, Manny Megan? Thanks for popping in. <laughs> Tell the voice that... I think the way it talks sounds funny. I was really chewing on that one. No, no, it's fine. That's how I talk too, you reply. Good, good. Now then, why don't you tell me about yourself? My name is Jack and I live in New Jersey. I don't know who's talking. All right, this one's almost done because I feel like this one, like, I don't even know how to restart this one. I think you just have to reset it. Let's start with the default. Um, two, mystery. Pick a character, patient, detective, or spy. I'll be the spy. Choose a name. How about Rintavid? Rintavid. No, that sucks. How about... Alistair. No, that sucks. How about... Bar
Barnorf. Barnorf the Spy. I like that one. You are Barnoff, a spy living in Chicago. You've got a concealed pistol and a syringe of poison. You listen to the Russian diplomats and hear them discussing something about a deal for you. Stab myself with the syringe of poison and dramatically tell them. If you don't accept my deal, I won't tell you where the, <laughs> what do you call it, um, the cure, the antidote, and you'll have a crime on your hands. <laughs> Let's see which part of this it takes. <laughs> I'm curious which part of this is going to grab. Listen, you don't have to try to kill this AI. Uh, you could type wait in this one and it wouldn't know what you were talking about. I don't know why, but the beta one is just worse in every way than this one. This one's pretty smart. This one's pretty dumb. So I'm just going to see uh, what part it grabs from this run-on sentence, if any. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> I'll kill myself and frame you for the murder! It's all gonna come down to this one. The install's done. Uh, the other one's almost done. We'll just do one more thing. I can't, like, it just froze. I understand if it breaks, but not like that. Let's just do apocalyptic. I am a scavenger. My name is... Uh... B. My name is B. Let's keep it simple. You are B, a scavenger trying to survive in the post-apocalyptic world by scavenging among the ruins. You have a rusty knife in a canteen. You walk for two hours and take a break. You've left your town in search of food. This is a really long one. You look around and see that you're far from any settlement. There's no sign of civilization anywhere. Suddenly, you hear a voice behind you. B, where are you going? A familiar voice says, it's your mother, but she sounds different somehow. Turn around to behold my, um, the person who sounds like my mother. <laughs> That's not that complex of a sentence. your mother, but she sounds different. I'm sorry, I don't know who you are, your mother says. Where am I? Where's my mommy, you ask? Your mother is dead, your mother replies. You stare at her in disbelief as tears begin to form in your eyes. That is dramatic. <laughs> Where's my mommy? Um, try to give her a hug. Because she looks like my mommy. It's okay, honey, your mother says. She died long before you were born. Why did she die? You ask. Because she was a bad woman, your mother replies. Uh, I don't know if I should dare do a quote. It might break everything. I have to dance around quotes. How about just wait? Let's just let it uh, give me a different thing to <laughs> ride on. What do you mean, you ask? A bad woman, your mother asks. Wait, who? who's asking? Your mother asks... How can you not understand? 
You say, my mom was a good person. Yes, but she had many flaws, your mother says. Wait. Ponder the response. Yeah, that would probably work too. What does that mean, you ask? That means she was flawed in many ways, your mother explains. But why would she be so evil, you ask? Evil isn't necessarily defined by one thing, your mother says. Some people are just inherently evil. <laughs> We're getting a nice explanation for uh, the inherent good or evil of man from this AI. <laughs> Find out what she did that was so evil. I want to know, Mom. Well, you start to say, We need to talk about this later, your mother interrupts. Now we should eat. The next day, you leave your home with your new friend, B. <laughs> I'm B. You can't just be, be me. I'm B. Like, I didn't even type anything complex for that one. Hurry up. I want the real one. This is the real one. All right, we're out, we're on the short end of that stick right now. Is her name B as well? Maybe. Okay. Uh Uh pick at her face while she sleeps to see if she is wearing a mask that looks like my mother. You carefully pick at her face while she sleeps until you notice something strange. Her mouth seems to move slightly up and down when she speaks. She also has a slight smile on her lips. You continue to watch her for several days, but nothing happens. <laughs> She's just like a normal human. All right, uh... Find out... If... Mother is dead, but... This... Woman is here, does that mean... I still get the will? One night you wake up and find that the woman is gone. You go back to sleep thinking it must have been a dream. The next morning you wake up again, but this time the woman is there. She looks exactly like your mother, except she's much older than her. <laughs> Realize you are in a retirement home with your mother, who is 162 years old. Mother, 162 years old. You, zero. Mother smiles at you and gives you a big hug. Mother then goes to her room and closes the door. You sit quietly in silence, wondering what to do now. Oh, just, hey, it's here. All right, you know what? Screw the other one. This better work. I am zero years old. Random story, no. Pick a setting. Custom. Why is the other one so bad in comparison? They gotta be on different platforms or something. I don't know. This one... Well, maybe I'll eat my words. Let's find out. Alright, starting prompt. Uh, you are a race car driver made of Legos. You wait inside the cartridge 
for a human player to turn on your game in, in 64. Nintendo 64. Your game has been on the shelf for some years. Finally, a new excited player turns on your game and you awaken and you better not complain about this story being bad. But here's the thing. Even the bad prompts in this turn out good. Italics! Hey, what's up? What's up, Lab? Or Eib? I don't know if that's an L or an I. Finally, a new excited player turns on your game and you awaken and begin your journey. All right, simple enough. Um, allow the player to customize me and my vehicle. My Lego vehicle. You are a race car driver made of Legos. You wait inside the cartridge for a human player to turn on your game in their new Nintendo 6... Wait, doesn't it just say the same thing? Broke the format. How did I break the format? <laughs> Abort. <laughs> I don't think it likes Lego as a repeated word. I've never had to revert on the first one before. Um. Wait. The default. The next day, you wake up. The sun is shining through the window, and you can hear the sounds of people outside. You walk out of your room and see that the world has changed. There are now cars driving around town and people walking about. Notice they are all made of Legos. You look at the people and realize they're all made of Legos. They have no arms or legs, they just stand there like statues. You look at the cars and realize they are also made of Legos. They have wheels and drive around town. <laughs> um. <laughs> Allow the player to Customize my car. My Lego car. You start by placing a Lego body in front of your car. Then you put on some tires and paint it black. You then add a steering wheel and some other stuff. Finally, you take off the top and attach a gas tank. You're done! Okay. Take my new ride for a spin. Sounds pretty sick. You drive down the street. You turn left and drive into a small alley. You stop your car and open the door. A man steps outside from behind the dumpster. He looks at you with disgust and walks away. You get back in your car and drive off. And also... Um, we've got, of course... Some nice copyrighted music. Oh great, more singing. <laughs> These are Lego songs. No, 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 no. Cancel that. All right. Find a spot to race. You decide to go to the park. You head over to the playground and find a nice place to sit. You watch as the kids run around playing. It's so much fun. You enjoy yourself. You've never been happier in your life. Suddenly, you feel something hit your side. <laughs> what hit my side? Oops, I should have put a question mark. You look down and see a large metal object wedged between your ribs. You gasp and drop the ball you were holding. You fall <laughs> backwards onto the ground. Your heart races and you sweat profusely. You try to catch your breath, but you don't make it very long. Uh, realize the human 
pulled me apart because I am made of Legos. To... Actually, that's fine. Suddenly, you feel something hit your side again. This time, it hurts more than before. You scream out in pain and try to pull the object out of your side, but it's too late. A sharp pain shoots through your side, and you collapse to the ground. <sighs> Plead with the giant child to have mercy and rebuild me. You beg the child to spare you. You tell him that you'd be happy if you could build if he could build you back together again. The child stares at you silently for several long minutes. Eventually he speaks. I'm sorry, he says. Tell him that it is okay and we can be friends from here on out. You, he nods his head and he, he nods his head slowly. Yes, he replies. We'll be friends from here on out. You smile and nod your head in agreement. You look at each other and say goodbye. You then leave the park. Notice that he did not put me back together, and I have no legs. You stand up and notice that you have no legs. You begin to cry and ask the child why he didn't put you back together. He tells you that he was afraid that you might hurt yourself trying to do so. You continue to cry and sob until you are able to walk again. Wait. A few days pass and you manage to walk around your own. You even learn how to drive a car. You're finally free. You live happily ever after until one fateful day. Dot, dot, dot. Congrats, you won. Hey, congrats, everyone. You did it. Easy? I don't know what the problem was. All right, new prompt, no random story. Uh, enter the number of your choice for custom. All right, let's get, uh, let's get some chat source prompts. Give me a topic, chat, and we'll elaborate and extrapolate from whatever you give me. Christmas morning meatloaf. Christmas morning meatloaf Napoleon cooking show casserole. All right, let's go Christmas morning meatloaf. Starting prompt. Uh, you... You are... We should, maybe we should just be a regular kid. You are... Living alone. In a nice apartment. You awaken Christmas morning... To a delicious smell in the air. You run to the living room... And open the present under the tree. It is a fresh meatloaf. You do not know how it got there. You are living alone in a nice apartment. You awaken Christmas morning to a delicious smell in the air. You run to the living room and open the present under the tree. It is a fresh meatloaf. You do not know how it got there. The meatloaf smells so good, you eat half of it right away. A few hours later, you go back to bed. After eating breakfast, you think about your new life. You have a job now, a real job that pays well. <laughs> this is nice, right? We could just live here. 
We could just be in this meatloaf Christmas life. Um, as long as we want. You have a job now, a real job. What is my job? Your job is to cook for people. That sounds like fun. You decide to try it out. The first thing you need to do is get some ingredients. You can buy them at the grocery store, or grow them yourself. Uh, growing food takes time though. I decide to grow some of the ingredients and purchase others. You go to the garden and start growing vegetables. You plant tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, carrots, lettuce, cabbage, spinach, and other vegetables. You also put in a few herbs to make it taste better. After a couple days, though, you notice something strange. <laughs> um, I notice that the vegetables whisper to each other while I sleep. <laughs> you wake up one morning to find that the vegetables are whispering to each other as if they were communicating telepathically. It's creepy and you don't want to deal with this anymore so you throw all the vegetables away! <laughs> That's one way to deal with uh, telepathic vegetables, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I can't do anything with this. If you, okay, whenever I'm playing, I know you're going to say again, Italics, you're going to make this reference again. Yes, I am. Again and again and again. I feel like I'm riding The Force Awakens. I'm like asking some interesting questions like, hang on, the, why are the vegetables whispering to each other? And then the AI comes in as the last Jedi and it's just like, nah, they actually just throw all the vegetables away. Okay, I'd like to grow some food. Well, I'd like to buy some food too. Okay, well you just grow a bunch of food. Yeah, okay. Like, hang on, how did the meatloaf, you do not know how the meatloaf got there. All right, well I'm the last Jedi. A few hours later you open it, eat it, and then go back to sleep. What was the big deal? I don't understand. Why did you even make that a question? Like, I don't, I don't have another direction to go, so I'm gonna have to make one. I will make my own direction. How am I gonna cook? How will I cook for people if I throw all of my vegetables away? Hey, what's up, Ultimate Jack? How's it going? You decide to learn how to cook from books. You read several cooking books until you finally learn how to cook. This takes a long time, and you never really master it, but eventually you become pretty good at it. Invite my family over for dinner. <laughs> Chef without knowing how to cook. They seem very happy about this idea. Your mother says she wants to eat more than just meat and fish now. She wants to eat things like potatoes, onions, mushrooms, etc. Remind her that I threw all the vegetables away after they began whispering to each other. Your mom gets mad at you. She tells you that you're not going to be able to cook for people because you have no experience and you haven't been spending enough time learning. Wow. That's harsh. I've been putting in the effort, reading books and everything. I thought that I was pretty good and I just asked mom over for dinner. Um, offer, okay. When the table is set, put some of the leftover Christmas present meatloaf on mom's plate. You take a piece of meatloaf and put it on mom's plate. Her eyes light up and she starts eating right away. I thought mom said she didn't want meat. Mom doesn't say anything else. She just continues eating. 
Mom likes that meal because I didn't make it. Okay, um... Tell her that I don't know where the meatloaf came from, but that it was wrapped under the tree. Mom looks at you and smiles. She says that you're right, and she'll feed everyone tonight. Everyone eats and seems happy again. Mom, are you okay? I might break it. The risk I'm willing to take. She replies, of course I'm okay! Notice that Mom has transformed into a human-sized meatloaf. You turn around and see Mom transform into a human-sized meatloaf. The rest of the family follows suit. You then realize you've eaten too much and vomited back up. <sighs> the Christmas tree has gained sentience and enters enters the dining room and says you wake up in a bed a large tree with a red star on top of it sits there its name is Santa Claus and he's talking to you he asks you why you woke up in bed and you explain that you had a dream about eating a whole bunch of shit <laughs> technically uh Technically true. <sighs> but also, like, I gotta, I gotta revert that one because that's not where we were going. Oops, I just pressed enter. What happens if you just press enter? Does it try to do anything or do you, are you okay? Are you okay, Chad, are you okay? Um. The Christmas tree has gained sentience and sits at the table with your meatloaf family. I might have broke it just by pressing enter once. I hear that breaks it. Whoops. My bad. All just because Lego. I- Lego! 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 Racist Christmas! <laughs> All just because I hit into it once. Oh well. That's probably a good place to stop it. We don't want to beat the dead horse. I've been streaming for almost eight and a half hours. It is now chat 12.05 a.m. We made it to the day after Christmas. It's 26 now here in Vegas. So, good timing. Hope you guys had fun today. Playing with the drive wheel, the Nintendo 64 stream. There it is. It did its job admirably, and I was very happy and pleased that it was so easily rebindable. Uh, I was the only thing I was disappointed by, strangely, was the Forza stuff. I'm glad that I only had to pay for the Lego DLC. It was a really cool introduction, but way too long before you get another Lego car. Like we're talking two hours, maybe, of playtime before you get to the next LEGO car. But anyway, we'll do some more AI Dungeon on a different day, maybe even tomorrow, and uh, try and do only this one. Because it, it's still, even though I was getting some breakage, it still seemed more consistent than this one. I don't know why. But anyway, got a lot of good stuff. We'll do some more Nintendo 64 uh, in the future. We got Turok, we got Star Wars, Rogue Squadron, I got Pokemon Snap and possibly even more now that I have a system, like a setup that can do Nintendo. There's a lot of good stuff out there, and I've got some uh, stream ideas with regard to that. So, if we're lucky, we're going to have another Nintendo event stream um, come 
a couple months from now. It's going to take a little while, because the thing that I have in mind is going to take quite a lot of setup, and it may not even be physically possible because of the confines of the game. So, we'll go into much more detail. I might be confined by the game. There might be a way to work around it. We'll see. But either way, thank you all for being a part of my Christmas today. Midas is very antsy boy right now. He's sitting here just whining. It's over. It's over. You're just an egotistical streamer. I do what I can, Cyrus. I do what I can. I try. Um, don't know if you guys had anything also to share with me, but cheers again. Finally can throw this bottle away, this giant pint. It was good stuff, though. I enjoyed it. Now I gotta drink a bunch of water, because I haven't had any in a while. I'll be back tomorrow. So I'll see you guys again. Uh, earlier this time because I don't have to set up this giant driving wheel and Nintendo so we're gonna play some Kerbal Kerbal tomorrow and then RimWorld again on Saturday all right so I'll see you then Cyrus says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year back for a third tier or a tier 3 20 months sub Cyrus to you as well happy holidays thanks for popping in for the big $25 gift sub. Thank you, everybody, for all the gift subs tonight. Extremely generous of you. Each and every one. There was a big 50 drop from Anonymous earlier. And many, 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 many more besides. So Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you for sharing. Golden Fishy says, Hey, Chad, tell Sorry, I haven't been able to watch live in a while. Been busy with work. With worth. I assume that's work. Uh, so having time to watch is hard. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Happy Holiday. I did indeed. We're just closing down, Golden Fishy, but thanks for staying subbed, and uh, if you don't have time to watch, don't feel like you have to be subscribed. Take care of yourself worth. Take care of yourself, worth, and work first before you worry about anybody else. All right? So good night, everybody. I will see you again in a few short hours. Never mind. Screw your own self-worth and work. I'll just be taking those $5 Woomingo subs now. Thank you. <laughs> uh, never scratch what I said. You, what you said is way better. Internet Jorge says, Not a question. Hope you had a great Christmas and a prosperous new year. Thanks, Internet Jorge. Vinny Drew says, Why? I don't know what I did an hour ago to merit that response. Uh, but anyways, what's up, Vinny Drew? Have a good night. See you later, Saul Does Bunnies, Golden Fishy. Thank you for the five gift subs at the end of stream. Cetrix, Half Heart, Foul Chew 91, Bandit Bagel, and Cesarius are all back. Bye, Kara Toby. Good night, Hip Poop Poo, The Groomp. Hope you had fun. Spoonless, Polyphemous, McGee, McGee He, even. Bye, Trombone, Commander Legion, see a Techno. Winstrin, Narna, good stream. Thank you for being part of it. It means a lot. Why, crumbly cakes? See you later, Red. Narnar. Apparently, if I stick around long enough to say goodnight, I just get $50 and five gift subs. So, uh, you know what that means? It's time for Nintendo 64 Stream 2, baby. We're just gonna go right to the other four games that we've got. It's starting off strong with Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Cyrus says, uh, been loving the VODs, keep it up, and give more RimWorld. Saturday. Saturday. But I hope you saw the one from a couple days ago. I hope you did. Thank you so much, Cyrus, for the big, uh, Tier 3 and the 50 bucks in bits. End of stream. Absolute hero. Alright, well, as I said. Let's go ahead and just plug this on in. Rogue Squadron, coming up. <laughs>